That's trans some genders and chess some meats. Exactly. Exactly. What do you think of my I sorry, I was spending so much time before I went live because I was trying to get my I was crafting my stupid ass going live tweet the whole time. <laughs> I was crafting this <laughs> setting it up and stuff like it in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of stuff we're working on in chess? Yes, we're gonna do opening theory. Um, opening, we're gonna we're gonna learn our first opening today. Is what we're gonna do. So um, we're gonna do opening theory for. We're gonna learn one opening for white and one opening for black today. If we can get one opening for each, then that's okay. We, we I don't know if I'll have time to even learn one opening, but um, yeah, opening theory for hopefully one of each today is the plan. Um, we can also we'll maybe do a couple chess puzzles as well just to get warmed up. Your favorite opening is the King's Gabbit. It feels like throwing yourself a frizzy. Um, I don't know what my first opening I'm gonna learn is. Um, I've been thinking about it a little bit. Um, we'll see. We'll see when we get to that part. Uh, first, the first thing I want to do on stream, obviously, is just I'm gonna um, just finish my makeup quickly, which shouldn't take too too long. I hope. I'm, I don't think I'll spend like a ton of time. You gotta start with the bong quad. What the fuck is the bong quad? 
um, I, I, let me, oh, hold on. Hold on a second. I can just, I can just go big for you. I'm already here. I'm already ready to go. I already got my outfit on. Uh, what the fuck is the bong quad opener? Let me look this shit up. Sorry. Bong quad opener. Okay. <laughs> King Spawn. <laughs> opening the bong quad. Okay. Let me see. Um, is there a video of this I can look at? Also, hello everyone. Hello. Wait, did I announce I was go I was live on my on my thing? I don't think I did. Oops. Oops. I forgot to announce. Nice. Oh. Very nice. Oh, thank bulge. you so much for subscribing. Not on Discord. Give me a second. I gotta let people come in before I. I want to give people time to join the the thing before I. You know what I mean. Um. Let's just pretend that I did. <laughs> Let's just pretend that I didn't um, start streaming yet. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's just pretend. Hello, hello. Just give me a second, sorry. I don't want to do too, I want to give people time to come into the stream before I start yapping so that I don't, so that I don't miss stuff, you know? So, sorry, give me like, give me like, Two two minutes or something. Give me like two to two to three minutes here. Fucking Christ! I totally. <laughs> I'm just gonna give people some time. Bit of a blunder. We got this totally professional. Streaming without us. I forgot to announce. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay. My fault. My fault. We're gonna actually try speedrun our makeup here this time because we did it really well last time, but we did it so slow. Well, not we did. We actually did. I think we made good time yesterday when we did our makeup. Um, but um, I think we can go faster. Do I feel bonita? Is this a decent month? I swear to God. This is where we come to be comfy. Yes, we're gonna do makeup first, then um, other stuff. Let me, I guess I'll make myself tea or some shit. I don't know, why wait? One more minute or so, and then we'll. So, hello, first time chatter.
Alright. Alright, we're almost ready. All right, we're here. We're here. Oh. All right, ready? Boom. Boom. Hello. Hi, this is definitely my first time appearing on screen. Um, I definitely did not accidentally forget to announce that I was streaming five minutes ago and do this exact same thing. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, why am I dressed for a winter's ball? This is what I wore on the day that I went on a couple, like a little bit ago. It's like what I wore. Um, I, I wanted to wear, I wanted to look pretty while I played chess. I just thought conceptually it would be really funny to be like really dressed up to play chess. So I dressed up to play chess. Uh, the first thing that I want to do though, before we get to chess is I just want to finish my makeup. Um, I say finish. I haven't really started. I just put my, that is the date outfit, yes. It's not actually a dress, so I wonder how much of this I could show realistically. So what it is is, so I had to wear, I don't know how to describe this, okay. So I'm wearing a corset here. Let me pull this down a bit. You can see I'm wearing a corset up top with a skirt underneath. So corset, skirt. Now this time round, I have something else, which is as you can see, because I can pull this down, I have another like, um, what would I call this? It's a, it's a strapless bra that's like pretty tight. Now I'm wearing this for the simple reason that if I did not wear this and I only wore the corset, because my boobs are small, um, because they're not like big enough basically yet, they're not like, ah, sorry, this is really weird to say. They're not like big and heavy enough to like fill out this corset. So if I were to turn like this, and like maybe like lean or stretch or something, you're gonna see my, you're gonna see my nipples, which would be TOS. So in order for you to not see my nipples, I had to make a small adjustment to the outfit and put a corset here, which unfortunately covers the limited amount of cleavage that I have. I'm wearing it again. Yeah, I am wearing it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goth ballerina, exactly. I mean, I'll show you the whole thing, obviously. Brie, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And yeah, if I didn't have this, like, like I said, if I didn't have this, like, strapless bra underneath, you would definitely be able to see my nipples, like, from this angle. You'd be able to see my, you'd be able to see it, you know? Have a compliment to go with the outfit? Yeah. So, um, and also, like, I thought about it too. Like, I tested pre -stri I'm actually not going to do it right now. Just on the off chance. Actually, let me test. Let me test over here by my house. For one second. Okay, I'm glad I tested off, sc off screen because anyway. So what I also noticed is if I stretch my arms up like this and I do like a big stretch, you'll see my, you, you would also see my nipples. So. I really had to take extra steps to like, <laughs> and it's not like I'm trying, like I'm not trying to show it. I wish I didn't have to. I just wish my boobs were like bigger and then I wouldn't have even had to. And I would have had better cleavage. Like it would have all, it would have been objectively better and less and more safe for work or like less TOSable 
if I actually had like bigger boobs, which is like the first time in history that sentence has been said, but I said it, so. Am I gonna play vaude, vaudeville? I don't know what that is. I play infinite fusion today. No, we're gonna do more chess today. Um, just because I'm I'm in the mood. So we're gonna do our makeup, then we're gonna do some chess stuff. Um, we're gonna learn a little bit. I'm interested in it, and it's a good, it's fun for stream. I think it's like fun, and it's a new thing I've never done before. Raven, Raven, hello. Chess hyperfixation, exactly. Also, Raven. You are welcome at any point in time. Text me, because my Discord is on, or not text me, um, something me, message me, because my Discord is on do not disturb mode while I stream. But you're welcome to play chess with me and stuff. Okay? You're welcome. There's an extra chair and everything. So, okay. Um, we're gonna just start the makeup thing. Just gonna do the nose first. Um, we're gonna do like the, the nose contour and shit. And the blush and stuff like that. Um, we're gonna just get that all out of the way. I'm gonna just rush it. I'm not gonna try to do it super well. To be honest. If it looks bad, it looks bad. And it happens. Do okay. You gonna take a shower and do makeup? Okay, awesome, awesome. Awesome, let's go. We'll have a special guest for today's stream. Um, my friend Raven is visiting. Pe many people, I think there's maybe some new people for the chest arc, but many of the people will know Raven. She's visiting my city today. Or not today, like this week. And she's here. So, we're gonna have special guest visitor. Today. Which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. That's the nose basically done. Basically. Basically. Nose basically done. Um. Next up, we're gonna do our blush, which I'm practicing, like I think I mentioned, I'm trying something a little new with the blush here, so. Um. Okay, that went pretty well, I think, actually. Right off the bat. I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm, I said speed running. We're speed running, okay?
Might not be our best blush ever. But, you know. We try. Okay, that's fine for bush, probably. That's probably fine for bush. I don't care to try any harder. Uh, brows, brows. Sorry, I'm not being, I'm actually being very poor at articulating myself right now as I try to speed through this makeup. So let me slow down just slightly and just talk about what exactly I'm doing with the makeup rather than just speeding through it because as of right now, I'm being extremely quiet, so. Uh, yeah, so blush, I tried something different. I just saw a technique. It was like, just do a W shape on your face. So just go down, up to your nose, down, up, like that kind of shape. So I just tried that. I don't really know how to do blush. So like, I mean, like, I, I mean, I know how to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to do it like really well. I see some people do their blush and I'm just like, I'm blown away at how some people do their blush, to be honest. I'm gonna use actually a little bit more time on this. Just with a bigger brush and hopefully just to like, just to blend it more. That's all I'm trying to do here is like have it be more blended and less like harsh, I guess. But yeah, some people are incredible at blush. I'm not one of those people. That's not my skill. I, I'm mostly, I mostly learned eyeshadow so far, so. Uh, brows, I recently had them shaped, so it's really easy. Really, really easy to do your eyebrows when you have them shaped. Because, I mean, they're shaped for you, right? So you just follow the shape that was created. So I went to, you know, I went to uh, someone to wax my brows for me. She waxed them. And I'm better at making you guys blush. Oh yeah, thank you. Well, you know, the th fucked up thing is, one thing I don't like about makeup, personally, is that I actually have really nice natural skin and features and texture. Not everyone has good, like, natural texture on them, if that makes sense. Like, um, and it just, and, you know, it's like luck of the draw, right? It's just whatever, it's however your skin goes, right? But I have freckles. I have nice, like, little freckles. I have nice rosy cheeks, just naturally. I have very rosy cheeks. Um, I guess like weaknesses I have are my lips are, my upper lip is very thin. So that's something I need to like accentuate with my, with my makeup. I would need to like accentuate my lips, but I have good, like natural, ni nice, rosy cheeks, nice big cheeks. I have nice, a nice shape. I have good cheekbones to get like natural highlighting here. Cause I have nice cheekbones. Um, and I have like nice texture to my skin with like pretty, I have relatively clear skin and freckles. So everything, all things considered, my skin is quite nice. Once I put uh, foundation and stuff on top of my skin, now I end up having to use makeup products in order to like kind of imitate a lot of the things I naturally have, if that makes sense. So for a long time, I didn't even bother with foundation. Like I didn't even bother doing it um, because I was like, not good enough at it to even make my face look better than my natural face, if that makes sense. Um, but now I'd like to think I'm good enough. After practicing, I would like to think I have gotten good enough. So brows are pretty simple. Like I said, I already have a natural shape created for me. So I'm just going to do the under part of it. Um, just going to under, like do the under part of the eye. I think I messed up a little bit over here. Just do the underline. Then um, the the wing here, like the, or the outer, outer corner, I guess. I'm just going to kind of fill that in and fill the shape in how I want it. So we have a more intense art. So that's really nicely done, actually. We'll try to get the same over here. So again, just kind of fill the outer part. And kind of just, you know, get that shape in. Not nearly as nice compared to this eye. Nice. Very nice bulge. 
Thank you. Damn, when did it reach half a year? Still okay. awesome, by the way. Half a year? Oh, hello. Awesome. Thank you so much for resubscribing. I know, the time flies. It's been like a year and a half now that I've started streaming, which is pretty insane to me. It's also crazy, like, it's crazy how long I've been doing internet stuff, to be honest. Like, it's been like a full, I guess, like, career now. Or not Maybe not career, but you know what I mean. Like, it's been like a full-fledged thing now. Like, I can't just say, like, oh, I had a small, th you know, I had a, I had a fun phase. Okay, this is pretty intense, but that's okay. I don't mind going intense here. And we're just gonna like brush here in hopes that it kind of disperses the color a little bit. Because I don't want like it to be too intense on the inner part. All right, pretty intense eyebrows, but that's okay because we're going to do intense eyeshadow again. Um, and with that, that's most of the face. Have I done videos or stuff? No, I did nothing on one. I didn't even, I like, I used the internet, obviously, like everyone does, but I was like a very non-online person pre-transition. Like my hobbies were like, you know, watch YouTube videos by myself. The like, the social media I would use would be like, I'd like have a Reddit account and I would argue with people about like, maybe like fucking Hearthstone or something. But I wasn't, I was never a poster, if that makes sense. I was never really a poster, and, like, and that's why um, it's something I struggle with, actually, in general, like, as now, like, a content creator, is it, it was not natural to me to be a poster, so, like, always using the internet, always tweeting, always posting, is not, like, it's not my natural state. My natural state is, like, I just want to, I just want to observe, and, like, make a funny joke every, like, once, like, once a week, you know? Argue on Reddit, as in gold is hot or dreamy. No, I used to, really long ago, I used to be on the, like, the, I would go on the, what's it called? It was the subreddit, it was called Brain Cells. It was the incel subreddit on Reddit. Um, of course, like, the subreddit. Um, and it was, it was an incel subreddit. And I used to go there, and I used to, like, observe, if that makes sense. It was like watching, like, an ant farm. I don't know how, else, that's how I always described it. Like watching an ant farm and just like, just looking at the people. And it was like, I mean, it was crazy. The people were crazy, obviously. But it was just really weird to observe, you know? Um, and then I would, um, yeah, I would, I would argue sometimes about trans stuff. Like, like I wouldn't argue too much with people. It's so weird because when I would go on, it's, I, there was a ContraPoints video about this that I saw quite a while ago. Where she talked about incels. Nice, very um, nice bulge. Thank you so much, Raven. She talked about incels, but there was a lot of relatable things that incels would say about themselves that I kind of understood, but I was objectively not an incel. Like I like I had a lot of I had a lot of self-confidence issues, especially my appearance in my early, like in my teens, like for like, you know, like 15 to, to like 20, I had a ton of self-confidence issues and a lot of body issues. But like, once I got to be like 20, 21 or something, I started to learn that people, f I learned through experience that people find me attractive, um, which I didn't like, I never felt it, but I, I understood that people like pre-transition people thought I was attractive. So and I, I had no trouble like I, with people, you know, I never felt like Oh no, like it's so over for me. I can never date anyone because I'm too ugly to ever get a girlfriend. You know, like I never like really fell into that kind of thinking or the incel thinking of like, you know, hating, hating women. Um, but for some reason I could just relate, honestly. I could just relate to that feeling of like not liking yourself, not liking your body or something. Um, Cause a lot of incel stuff and that's why I think there is like, I wouldn't say there's an incel to trans pipeline, but I think there's a lot of overlap in thought process because a lot of the brain worms that incels have about like the Marius position in a very sus way. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, the brain worms that incels have are like a lot of the brain worms that trans women will have, right? Like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to get a girlfriend because my jaw is too weak. My jaw is too weak and my chin is recessed. And my, um, fuck, what do you even call it? 
the, my eyes are tilted the wrong direction by four degrees. I'll never look like a Chad, you know? And a lot of, a lot of trans women will do the same kind of self-analysis on their bodies um, in like the exact same way, you know? Um, which is interesting, I think. So, yeah. Uh, next up on our face, I'm just gonna pull my sock down a little bit. I also, I moved the mirror up so it looks even more like I'm... Yeah, both have insecurities, insults will blame the world for it. Yeah, I agree. There's like a difference between like being insecure and like, I guess it's just, there's different ways to be insecure, I guess is the way I would just put it, you know? Okay, so next up obviously is we're gonna just con do concealer on our eyes. Just gonna drop a bunch of this on my eye here, on both eyes. Um, and then I'm just gonna get a good, whoa. I'm just gonna get my brush and I'm just gonna just gonna blend this concealer all over my fucking eyelid here. And blend it up into the even up into the eyebrow and swipe underneath my eye as well. Just really, just really get this concealer all over my eye here. Trying to do the same on the other eye. Just really blend the concealer on the eyelid. Swipe a little bit of it underneath. Blend it up into the eyebrow. Just to get rid of the discoloration around my eye here. Kind of lighten it up. And then before I finish, um, I'm going to try to keep my eyes also done here. I'm just going to um, get a little bit of like a setting powder here. And I'm just going to like brush over this with a setting powder. To, to make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit smoother, better finish. It looks so much better when I put setting powder over like especially my eyes because there's a lot of like um weird shapes to your eyes i guess that make them um form a lot of i don't know like the, the concealer doesn't stay like a very nice flat tone a lot of the time it kind of ends up getting a little cracky and stuff so yeah anyway so that's good that's awesome then we're just going to move on to the eyeshadow i'm going to do the exact same eyeshadow exact same thing that i did the last time on stream but we're gonna try do this one way faster way faster and that's not because like i want to like i, I don't want to do it badly i'm just like hoping now that i have practice with it that i can actually pull off the exact same thing just like significantly faster than it was before so um sorry what was it you know, 12, you tried to end your, the life of mistreatment of others with 16 your diet, 80, so now you're 20, starting to like yourself. Yeah, it took me a long time. It took me a long time to like myself. Um, it's still something I struggle with a lot, actually. Um, yeah, it's hard because I think I'm a very, like, I'm a very peculiar person, I guess. You know? I'm a very odd person. Um... So I think, I, I don't know how to describe it. I thought about this like very, very recently. I've been thinking about it a lot recently um, is maybe the better way to put it. Just like about like myself. When I, was, when I was younger, I used to struggle with this a lot and I came to a nice resolution at a certain point. Um, so I'm talking about this very weirdly. <laughs> um, basically, I used to be like, I, I used to be really afraid of being a bad person, I think, um, because I'm I'm a really blunt person, and I'm also like I have a lot of like I have a lot of like annoying traits as a person. Like it's different on stream, but like as a person, I have a lot of annoying traits. Um, I'm very blunt. Um, I can be rude. Um, I'm really stubborn. Um, I'm really stubborn. I have a lot of like, I have a lot of insecurity. 
You know? Oh, fuck. Sorry. I have a lot of insecure... I'm, I'm a pretty insecure person. I don't mind admitting it. Um, and... And I remember, like, it was, it, it was hard for me to keep friends. It's always been hard for me to keep friends. Um, but I'm also, like, a likable... It's really hard to say. I'm also a very likable person, you know? I think I'm likable. Maybe that's me coping right now. But I think I'm likable. Um, you know? And... I think it was this color. Um... And I think I like myself, is what I kind of decided. I think the person I am... I think I like that person. Um, so I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's bad to be me. I think I find a way. I think I'm a I'm a unique person, and I have my own kind of like, you know, I have my own strengths, and my own weaknesses, and I think my sorry, I think my strengths are fine, and I think my weaknesses are you know, are also fine. I don't think there's like a crazy, I don't put crazy pressure on myself to change. I don't really wanna, I don't know. I'm, I'm really rambling. This, this is a much deeper topic in my mind that I'm like willing to pull out right now on stream. It's a much more deep and complex topic in my brain than like what I'm expressing to you guys. Another thing is about this is that you don't if you don't like who you are, you can do different things to become a different person. Like there's very little inherent unchangeable qualities in a person. I think I agree. I think from my from my perspective, especially as I've gotten older, I think people don't really end up changing very much. Especially after a certain like age. Um, outside of things like um I'm gonna call them I'm gonna use the this. I'm, a, I'm not 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 trying to be a fucking nerd here, okay? But I am gonna call them like fucking reference across the Spider Verse or whatever, and I call them canon events, okay? Um, generally speaking, I don't think a lot of people like do like a little bit of like introspection and go like, ah, yeah, you know what? Honestly, I don't really love like this thing I do. I don't love like this thing. I'm gonna like, um, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't think people like really change that way. Usually what I think, how I think people change is, um, something like, something big happens that causes them to reevaluate their like worldview or whatever, you know? Um... Some like big event basically occurs. And they go like, oh, fuck. And it's like a, you know, it's like maybe, maybe like either something traumatic or, um, I think also drugs can do that as well. I think like, I think drugs can change like your personality a lot in a way that like, um, like medical or recreational drugs in a way that like just regular introspection won't because it'll completely change. I mean, it totally changes how your brain is operating. You know, it introduces like new fucking chemicals in that like drastically change the way your brain is working. Right? So I think drugs can be a thing that can like really change a person or, um, or like a crazy event or something in their life or something like that. But generally, other than that, I don't feel like people change very much. Um, and for me, I think, like, the way I think about myself, too, is, like, I don't really, I don't really, like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't, like, want to change who I am, you know? I actually, like, I actually, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just, like, everyone works differently, I guess. But, like, the way I was raised and stuff, you know? I was, like, very, um... I'm gonna use the nice word independent instead of the less nice word of lonely, <laughs> but I'm gonna use the independent word. Um, but I was a very independent uh, kid, you know? I didn't really need a lot of friends, or I guess I, I developed the coping strategies from a pretty young age to exist without a lot of friends or attention or anything. 
Um, and so I operate mostly fine alone. Like, I honestly, I operate quite well by myself. I don't really need, like, people. Um, the only reason I have to interact with people is, like, because I need to do stuff to, like, eat and sleep and live, I guess. But I, I got a lot of maladaptive behaviors that make it so I exist by myself, like, just fine, honestly. Um, so for me personally, it's like, would it be too hard, I think, to be like a very, well, I do a stream where I fight beers in chess. I, so today, I want to learn a chess, A or two chess openings. Um, possibly two, like one for black, one for white. Um, but I do want to learn like a chess opening today. Now, it may be easier to practice that against a, like a veer or something, like another human being. Um, so that, um, so that we can play the same moves repeatedly, you know? Yeah, white is easy enough. Yeah, like I'll, obviously I'll learn white first. And then black is like, well, I need to learn a lot more. But we'll start with white, obviously. Okay, this is fine. I'm taking way too long on this part of it. I could have done this way faster, I think. But it's fine. So next up, we do the under eye line. Um, so we did our like outline here, as you can see. We did like outline on our eyes here. We kept the lids clear. Um, and then we're going to go, oh wait, I need to, hold on, check this shit out. Ooh. Okay, I just need to get this a little bit higher. It's like, oops. Wait, the wrong way. So heavy. Okay, sorry. I just need to get my mirror to my head height here, just for this part. Yeah, I got a standing desk, yeah. Okay, I just need to, I need to be looking straight ahead at my mirror for this part. To get the, the underline proper. As you can kind of see, I'm doing like a line under here. I need to do the same on the other side. So, um, and yeah, before I do this line, I, um, I need my, my, I need to look straight ahead, is all I'm saying. I just need to be looking. Straight ahead, here. Which I was, okay. Which is good. Then I'm just gonna, um, kind of blend over, like, or just brush over this and kind of like soften it so it's not like as harsh of a line. You know, just gonna do that. And then down here, I'm gonna kind of like, go a little deeper into the eyes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, nice, nice. Okay, so that's the next part basically done. Then this is the cool part. So now that we have those two steps done, we have, um, now that we have those two steps done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take black. We're gonna get black eyeshadow. And we're just making a very simple shape here. So a very simple shape. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the underline of my wing. As if I was doing like an eyeliner wing, this is the underline. And I'm gonna go on the other side as well, same thing, this is like the underneath line of the wing. Then I'm going to take one third of the way across my eyelid with black. And I am going to brush that one third of the way across my eyelid part up and across to the top in a very nice line of that, of that thing, I guess. 
we're going to make a nice line just like this and it goes like that i'm going to move this in front of me so i can just see better just like that and that's the that's like the the wing part right there i'm going to do the same on the other side again with the black one third of the eyelid up, up and across to create our wing fill it all in And that's our other eye. And that's our, that's our wing right there. And I know it's really hard to see with the lighting right now, um, unfortunately. Oh, I know what I can do to fix this. Let me just, I'm gonna just fix my lighting quickly. So you guys can see a little bit better. Cause I know it's with the, it's so sunny that it's hard to see. This should be a little bit better, I hope. And I'm going to bring this down now, now that we did this part. I actually can't tell if this is even better, if you can even see this either, to be honest. Maybe not. You guys still might not be able to even see what the fuck I'm doing with my eyes here. But these are like my wings here. So, now that we did that, Good next step, good next step. Now what we do is we go back to the to the dark brown that we were using, that dark brown. Um, and we're gonna put that on a bit of a smaller brush here. Ooh, did I forget an ooh? Oh, sorry, ooh, hello, um, hi. Uh, and I'm gonna just kind of outline it now with the dark brown here. Just very gently, very gently. I'm going to outline the black wing with dark brown. I'm going to pull it in a little bit to the eyelid in kind of like a downwardish motion like this. Okay. You can kind of see this is without the blending. This is with the blending. Okay. I'm gonna even just pull it all in the crease a little bit here. Okay. See him on the other side. Hello, uh, hello. All right. So again, just outline the black with this dark brown. This helps it all look more look nice together. Drag it in a little bit. Blend along the lid just a little bit. Bring it in a little bit along the lid. And along the crease just a little bit more. Okay, cool. And that's both eyes pretty much done. Uh, the final step would be take our initial brush that we used for the first color, put on the first color again, and just kind of go over like this top part one more time, just a little bit with that first color on each side. We, this is so good. I, I, the fact that I'm able to pull this off two times in a row consistently fares very well for me, actually. This is a very good thing for me. Okay, once I've done that, the, um, the next step is, I forget which brush I used for this last time. I think it was this brush. Yeah, it was this brush. The next step um, is the highlight, basically. So this part on our eye here that we have um, left clear, deliberately, of course. Um, you have my accent? Is it half can Yes, exact, that's exactly what it is. Yes, you nailed it. Yes. 
I spent about half my life, or at least half my speaking life, in both countries. So yeah, it's like half Canadian. So yeah, so we're gonna get our um, we're gonna get highlight on our brush here. Highlight, okay. And we're gonna take our setting spray. Setting spray. So we have our highlight on the brush. We're gonna get setting spray, and we're gonna wet the brush, okay, with the setting spray. That's gonna clump the highlight up, make it thicker. Just gonna shake it a little bit. Um, I might even just go back in, get a little bit more highlight just to dry it in the highlight, you know? But that's gonna make the highlight clump up on the thicker brush. And then we're gonna go in and this inner corner, basically, like this eyelid part here, we're gonna paint it with this nice, beautiful, thick highlight now. And you can just see, you can just compare. You can, you can see. Ta-da! I think this eye is a little tighter in, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more brine here. I'm just gonna... Um... Pull this eye in just a little more so they're more even. And ta-da! What's my least favorite opening to play against in chess? Um, right now, as a complete newbie, like I played one time, I played one one day basically, um, and I played a little bit off stream. I did get so much better at my eyes, didn't I? Like how good did I do? You fear she just learned how the horsey moves? <laughs> yeah, um, I will say from the limited limited experience, the Sicilian is really really. It, there's I, I I'm really struggling. I'm actually that was one I I practiced against a bot that always does the Sicilian, and it's really fucking hard. I can't, I, it's really, really, really hard, actually, to handle. You recommend that elephant? I, I don't know. What that is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what it is, and I'll let you know if I agree. Um, and then yeah, we're just gonna highlight the inner corners a little bit brighter here, and the rest so they stand out a little more. Then I'm gonna take the same thing for the highlight. We're just gonna brush highlight. On the bridge of our nose. And we're gonna just put highlight here in a nice little strip. Okay, cool. Awesome. Holy shit. My makeup looks so fucking good today. Yo, it looks so good. Okay. And that's basically it. The last thing to do would be lips um, and brow, or uh, lips and lashes. So I'm gonna do lips first, lashes last. Um, I'm not very good at lips. I'm gonna be real with you. I also don't have, uh, I also don't have a lip pencil, which It's 
something I need to get. Um, but my... My theory with whips is just make my upper whip a little bit bigger. Um, that's my whip theory. Um, that's about as far as it goes. Make the upper whip a little bit bigger. Okay. Then the other part of whip theory that I know is, um, get a darker shade. For the inner part and a lighter shade for the outer heart. So I'm doing the darker shade here just. Uh, I'm just gonna use like a Q-tip honestly to blend this shit. Uh, The idea in theory with this is that it looks like your lips have more shadow under in the middle and less on the outer part. Um, I think it's a little hard to see with the lighting right now. But I don't really know if I have a good fix for that, unfortunately. Maybe like... Maybe like pulling this all the way down will help. We'll see. Maybe a little bit. All right, so that's the that's the makeup done. The makeup done. I'm just gonna setting spray now. We did that really quickly, didn't we? That whole makeup took less than an hour. That took like I don't even know what time I started doing my makeup yet. Um, I don't know what time like on the clock I started doing my makeup, but that was lightning fast. That was lightning fast. 27 minutes? No shot, it only took 27 minutes. That's insane. Isn't that fucking insane? Um, the last thing that we can do is lashes. I got brand new lashes. Um, these are so much more expensive than the ones I had before. Now I say that, like the last ones I had were $5. Or not five dollars. I think they were they were like ten dollars on they were like twelve dollars on sale for six dollars. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. The last ones I had were twelve dollars on sale for six dollars. These ones were uh, thirty dollars. So definitely a lot more expensive than the lashes I usually buy. Um, I want I did not want to buy these ones. I wanted to buy my usual lashes. Um, you know. I didn't want to buy these. I wanted to buy my normal lashes. But when I went to Sephora to buy my normal lashes, they didn't have them. And I asked them where I could find the lashes. And they recommended these to me because they look very similar. And I didn't know how much they cost. And then when I got to the checkout and I saw their price and I was like, oh, well, that fucking sucks. But now I have really expensive lashes. So you know what? You're gonna make the use, the, gonna make the best out of them. So, let me just. Oops, figure out how these go. Uh, I might need to cut these a little bit shorter, but we'll see. Oh my god, if I could just, please, get this to sit on my eye so I can just check if I don't, if I do or don't need to cut it. It's a gateway, maybe they're better somehow and you'll be hooked on them. That's my biggest fear. Um, that's my number one fear right now. I can't get this just, I just want it to sit on my eye so I can tell how much of it I might need to cut off. 
here. Oh boy, probably a, probably not that much, I think. Unless they're expecting me to like. Unless they're expecting me to not cut any of it, which seems weird to me. Let me compare it in size to my other lashes that I have just sitting right here. Let's see how much shorter these other ones are. Because I did feel like I cut my other ones a little too short. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just try it. Let's fuck. Let, fuck it. We ball. Fuck it. We ball. Okay. We're gonna just try them without cutting them. And if they look bad, we'll. we'll t if if it looks bad, if it looks obviously too big, I will take it off and I will cut it a little bit. But yeah. Fuck it. We ball. Number one fear more than spiders? Okay, well, you know, depends on the spider, I think. Yeah, no, I think it needs cut a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. I think it needs cut though. Okay, sorry, this might take a second. I know this part sucks. I think it sucks at least. have to cut these just slightly shorter they're just a little too long is all um because yeah it happens it's common it is not uncommon to do this and i'm cutting like so little off of them just at a time fuck this might take a while actually just to trial and error this so i hope it's not too boring Sorry about this part. Unfortunate, but... Um, I don't want to fuck these up because I spent $30 on them. So, you know, if I was... Yeah, okay. All right, one more time. No.
Yes, nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, right? You can't even fucking see. <laughs> not, not even a point to do this part. You can't even tell the difference, but. They look very good, okay? I don't think you can see a difference from your point of view because the way the shadows look right now, but I can see the difference and it looks very nice. Mission accomplished, okay? Now I just need to put the other one on and then we're actually, we are actually, actually done with our makeup. And then we'll put chest. Sorry for being very, very quiet for this part. It's unfortunately the, um, the worst part of the whole thing. So. But I think we did just fine. I think we did okay. I'm gonna finish with one more quick step here. That final quick step is gonna be just putting some, um, putting some black eyeshadow on this like kind of more accurate brush and just kind of like kind of hitting like along the lash line here right at the end of the um, of the false lash just so it looks a little more like well blended or at least it blinds in a little bit better Okay, because right now this one is not blending very well. Okay. All right, I think that's fine, honestly. This one is not perfect, for sure. In fact, it's so not perfect that I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna lose it, dude. You really struggle getting these things to stay on. Any tips? Um, Make sure they're cut at the right size. That's like the number one thing. Um, I think everyone. Everyone struggles a little bit with false lashes. It's part of the part of the reality. So just make sure that they're the correct size that they're sh try to shape them before you even try to put them on. Um, and give the glue a second to dry before you try to get them to stick. Um, if the glue is not dry before you try to, like, not like, you don't want it to be dry, dry, obviously, but if you want it to be, you don't want it to be wet, because if it's wet, it'll slide, and you don't want that. You don't want it to slide. So usually I just like, you can just fan them a little bit to dry the glue just slightly. Because I've tried to put this on twice already and it's not worked, thankfully this is now in the perfect shape that I, that I have to have it in. So 
I have the glue on. It's in the perfect shape. I just need to set it on correctly and then use some tweezers here. And just focus on the outer parts. So if the inner corner and the outer corner are both in the correct place, I got it nicely this time. If the inner corner and the outer corner are both where they should be, and the band is curved in the correct way, which it should be if you tried to put, if you've already put it on, like if you've already attempted to put the, the, eyes, the eyelashes on once, which you should probably do without glue first. But if, so be, yeah, so if your eyelashes are in the correct shape and the inner corner and the outer corner are in the right place, the middle will be in the right place. So just focus on getting those two corners on correctly. You can use tweezers to get a little more accurately. I, do, I did use tweezers this time. I think tweezers help. Um, and then what you can also do is, um, what I like to do as well, is I take mascara um, and I put some mascara on. My lower lashes here. which does a couple things. First thing it does is it blends them in nicely. But the other thing you can do is you can kind of like pinch with um, your tweezers. On your false lashes. And because you have mascara on your lower lashes, they'll kind of stick a little bit to your false ones and that can just help it stay on a little longer. So that took me a minute, sorry about that. But we are done. That was the worst part of it all. And we're done. We did it. We actually did it, we actually won. We fucking killed it, we killed the makeup boss. Easy victory, easy victory. I actually forgot one more thing. God, so much makeup shit to do. I forgot highlight on my cheeks. Like this outer part of my eye here as well. And a little bit like up here. And a little bit here. And whatever's left, just smudge into my forehead. Okay, cool. All right, now we're actually, 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 100%, no take backsies, 1 million percent, done. We did it. We are finished. You're a month on HRT. It's great. Awesome. Congratulations. Oh, I, could, I have one more thing to show you guys. You ready? And then we can flop our hair, right? We're gonna take, I keep getting hair in my fucking mouth. We're gonna take our hair down. And now we look even more pretty. Now we look even more done up, right? Now, now we're ready. Now we're ready to play chess. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Let me close, I wanna see what the lighting looks like if I close a window a little more. I don't know if I need more lighting, or last lighting. So let me cover the, um, let me cover the thing a little bit. So I made the, I made the room darker here. So now it's darker. Okay. And it, you can, okay. So it, the, the, okay. Okay. So not darker. Don't make it darker. Make it brighter. Make it brighter. Properties. I just want to look at my camera thing. Yep. Yeah, okay. So make it brighter. Okay, now it's way, okay, yeah, no. I should have had it brighter from the beginning. I didn't realize. 
how much of a difference this was going to make. I'm going to open this. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Fucking Christ. Pull this one up a little bit. Yeah. Let me do... Wonder Woman Lauren's chest for the first time. Openings. Learning my first opening. One second, let me just do some quick deity stuff. Quick bit stuff done. All right, don't we look beautiful? Now we look pretty. Now we're ready. Now we're fully ready for chess. Okay, let me just hydrate myself, get some electrolytes, because I'm gonna need them for my brain. Check my messages real quick, just to see. Oh, I do have a message. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So, here's the hard part now. We need to pick a chest opening and we need to fucking learn it. And which, how do you pick your first chest opening? How to learn your first ever chest opening okay chest for beginners study plan the opening queen's gambit okay best chest openings for beginners um I, i'm just going to open up chess.com here one second and i'll put it on screen um properties chess.org um it should work oh yeah okay let me just extend this fully first then pull it in and i'm gonna go like this Unless, I don't know if it'll put the moves up here on the side, but we'll, so we'll leave it like this for now, I think. Like this, basically. London might be the easiest. I did see people, so here's a couple things I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking, okay? I want to learn chess openings. Um, I want to learn chess openings. Um, I do not want to learn a cheese opening right at first. So these are the these are like the conditions of what I want to learn for my first opening, okay? So I do not want to learn a cheese opening. I don't want to learn something that is like, haha, we're gonna check me at you in two moves or some bullshit. Um so the London sounds good. To me, the London sounds good. So let me Google the London. The London chest. London system openings. Okay. So I guess I can show this on screen, probably. Somehow. Here, if I just go monitor, I guess, so you can see this. So we'll do this for, at first for a second. Okay. So, one, so London, okay, is, okay, B4, I, I don't know how important Black's response is to this, B4, then Bishop to C4, then E3, then 
knight to b2 or to d2 then c3 i'm just trying to remember to say the names of them knight to c6 knight to f3 bishop oh they're doing the same opening basically or they're like forming like a, a very or maybe not the same opening but they're forming a very similar structure here i notice okay so basically you're forming this triangle with your pawns they're they're making like a triangle with the pawns here um before i look at the actual theory here behind this so let's go back to the first few moves and we just think I'll, I'll look at the actual theory once i just look at it myself here okay i'm breathtaking today thank you so much i just finished my makeup okay this is just these two pawns are good the reason my understanding of why they're good is they cover the middle squares which is good we want to cover the middle squares basically so these two are both good um i believe kings is nice the king's pawn is nice because it lets your queen and your bishop out if you move the king's pawn your queen can leave and your bishop whereas if you move the queen's pawn um and black moves the queen's pawn black can move um or sorry no sorry and black moves the queen's pawn or whatever it's fine but like you can't move you can move this bishop but your queen is kind of stuck a little bit you know and this one's not uh, and this one's definitely stuck so usually I think, but I think with the London, your goal is to move this pawn up eventually anyway. You make this triangle, I'm remembering. Okay, so let's see, let's see the, the, the opening here that they have. D4, knight f3, knight, or uh, bishop f4. Okay. Bishop f, bishop f4. Okay. That's the, that's basically. Okay. The one is going to just assist him because white can play the same basic setup for almost all black responses. Okay, so let's go to the main line. So the main line setup. Let's go from the beginning. D4. Okay. Bishop instead of knight. But I don't think it matters necessarily which order you do it in. Because they're not playing a piece that's going to attack this. If they play like this, like they're, they're, they're never attacking this on their second move. So it doesn't really matter the order, I think. Then you play this to protect this. Not that it's getting attacked, but it is protected. They play this to attack this. I'm assuming they're going to play the pawn here. Yeah, they play the pawn here. Okay. Wait, did I miss, did I miss something? Do you ever? No, so you never play this one. I noticed that now. You never play this knight, which is very common. Usually you don't want to track your knight in here, but they, they let themselves jump to here by moving the... Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. So where was the main line? Sorry. Then they go here. This doesn't... So I'm a little confused about the setup so far. This guy's... The pawns are strong, though. The pawns are protecting all of this. I don't really know what this guy's protecting right now. Or what he's doing. But I... I'm not sure what he's doing, actually. Maybe he stops the queen? It's more about building your... Yeah, I think... Yeah, it looks like that. I don't really know what this guy is doing out here. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay. They get this guy out immediately because once they build this wall of pawns, this guy is never getting out. He's never going out. Okay. He's never... The, the This bishop is never leaving if they don't get him out immediately. Okay, I understand. So that's why they get him out. But he doesn't have to do anything special. He just needs to get out before it's too late. Um, okay. So the main line is you build this like tower. And then if they attack with the bishop here, bishop takes, you take, and that disrupts your pawn structure really badly. So you don't want to, you don't want them to take you. But if you move back here and they take you, then you can... I'm not sure what would happen if they traded here. I'm not sure which one you would do. Pro probably the rook one? No, no, no. Maybe not the rook. Maybe the rook one to open up the rook. And you can castle here at any point. Or you can... Uh, you can ca... Oh, sorry. You can... You take with H? Okay. So you would take with this one. Okay. Open up your rook. Um, if you move this guy, you can castle this side safely. If, depending on the circumstances, you still haven't castled, which is good. You still haven't castled. So that's good. That means, and once you get your queen out here as well, 
you have both sides open to castling. So you can be really flexible. Will I stream chess for a while? Yeah, I will. I'll be streaming for at least until 7 p.m. At least. Um, but probably longer, I would imagine. So, yeah. So, okay. I understand. And it doesn't really matter what the opponent does. Okay. 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 And basically... Okay, so the early c5, black scores well in this line, winning half, drawing a quarter, and losing a quarter. So he has to bring out the queen to queen side with three. Uh, with three, queen to b6. So what's this play? So they start. So this is the London. Once you see this, you know it's the London. And this is where you go c5. Now they're in trouble. Um, why would they be in trouble here? What would go wrong here? What's the problem with this? White's best response is three, D5. Three, D5? What is three, how, what is, th oh, the third move is D5. So queen to D5, I guess, or no? How do, how do I how do I read this? White's best response is three d five. So three means the third move. D means something on the, oh it's to move this guy forward. Sorry. Okay, I understand now. I understand now. So White's best response from this point is move this guy one forward. Okay. Because. Okay. So let me just let me just mess around with this a little bit in um in here. Let me just mess around with this a little bit. Um here. So I'm just gonna go play computer here. I'm just gonna play I'm gonna play against I keep playing against this coach girl. Um I don't really care I don't really care what she does. I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna just do friendly or whatever. I'm just gonna play my moves here and just figure out what I'm doing. So, queen pawn here. Okay. They respond with this. I don't care what they do. Is my understanding? I don't. I don't care what they do. I move the bishop out. They move this here. Now my next move is. What's my next move? I already forgot. Fucking Christ. What was, what's my next move in the main line? Jesus Christ. Okay, it's the, it's this pawn now. Okay. E3 is the main line. Okay. What a bizarre, I don't know what the hell this is. But I don't care, I don't, it's okay. So now, now next is... Next would be this, which I can just play, even though they're not attacking at all here. And like, a, and like how a normal person would. I can still play this one. And then the next is the knight to here. And then next is other knight to here. And then next... Um... Next is well in the in the video they are attack they're attacking with like a fucking rook at the, or a, a bishop at this point, which doesn't do anything. So next up would be what? What would I do next here? What would what would my next move be here? If I was just doing like the regular opening, I guess. would be here to here. Okay. 
what happens? What are they doing here? If they go here, they fork my rook and my queen. But that doesn't matter because I can't, they can't defend it. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Um, I don't, I don't want to do that, sorry. <laughs> Give me a second to think. Okay. Um, okay, if they, if they go here, and I saw what happened when I took that as well. If I take that, this takes here, and then if I, I th these are fucked, because if I take with this, I lose this. So I don't, uh, sorry, I'm, I, just to be clear, I misclicked. Just to be clear. Um, okay, so I don't want to take this. I don't mind. Do I mind if they jump into me anywhere here? I don't think so, because the only trade they can get is on the knight, and that's fine for me. I think it's fine if they try to trade the knight here. I don't care if they trade the knight. Um, so what would my next move be then, realistically? Queen to like here? Is the queen not stuck if I go here with the queen? This feels very like... But I guess I can ca now I can castle both sides. Okay, they're pressuring my bishop, which is kind of trapped at the moment. And if I go here... My bishop's kind of trapped. Do I go back here? Do I go here with this? They can't get me with anything if I go up. You're gonna let, you imagine when people were confused. Um. Okay, but this would be the position then. I look nice. Thank you. I tried really hard today. So this would be, I guess, this is the ending position. This is everything has been done. This is the full the full system has been deployed. So they have a pawn attacking my my thing here. So my options are move this to safety, which is probably the best thing to do, or develop a counterattack, which I don't see how I'm developing a counterattack right now. So I don't think that's an option. I could check with this. Wait, does that work for me? No, 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 because the rook's here. No, 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 no. Rook is here. Okay. How's it going? Good. We're learning the opening here. Um, if this comes in here, well, not, that doesn't matter. This can't, the queen can't do shit for him or for her, whatever. Okay. So let me just draw lines. This is what some, uh, this is what I saw. Okay. Someone suggests the day. Draw lines. When you're confused about what's going on, draw lines. Okay. My last move was kind of a waste. What was my last move? The queen? My last move was a waste. That's what allowed the opponent to counterattack. I see. So the reason I moved the queen up here because I, I was looking at the, the way the opening was set up, and I saw that by moving it up here, it lets me castle in both directions. But I understand that. Oops, I didn't mean to. One second. One second. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I saw that I could castle in both directions, which seemed good to me at the time. But I'm playing so I've been playing solitaire so far. I've been playing single player up until this point. So, um, yeah. This is not too terrible of a position. I think I, I think the best move is to move this back. Right? I think that's the best move. Maybe not, because it kind of really stunts my ability to move. Now my pawn's on this side. Really can't move forward to attack where the king is. And their king is really open. So maybe this is the this feels like a weak position for me. Because the king is super open over here, and I also I have no real way of developing like a strong offensive presence right here. Um, I could castle kingside. I could, I could, I could do that. Um, do they have a way in right now? Not really. They don't have a many. They don't have many pieces that are like ready to attack the same square multiple times. I see this square is defended one, two times, only two times. I can see 
This square is only defended once. This square is only defended once by the queen. This square is defended once by the rook. Um, if I go here, no, it's defended by this guy and this guy. This is the worst guy. This is the this is their strongest piece on their board, right here. This is the most defended piece on their entire board. Is what I'm identifying from this. So maybe I want to... And what's the most under attack piece on my board right now? Right now it's... It's everything only sees one thing. So... If that's the case... What can I do here? I remember your ABCs always be cheesing. Okay. I don't really like any of my options right now. Truth be told. I don't think I have any strong moves at the moment. So maybe I just play a more reactive game and I just castle. I play H4 here. I think that's okay. My only thing about that is if they take it, they open their rook. And I don't really open my rook in the same way, I guess. But maybe that's fine. But we'll try H4. I can I like the idea of it. Okay, well they didn't take it. Um Think of okay, I don't care what her plan is here. Well, I mean we can assume she's gonna make blunders deliberately in this game because that's what the chess bots do. But that's fine. Um, okay. So if I take here now, I have... No, I still need one more piece that attacks this in order for this to work. So I can't attack this one. Um... Hmm. Let me think, then, what the best play is. C3 to D4. This one? Because then if it takes... Then I can pin his king on his rook after they take back. Pin his king on his rook. Huh? How could I possibly... Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry, I understand now. Yes, I understand now. Okay. I understand. Sorry, it took me a second to understand. Where am I from? I'm from Northern Ireland, originally. Now I live in Canada, so I have a bit of a mixed up accent. It's good to take the G5 pawn because you remove their good knight from the center and open up your rook. You kind of dig king... Or sorry, K... K g5 knight takes g5 knight takes g5 into qu queen checks ah oh, i see i see it that's a really good play right that's good that's a good one we go here we check he's gonna take if he takes Knight to g5 just loses a pawn. Well, I would take the pawn here. He can take with this. I can take with this. He can take, or she can take with this. But I can't move my queen here because then the rook is here and the rook will just take my queen. So that kind of falls apart if they use the rook. Right? Like I could take, I could, I could, I could, um, I could take here. They take here, they take here. Um, I take here, they take here. I'm down. You give the check before. So, okay, so take here. Takes here. 
put in check. They move their king or something. Then take. And now they can't... Um, and now they can't move the rook here. Because if they do move the rook here, my queen is here. Okay. I see now. Okay. I see. Let's go for it. So let's see if... Okay. So they move. Wait. If they do that, then do I just take... Now do I just take this and... They just... They just blocked their... They just pin, they just trapped their own rook. Here. No? GG, fork? Fork, the knight and queen. <gasps> oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Or wait, um... Bishop protects that square? Oh, you're right, you're right. Oh, sorry. I, you're correct, actually. Sorry, you're correct, you're correct. Look for a fork. Look for a fork. That was the only one I saw. Sorry. You just play the queen anyway, threaten everything? I kind of like it, because it also puts the queen in the position where she's protecting the piece now. In advance. And if they try to take, yeah, I like it. I like it. If I go here, is it checkmate? Is this checkmate? Nothing can take me, not the, not the king. Oh no, because they can move. They can move somewhere. Okay, they can move somewhere. I can take their queen. I can take their queen. With the knight. Right. Yeah, if I if the if the knight goes here, they can't take the knight, and the queen is I I've I have them forked. Okay, I understand, and they can't move the king anywhere. The king can't do fucking anything right now to take this piece. I'll take the rook. Or okay, well, I mean it's a bot, so you know. Now before I do that, is there anything I can do here to get a checkmate? Is this checkmate? No, it's, it is this checkmate. This is checkmate, right? This is just checkmate. The king can't move anywhere. No? Oh, because the king can take the knight. Right, 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 right. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm slow. I'm slow. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just, I just take the queen. Basically here. I should just, I could try to force it. What if I go here? The knight is attacking this position, so that's not good. Um, that doesn't work. Yeah, okay, I think I'm just gonna take the queen, because it seems free. And the only way they have to take back is to move their knight out of that position. And if the knight moves out of that position, I can move my bishop in now. So if the knight goes to take it, Then I take here. No, that's not protected. Fuck. Um, okay, that's fine. What if I go here? Oh, does it fall in there? Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, sorry. I got a, I got a little too hypey. I got a little too hypey. Um, protect the queen. Oh, the queen is getting threatened by the knight. But he can't. No, no, no. The knight is pinned. The knight is pinned. He can't do it. The knight is pinned. So what if I go here with this now? And I no no no, because he can just take with this. Never mind.
Let me think. Let me think. Sorry. Let me think. There should be a way for me to just steal a piece here, but I don't understand what it is. Um, if I just take... No, because you can take with this. I'm a coffee or tea... I'm definitely a tea person. Um, if I go here... Went ahead like this, just trade pieces and the board will clear up. That's the boring way to play, though. I want to see if I can just find a checkmate here or something. That's like... I, I want to just look for checkmates quickly, because the bot is programmed to make misplays against me that are, like, very obvious. So I just want to take this time to look for, like, a strong play. Knight to f3. Looks good. You're pretty sure there was a checkmate back there? I think so, too, with the queen. I think so, as well. I just couldn't see it. It feels like it, though. Um, so I can pretend this guy doesn't exist. So what does he see? He sees this, 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 this. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm just thinking is all. Okay, maybe I will just make the simple thing because I'm up a queen versus I now just traded these off. Because realistically, hmm, there has to be a better play here. I wonder if I just like if I put the king in check here, then I like take this or something. Like put the king in check. He has to move the king. Then, like, take this or something. No, that doesn't work. Oh, no, because he can just take the... No, 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 no. He can take the with the pawn. Sorry. So put the, queen, the king in check here. Then he has to move the king. Then I can take it. Right? Wrong. No, 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 wrong. Wrong, because the bishop's looking at it. Never mind. I can never do that. So ignore this pawn. This pretend this pawn doesn't like ignore this. I'm not gonna get that pawn for free unless I go here. What if I go here and just take this pawn immediately? Oh, well, what if I take this pawn? So what happens if I take this pawn immediately? So if I take this pawn immediately, my bishop is here. If this guy comes in, I can take it. Yeah. So this is, okay, this is the play. I win a pawn. Okay, this is how I win the pawn. It took me 10 minutes of thinking to get that. Let me just think through it myself quickly. So I take here. This is my bishop. My bishop sees this, sees this. Um, my bishop is protected by my queen. This guy doesn't exist because he's pinned. Their moves available to them. This guy can't touch it. This guy can't do anything. This guy can't do anything. This guy has one move. This guy is out of the game right now. This guy can't do anything. This guy can't do anything. None of these guys can do anything. Okay. I think. I think. It's really hard for me to see this stuff, to be honest. Okay. So now... Now I take with the... With the queen. Correct? Nothing can take this. Nothing sees this, po this position. Do I want to do like... Let me think. Do I want to do check first before I take the bishop? Is there a reason to do that first? So if I, if I go here first, bishop walks. Oh, okay, and then I don't get the free bishop. Okay. I go here. And then he's in check. What would he play? Yeah, he would. He would. He would move. The, okay, I understand. It's so hard. This game is so hard. Okay, I take this for free. Okay, now. Now what do I do? 
Now, what do I do? If I go here, he can take the... Wait, 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 no. If I... No, no, there's a pawn here. Sorry. I'm trying to think. Okay. If I go here, I just have to think. The knight is still pinned right now. Who is behind me? No one's behind me. Why would you say that? That's terrifying. <laughs> okay. This is still... No, but it's not... The knight's not... Okay, the knight is pinned by the queen. This pins the knight. Just think. Just think. Just think. Use your brain. Just think. The king is on a white square, so this bishop is never checking. Knight f3, you think? Yeah, I can't go here with the knight. I want I need a, I need one more piece to get close. Then knight g5. Knight f3, knight g5. He has to his only move is gonna be his only move will be to no no no. Well we're, oops, oops, oh, well it's fine. It's fine to do that. If I go here, he's in check. So what happens if I go here? Let me just think. Let me try to visualize what happens if I go here. I just want to visualize. So this is my knight now. My knight goes here. Okay. The king is in check. The king can go here and not be in check and be kind of safe, honestly. The rook can take the knight to get rid of the check. But if that happens and the rook does take the knight, Then what happens? I can take the rook for free. I can go here and reapply check. Pawn takes rook. Pawn takes... Oh, pawn takes rook. I didn't even think about that. Okay. So this is my knight here. They can eat... They... Option one is they move the king. Option two is they take my knight with the rook and they lose their rook. So it's... So that would all... So the so the, we, I think we can eliminate this play. This would not help if I move the knight here. We can kind of eliminate that play, I think. I don't think that would help them whatsoever. Therefore, the only good move they have is move the king here, which makes the king just safer than it was before. However, however, with my knight here and the king here, can I do anything crazy that way? Is there anything that opens up with the king being here? Maybe at this point, because I'm up so much, I do just trade the pieces. Maybe that's what I do. I just trade pieces. I don't see any counterpoint to this move. So I think I will just do this. And that's fine with me. Unfortunately, that really limits. Actually, let me think. Never mind, never mind. There's a fork on C7. There was. Oh, on C7. On C7. So I'm just thinking. Oh, you're so smart. You're right. There is a fork on here. Okay. Sorry, I know we're playing with like options to turn to go back in time and shit, but that's why we're practicing. Yeah, there is. So I could fork here. This is just good. This is good warm up, but I don't think this is learning the opening, which is my goal here. This is like actually trying to practice a game, which is probably not what I want to be doing. So we'll we'll quickly finish this and then we'll go to just practicing the opening, I think. Okay. So what would happen if I went here? Let me just think this through quickly. If I went here. If I went here, they can't do anything, but I would take the, well, well, I just noticed actually, um, never mind actually, what a fork is. The fork is just when, let's say you move a piece somewhere, like for example, let's say I move my bishop here, they have two pieces that my bishop can take and nothing that can take my um and nothing can take my bishop basically so they're put in a position where i can take one of two pieces 
um, and they and they can't get out of it in any like there's no way to escape it. But what's important is obviously like with a fork or whatever, like most of the time, especially what I've learned is, especially early game, a fork is not a free piece unless you're like checking the king or some shit. Most of, not sometimes it's a free piece, but a lot of the time, a for it's only worth forking pieces if you're gonna get like a, a beneficial trade. Because for example, like if let's say I go here with this bishop and I put these in a position like that, then they're gonna move the the rook over like here or some shit. I take the I take the pawn for free. They move the rook over here. I take the knight because they move the rook over, and then the rook just takes my um, and then the the sorry, and then the rook just takes my bishop. So I got I would get like one pawn up, but I wouldn't like you know what I mean. I'm not getting a free piece other than this pawn, if that makes sense. But that's still a valuable thing, I think. Especially when they're already low. My bishop is worth two of those knights. Is it really? I still have both my rooks. Positionally? Oh, true, yeah, his, his knight isn't really doing anything right now. Um, just thinking. I didn't see that move myself, so I'm not going to play it just because I didn't see it, though I think it is the better move. And I'm going to do the the knight move here and just get my knight closer, I think. I think. And see what happens. Okay. Well. Okay. All right, blunders. I hope I didn't make any blunder. Oh, I have to log in, whoops. Sorry. I don't get to see my reply, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go back to the opening. So we're gonna play another time. We're gonna play against the computer another time here, but we're gonna play against, this is what I've been practicing against is, is the 2000 rating bot what I've understood from playing against this bot is this bot doesn't make mistakes deliberately. This bot plays like good plays, like correct plays, basically. I played against it like twice this morning and I got my fucking ass kicked. Even when I tried to like replay moves repeatedly, I, she kept kicking my, like I let myself replay moves over and over and she kept kicking my ass. So we'll go, we'll play with takebacks because this is a way above my skill level bot. And it's obviously a bot, so it's hacking, you know? Play 1200, you think? But I want to play against something that's playing, like, correct moves. I'll play against the 1500 one, okay? I want to play against a bot that's always just playing the correct move. I want to learn the opening with the correct moves being played, basically. You know? Or maybe I don't. Maybe I want to just... Maybe let's... Let's just study the opening one more time. So let's go back to the video and study the opening. Let me think, actually, if there's a different opening. I I want to have maybe more... When I think of that... Okay. When I think of the... So that was that's an interesting opening. However, I think the, the thing I probably want to play is an opening that has... How do I word it? I don't want to play a... I want to play an opening that relies on cheese or like our luck to win, but I want to play an opening that gives my opponent a lot of chances to make mistakes that I will be able to see and capitalize on, if that makes sense. So I want an opening that allows my opponent to make mistakes that I'm allowed to capitalize on because my opponents will make mistakes. I just need to know what those mistakes are when they happen and why they're mistakes. That's the whole point of the learning the opening, right? And the London is a good single player opening, but I don't think from from just the, the one time I played it there, I don't feel like it's allowing for blunders. Like for obvious blunders, if that makes sense. So it would be a more what would be another opening? What's the classic one? It's like oh I, it put me on black. That's fine. I don't wanna I don't wanna play back. We wanna just stay playing white for a second. Gambits let your opponents make mistakes. Um, hold on, let me resign and play a new game. 
against the in-person. Let me just play as white this time. Just always white for now. King's Indian is fun. Let me check that one. King's Indian. Chess. You can play it on both sides. Okay, it's a hyper-modern, aggressive opening for black as a response to d4. You like my outfit? Thank you so much. I love it as well. Um, this is a this is a black one. This is a this is a black. So we'll we'll figure this one out later. Um, what other ones are there? There's 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 a couple people mentioned. Fuck! I watched the whole thing. Top. Hold on. Not this. <laughs> one second. Okay. Top chess openings for beginners. I think the Italian game is the one that almost everyone plays. So, okay. So when I, so basically when I play, when I play against people on, at my skill level, which is like, apparently I'm almost 800 already, which makes no sense to me, but apparently that's where I am already. Um, almost every person I play against currently does this move. This is the most common move I see. When I play here, 90% of the time they play here. And when I play black, 99% of the time, it started me at 400, I think, on this on this website at 400. When I play black, 99% of the time, the white person plays this move first. So this is the most consistent way that a game will open, by far, at my skill level. 90% of the time the game will open like this. So, what's the one, I think there was one I saw, it was called like the Scotch, I think. I, I think I like that one, the Scotch Chess. The Scotch game. Still waiting for Bonkoid opening? Yeah, we'll, we'll look it up if, in a second. So, so yeah, so then you go like this. The person almost always does this. And then you go, I believe this. Then they take it. There's a reason they take it. Now I don't remember why they take it. Um, but I know that they take it usually. And then you take here. And if they take your knight, you get your queen out. So they don't do that. Taking your knight here is a bad play because then you take with the queen and you have the middle of the board with the queen. So you're chilling, basically, if they do that. So that's a bad move. It's bad. It's, it's a bad position for black to do this. So instead, um, instead, the, the Schmidt variation apparently they bring the knight out, okay? So, you're a fan of the Rue Lopez? I heard that it's co too complicated for beginners. Knight to c3 is theory here. Okay, to protect this pawn. Okay. Then they pin to my, they pin to my queen, which is okay. It looks scary, but it is okay. Although, I guess an option I would have here would be I would have an option to pin to their queen. Like, I would be allowed to do that. Um, I would be allowed to do this, basically. Um, but, um, oh wait, oh sorry. It's like, whoops, I'm just gonna, just gonna mess around with the moves here for a second. Um, so my options here, I think, are I can go here and pin. Sorry. Um, or I can move the knight. If I move the knight, I get pinned. 
but getting pinned looks scarier than it really is. Um, I think, but I need to figure out, um, need to figure out Okay. So I could go here. Let me think. Let me think. So I go here and then hopefully he pins me again. Okay. So they, so he pins me, then I believe what you can do here is you can just push this up which forces him to reach retreat. Now, I want I think I heard somewhere that there's like a trap you can do here. I could be wrong. But I think this is the next play you do. Okay. This is fine. Is it fine? Maybe. That kind of fucks my pawn structure up a little bit. And it leaves this guy hanging. So maybe that's not good. Maybe the trade here. It, the trade here is probably better for black. This is all still in theory. Yes, this is all still in theory. I think the trade here is better for black. If I play here, this trade is, is better for black because if I take here, I have my pawns are stacked and this guy's alone, um, which is not good for me. So. The actual correct play. Um, I can make that play, and it's probably not the. It's not like a losing position. It's just a little bit worse for me, but it does open up this for my bishop. Like it opens up here for my bishop, and I can. Um, I can. This is this is a, a stealable pawn. It's something I've learned in the game, is that this pawn is actually quite takeable. Like these pawns are quite easy to steal. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is, I think what I'll do in this situation is, I'll ignore this pin, and I will develop a piece myself. So, this guy could go here, but he's not defended by this knight, because this knight's pinned. But, maybe, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. If the bishop goes, so where would, so what would the next play be? Where's the fucking textbook for this shit, you know? Um, scotch game knight pin. What's the theory move here? Maybe I should play with the fucking, the robot that tells me the best moves or something, but I don't know. Um, what's the, what's the theory move to here when you're pinned? Um, I shouldn't stress too much about best moves in theory. I just want to get the first, like, like right now we're on move six and I'm already not sure what to do. I don't have, I'm, at move six, I should know that, like, my goal is I want, I should know the first things to do in the fucking game, you know, because then if something different happens, knight to c6, knight to c6. So take their knight, fuck their pawn structure up a little bit. I like it. And that's a good move. I like it. I like it. Take, I like it. They have to take this knight now with the pawn. They have to take it with a pawn. They fuck their pawn structure up. Okay. That is good. I like it. I like it. They open up their rook file, but that's okay. They're in the exact same position. Now I've turned the tables. They're in the exact position I didn't want to be in. I didn't want to be in this position, but now they're in that position. So now I can now I can do this. And I don't mind being in this position. Okay, because now we're in the exact same position. So we're mirrored, which is fine. Um, this guy's free, I just noticed. So maybe that's not what we want to do. Maybe we need to... 
Maybe we need to push the aft pawn first. Because this guy's free. So maybe we push this guy first. This, maybe this is the first play we make. Never play f3. You would never suggest... Okay, interesting. Maybe here. Maybe like this is the play or some shit then. Maybe some weird shit. Weakens the king too much. I see. So maybe I put... You're right, actually. No, you're right. I think you're right. So... I want a castle on this side. So maybe what I want to do then is just get this bishop out. Um, protect this pawn. Because this guy's pinned right now, so he's not protecting it. In fact, now that I look at it, at, as of this position right here, this pawn is undefended. If I go back to here, as soon as this happens, this pawn is un completely undefended. In fact, even here, this pawn is undefended. When I look at it like this, this pawn is currently undefended. Right now. As of right now, so I move this, this bit, so I move the, bish the knight out to defend it. Now it's not defended anymore. So now I go defend it as well. Now I go defend it again. Right, okay, I'm understanding a little bit better. So I go here and I defend it again. But, no, I, no, no, I can't, I can't, because this, the only thing defending this, so I think I have to, tr I have to do this tree at first. I have to do this tree at first, because the only thing defending this is the queen. So this trade has to happen first. Then I go here. Okay. Now, I think we can do some shit here where there's like a queen trade or something. Um. Huh. This seems like a tough position for me. I don't know how I'm going to protect this pawn right now. Like, how do I protect this pawn? Maybe this is where I need to go for this bishop now? Because I can castle in here and I'm still- like, my king is okay. If I go here, a3 is always bad here? Okay. Fuck. So, here's my structure becomes so bad, but my king would be kind of chillin' because I would have, I'd have a lot of open stuff out here. But I guess I've, we've already traded pieces, so if we trade pieces, my structure becomes more important. Um, I don't want to take this pawn because it lets them unfuck their structure. Also, there's some queen shit here. So, you're, yeah, so I don't want to, maybe, 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 yeah, maybe we're in trouble here. My, my problem is this pawn right now is very undefended, but I don't know how much I want to like sacrifice to defend this pawn. Maybe I just castle here, but then if I castle here and he takes it, and I take, and then he takes, and then we take, and we trade queens, and he's, and I'm kind of fucked, right? Or no? It seems bad. I feel like we're, I feel like I'm in, I feel like at this exact moment, I'm in trouble. Right now. I don't feel like there's any good moves for me. But maybe, they're, maybe they are, they are fine. Like maybe, like these moves might be fine, but they're just fine for a computer and not for, or like, they're fine for like an, like an experienced person. I'm almost like, this is a, this is like, a, we're still in theory land. Like we're still totally in, we're still in book land we're so totally in book push the pawn oh you know you're right if i push the pawn if i push the pawn the knight has to make a move somewhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah. pushing the pawn is the play the knight has to make a move somewhere because you know you can't take it Yeah, I think I, I think I push the pawn. He jumps to here. 
What does he target with this? Well, he's, he, I don't know if he's actually trying to target anything or he's just trying to escape the pawn threat. So let me just think. Is this defended? Did he just fuck up? No, 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 the, the, the bishop protects it, sorry. He's targeting my pawn on e5. Oh, right, right, right. And it can also fork here. But if it goes here and it forks, I just take with, I can just take it. So that's not the end of the world. If it, it's not, I don't, that, but he needs another piece in, in this mix to make that a good play. Is this where I just castle? Or... No, I wouldn't castle because this is unprotected. So I just need to not... Okay. Don't leave this piece unprotected at the end of this turn. A couple options. I, can, I could develop this piece. Right now? Is an option. Um, let me think. I can move this guy. All right. If I move this in, the rook goes to here, which doesn't protect this. Like, I don't like castling. Castling will let this guy get captured for free. Capture? No, no. If I castle, he gets it for free. I don't want to give him it for free. Right? Are wrong. I don't understand. Sorry. Can I just play, can I play it out so I can understand what happens in my mind? And hopefully the bot does the. So I just want to see what happens if I go here. Does he go for the fork thing here? No, he pulls this in. If take queen e one. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, I understand. If he does take it, and I've castled, the queen goes here, the knight is pinned. I see. They just defend with f6. They do just defend with f6. You're, you're correct, actually. So that's probably fine. Um, bishop to g6. Why would I do that? That's just sacrificing the bishop. So I go here and then he brings the queen in here is what he's doing here. I don't, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to see if this pawn, I'm trying to figure out, wh what does the theory say? We have to, we have to still be in theory land here. So, surely we are still in theory. This is where you can get creative as a player. I don't want to give up the center stuff is the thing. I like having my center right here. I like having my stuff in the center. I'll go here. I think it looks scarier than it is. I think I'll go here. No? I'm not trusting you, Jack, right now. You told me to kill the, the bishop. I went here last time and he brought the queen here. What is happening? Let me just play it and see. Maybe I just need to play it and see. So he brings the queen here. What is happening now that wasn't happening before? Queen e2, h3 is the passive play. So, okay, let me just show. If I castle, this pawn is just gone. That's why I'm not castling. And I'm going to move e1 here this pawn just comes forward or that 
happens. Wait. Why did that happen? Now he's threatening me. I see. Wait, why did he do that? Why didn't he just pull this guy forward? What happens? So what, let me just play this through. What happens when I go here and this dies? This is what Jack wants me to do. Why, why would I do this, Jack? Or did you mean this one? Sorry. Sorry, no, you meant this one. Not, I, I did the wrong bishop here. Sorry, it's not that one. It's this one. But why would this... Bishop to e6. Why would this be a good play? Why would this be a good play? I don't understand why this is a good play. I'm just fucked now. Completely. I'm completely boned. From this position. I don't get what you want either, yeah. I don't get it. I'm sorry. This is terrible. So we're not doing that. We're not castling. We're not castling. Pawn didn't tick? What? What do you mean pawn didn't tick? I did the plays you said. What do you mean pawn didn't tick? What? What? What pawn? What pawn could possibly take? Sorry, I don't understand. I don't like the castle play, okay? We're not castling. I've decided. F7? F7. But he didn't, he never... Why would he take anything with the pawn? He just takes with the bishop, and then... I don't understand. You're, I don't understand. Okay, just I'm just not reading. He's saying the pawn would have come up, but... The, right. Right, but, but he just doesn't have to do that. The bot just doesn't... Like, he just doesn't have to make that play. And either way, as soon as I castle, this is gone for free. And, and there's nothing I can do about it. This is just gone. As soon as he castles, this... So I have to do... The play I have to make here is A, protect this pawn. B, go for a counterattack somewhere. Or C, take advantage of the free turn I get from him taking this pawn. So, I don't see myself, I don't see a counterattack available for me. I know you guys don't like this move. But I don't really see better moves right now. And my thing is, I still have a pretty strong setup over here. H3. I hear? I'm in for a rude awakening with this? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he has like a crazy check or some bullshit. I know he has... Not here. I know he can go here. And that... Or sorry, not here. He can go here. Right? F4. Queen H5 is scary. Um... F4 leads to queen to h, queen to h, queen to h5? Or, huh? Queen to h4. Okay, that's what they're playing when I do this as well. When I do this play, they also play that. They go to here. Now we're, now we're in, ch oh, we're in check if I move this, okay. Okay, I understand. I were in check if I do that. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I think this is the safest play. This still, this still, okay. This is the safest play. He moves this up to threaten to take this guy. 
Now we have two things threatening to take this. Now I go here, because if he does take, we trade, and that's fine. Okay, now he moves this guy, which means I'm free. Oh no, I, I'm still pinned, I'm still pinned. Okay. I wonder if I just fire these guys up. I don't know what this is gonna do to the board, but I'm gonna see what happens. I don't know what happens when I do this. But I'm going to see what happens, I think. OK. It's, OK, now, now he broke the pin. OK, now he broke the pin. So I can move this guy. And I can move him here and threaten. I can move him out of that position and threaten the bishop again. And the bishop has no squares. The bishop has no squares. The bishop has no squares. The bishop is trapped. Do I lose anything by making this play? I'm at risk of anything if I make this play. I don't think so. The bishop is trapped. So this maybe this was the line. Because now I can take, but that can un, that can undo his bad pawn structure. But I think which is not great for me. But I don't have to take this right away. Like I said, his bishop his bishop is. 100% trapped. It can't get out of this position. It can't move anywhere. So I don't have to take it right now. And as long as I don't take it, he also can't get his rook out, which is fine. So that's still fine, actually. So we don't need to take this right now. His bishop is completely stuck. He moved the queen up one position which attacks this, defends that so it's not pinned. With the queen on e2, you can go for f4 if you want. f4, because now the check doesn't work. Wouldn't the check work the exact same way? Or no? It's easy to defend. Oh, because the queen is moved? You think? Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So he goes here. Where can he jump with this now? Er, hold up. Just trade my bad bishop? My bad bishop. Oh, I see. Oh, you're right. No, I agree with you. I agree 100%. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I like that move. Okay, and then I... Well, no, I can't take with this. I can just leave this here, but I can't take it because of the... So now do I trade? Now I trade this and then I can get the pawn? Okay. Okay. Brings this guy down. This guy... Is unprotected. Um, okay. Um, that's a bot move. Well, it's a it's a bot move, but. What do you mean it's a bot move? Like it's like a rook to a4, like it's like an inhuman move? Or you mean it's a bad move? Like no human would see that or... Oh, it's useless? Oh, okay. It's useless. But it... How is it useless? He, can't he get this one for free or... Can't he take this for free right now? Do I move this guy up and he can't take it for free? And then I castle this side? Not if I castle. The other pawn defends. Well, no, nothing defends this pawn. 
I have to move this guy up to defend this pawn. Oh! Oh, I'm so stupid. You're right. You're correct. No, you're right. You're literally right. You're literally right. I, no, no, no. You're literally right. You can't take this one because this fucking pawn is here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I forgot pawns can actually attack. I forgot. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, he can't take this and he can't take this. Sorry. Powerful outfit? Thank you. It's my chess outfit. That pawn is pinned, by the way. Take a look. Um, A3 is pinned. Because your rook is undefended on A1. So if he takes here, this takes, he takes. I see. But if I castle, the rook isn't... Okay, I understand now. I understand. Okay. I get it now. Okay. So, from this position, I want to start attacking. Now I want to start attacking. Raiding coming? Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Let me prepare myself. Let me try to look pretty for the raider. <laughs> okay. How do I... Um, okay. How do I attack now? I know we're, we're meant to be running openings, so I'm, I'm doing too much theory in the mid-game still. I should just let myself play these out by feeling rather than by thinking. Queen to e4. Queen to e4. Let's me attack. I guess I can attack. Nothing is protecting this guy. And it also lets me slide in here and do some shit. Can I go now? Thank you for watching. Thank you for the help. Grab the shark. Oh, sorry. I didn't see it. Sorry. I didn't see. Is this a free pawn? Is my question now. No. Is it free? It feels free. It feels so free. All right, give me a second to grab the goddamn shark. Give me a second. Oh. Okay. Queen to e4. We did that, I think. Right? We're in e4. And it attacks a4. This is... Okay. This is free? Good. Good, good. We got the shark. All right. I got the shark for you. Okay. Now he moves the rook back. That's a free move for me. Free move. That's good. How do I convert this position now? Now, how do I convert this position? Fuck, how do you attack in chess? I only know how to attack with rooks on open files. I don't know how to do any other attack than rooks on open files. I don't have any open files except this one. Does that mean I just play slow? Do I just pl go back and play defensive or some shit and let him make a mistake? Do I need to be here with my queen? Do I just pull this guy or some shit? It's a great time to break out the queen bishop. Break out the queen bishop. Break out the queen bishop. Rook to e1 looks good. I guess it does look good actually, because it lines up with the queen. I like start using your queen and bishop to attack. I don't know how to attack with bishops, <laughs> um, unfortunately. I don't know how. Oh, thank you so much, Hebe. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, raiders. With f5, I could break the king's defenses. f5. I think so, too. Hold on. Hello, hello, raiders. Welcome to the stream. We're learning chess. It's my second day. Um. I really suck at this game. I'm trying my hardest. So, pawn to f5. Okay. I like it. I don't know how to, okay. 
You took a free pawn when I moved that. Bishop takes. So do I take this one now? Mess up the... I should mess up the structure here. Now. Right now. I should mess, mess up the king structure. The queen... Oh no, the queen's attacking... No, no, the queen can't take this. The queen can't take here. Um, oops. Okay, the queen's not doing anything right now. It's not defending any pieces or attacking any... It's attacking this, but the rook is here. And it's attacking this, but the rook is here. Okay, I understand. I understand. So, therefore... Therefore, if I take this, I fuck up the structure here. And it's worth. Okay, that was worth. That's my understanding. This is my current understanding of the video game that we're playing. If I slide here now... If I slide here now... Okay, let me think. Let me just keep thinking through this. If I go here, he has to move the queen, and he has no good moves. Like he, has, he can just reposition it. So maybe that's not worth it. Maybe this is better? Maybe this is the better one. Because this would be undefended. So this is the better one. This guy isn't protecting shit right now. This guy is not protecting shit right now. But he is attacking here. So maybe that's the correct play. Where can the queen go? Where do I, what, what areas of the, of the board do I see with my pieces right now? Um, oops. Okay. Just thinking. Just thinking. Where can the queen go as of right now? If the bishop comes here, or son of the bishop, sorry, if the rook comes here, where can the queen go? Can go. Can't go here either. Sorry. Okay. So it can't go. So it can go here. Here. He, can't go here. Can't go here. Okay. So go here or here. And that's kind of it. Bishop. Bishop is like mate and four. Bishop to. Hold on. This bishop to f6. f6. Bishop to f6. To g6. Then he takes. Oh! Oh, I see it. No, no, no. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yes, I understand now. Yes. This is the play. Because if he does that, I go... Wait, is that... Was that really worth? Or no, no. I go like this. I go here. Sorry. I do the queen, not the bishop. I do the queen. Okay. Then... Let me think, let me think this, so I'm not going to read chat. Let me think. Apparently this is me. Let me think, sorry. I go here. And take this. He has to take my rook with the king. I think. Oh, not worth. You fooled me. Oh. <laughs> you guys tricked me. I think this is just good. Am I losing? Now? I, the game became equal in terms of points. But I take here. The only play is to take it with the king. Then I can move the, the rook to check. Let me just try this and we'll see what happens. He has to do this. He has to take it with the king. Then I move the rook here. Okay. Wait. Um. Erm. Um, here? Puts it in check again, that gives me a free move, and it gets me away from the queen. Let me just think, let me think, let me think. What is going on here? E8. E8. Oh, here. 
Oh, here. Oh, here, here. You're right. I think you're right. Or wait, no. Let me just play this. Let me just play it by vibes and see what happens. Bishop takes queen if you do. Oh, I see. If I go here, it does. I understand. Okay. And then I take this. Okay. You took that. That's fine. Then. Um. Let me think. Um. Do I just keep keep on putting him in check, basically. It's just kind of hard. I need to get the queen or something. Queen to h3. H3. Oh, I can go all the way here. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Sorry, I'm very... Okay. Okay, maybe I maybe I won't. Okay, maybe I, maybe I won't do the ch the chat moves. I don't know. Sorry, you guys give me so much hope. Okay. You said earlier not to listen to you. Wait, your chat is collectively less than fifteen hundred rated. Oh, okay. Uh, where was I? Um, before we made the the weird play. I think I made this play. I think this was the this was the weird play. I was up, and I decided to sacrifice for this. This was, this was where the beginning of the weird plays occurred. So let's not do this. That was the weird, that was the beginning of the weird plays. So let's chill. Let's chill on that for a second. I think I wanted to do this one. That's check. Okay. Um... Oh, he's gonna get this for free. Well, no, he's not gonna get it for free. He's protected. Um, this isn't protected if it goes though. He's gonna get a pawn for free or some shit. Something like that. But that's fine. Is this a bad move? This is this is dangerous to go, but right now it's fine. Right now it's, it's d normally dangerous, but right now it's fine. Okay, this is dangerous. What he's doing right now is dangerous. Cause so now I need to now I need to figure out my my counterattack. I need to figure my counterattack out right now. Okay, if I go here, can he just check me? My A pawn is undefended now. My A pawn, it is undefended. Let me just see what happens. Let me try this line one more time now. I just I'm gonna play through it just by vibes. Okay. Okay, that did not work how I wanted it to work. I think I'm fucked here. But we'll just see. Oh, he can just move that one. Right. Oh, fuck me, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I just realized. Okay. So we'll play here, like I said. A pawn is undefended now. You're right for saying that. And he puts me in check. Okay, so I this is a bad this was a bad move. We'll keep playing it, but I made a bad move here. He moves to here instead of taking the pawn, which I think is fine. I want to like, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know how to win. I don't know how to set up winning positions ever. It's so hard to win against like a bot as well, especially a bot that doesn't seem to make obvious misp misplays. I don't think I have the skill to beat a bot that doesn't make, like, misplays, is, the, is my issue. I'm meant to be practicing openings. I can still grab the G-pawn, then move the bishop back. Won't he take with the... Or no, because if he takes with that, I take his bishop for free. Right, I can take this for free. So if he takes with this, I can... I, okay, I understand. I can go here and threaten this, I think. This is fine. And threaten his bishop and block his bishop as well. Because if he takes, I'll just use my rook. And that's okay. Right? 
are wrong. Or do I go here? Now that he's moved that off. Is my king going to get checkmated if I don't, like, do something about this right now? No, because... Nice. Very then they can nice take the bishop. Bulge. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Then they can take, they can take the bishop. I see now. Fuck. It's so hard to play this game. All right. I, I know I'm just playing against a bot. It'd be easier against it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks for, thanks for it anyway. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to try. I don't know what happens if I go here, but I'm going to go here. Okay. I think I will take the queen trade. I'm up one pawn, but that's okay. I can win being up one pawn. Or no. Okay, now I need to start moving my king or something. I, or I need to start protecting, protecting something here. Or just taking his pawns. Maybe it works. Maybe to start, his pawns are lined up. So I just start taking... I got checkmated. Right, okay. I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's fine. I, it's fine. Okay. Let's go back now. All the way to the beginning and back to the openings. So we go back to we're back to playing openings, okay? Um. So I think the opening I did was the scotch that time, and the scotch seemed fine. Well, this is black now, so let's just let's just stick to white for another for another one. Let's just stick to white again, and let's just keep doing the scotch again against the same bot. Just one more time. I Let's see how much I remember of it, because it's been a while. You like my streams? Thank you so much. It's been a minute since I even... It, that one game took me so long. So let's just, let's just do the scotch again. So here. 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 They take, we take. Now this pawn ended up causing me so much of a headache. And I think I just trade here. I think I just want to trade here. Let's just trade. Let's see what happens. Let's play this one quick as fuck. Let's just play quick as hell, you know? Um, let me think. Let me think for a second. Um, so the queen can do some random shit that doesn't seem worth it at all. The queen is, is threatening to take this guy, and then they're both lined up on this diagonal here when he takes the knight. Now if I jump like here, what goes wrong with this move? It keeps the knight alive, but my guess is this knight... the. My guess is this knight is dead almost no matter what I do, is the thing. And that's my assumption, at least. But if I go here... Let's... Oh, wait. What? Am I in... Wait, why can't I... Oh, it can't go here. Oh, I'm stupid. I was like, what if I go here? I can't. I can't. We can't. Um... Let's think. Let me think. Sorry. Let me think. I don't know what happened. I don't know what goes wrong if I go here. So let's figure it out. Let's find out. Oh, okay. That's what happens if I go here. So how is... Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. I understand. That's what goes wrong. Okay. Okay. So... Let me think again. So that's cheese. That's fine. That's good to know. Now I know the cheese. That's good to know. So again. 
same opening. Sicilian defense. I don't think I can do the Scotch game thing against the Sicilian. Does that work? Okay, and he does that. Ooh, I play chess? I do, well, I started playing chess, okay. You play chess? I just started, I just started learning it. Like, literally just started. Okay. So. What's going on here now? Now do I just start deploying my pieces? Now do I just play this guy? To protect this? Maybe I just start putting my pieces right there. The queen goes here. He got me with that bullshit ass check me at last time. Not this time. Okay, not this time. What was it? He went here. With that. So, let me think. I can do this and I can castle if you, you know. Okay, so. And then I castle, and he can't do that anymore, which is good. Okay, next up. I think I just moved this guy over. I'm, I'm just playing in spots. I'm just practicing openings. Well, that's what I meant to be practicing, is my openings to this time. But I'm going to play way faster, because I, th I was thinking every move a lot the last time we were, I was playing. And the game ended up taking forever. Therefore, I think... I'm going to... Nice. Um, Very nice, Bulge. Thank you so much. Sub is for suggesting a blunder. Sub is for suggest. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. Um, I don't know what he's doing over here, but he's threatening to fuck my pawn structure up, which is annoying. Um, maybe I move this, my queen out? I don't know. Oh, oh no, I can't, because I can't take this with, like, the rook intervening. So I think I just block it with this so it doesn't move forward anymore. I think that's what I'm supposed to do there, at least. It's my best guess. Um, all right. Um, then I think I'm going to go here. And then if they trade, I'm going to pull this up rather than moving the pawn. Um, and then we're going to, we can't jump here. The site's honestly useless as fuck on this side. So. How do I create some threats? This is, this file is, is scary. If I go here, I could just fire up here. Maybe, maybe. Um, this guy's so useless. Let me, let me think. Um, maybe just move my queen out somewhere? I don't fucking know. Fire there and lose the rook? Yeah, I know. I, I realized afterwards. If I go up, he takes, and then if I do whatever, he, yeah, it's fucked. It doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. Um... I just need to think, is my position strong? How, what's a move I can make that makes my position just objectively stronger? And doesn't weaken me in any way. Connect the rooks. I think that's a good move. That is a good move. Now, where do I move my queen to when I do that? I guess I could go here and threaten their queen. I could threaten the queen trade. But if we do queen triad, my pieces are way more developed, so it would be good for me, I think. Cause then I, and then maybe? Maybe I just threaten the queen triad? I don't know if this is a terrible idea. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Wait. Ah, that was a free. Okay, I should have thought about that. That was free. Okay, I'll let, I'll let the bot have that one, you know? I'll let him have that one. Queen trains fucks up castle. 
true. That is true. He can take another one for free, which is very annoying. He can take two for free. Whatever. He has to take the queen back right now. Okay. Um. And I think... Can I move this guy anywhere that does anything? Not really. Then I just have to pull this guy back to protect this row. Okay. Um... What the fuck am I doing right now? I don't know. Okay. Threatening this. Nothing is protecting this. Um. If it goes here. I don't know. Let's just play quickly. Let's just play quickly. I'm gonna make a shitload of mistakes here, but that's fine. I just blocked my. Oh, this fucking sucks. Um, this this knight is so useless, dude. Sort of god. It's the most useless knight I've ever seen in my goddamn life. This knight, this knight does nothing. This position sucks, ass. I move this guy up. He's no longer being protected by anything. But maybe that's fine. Well, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happens when I do that. But okay, apparently something good happened. Apparently. I'm gonna move him up one more time so he's not getting, he's still protected by this. Okay, they castled, that's good. Them castling is good, I think. Cause then I can go here and line up on the diagonal. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I think this is good. There's a play here. There's a play to be made. There's a play to be made. I don't know what that play is, but there's something to, to happen here. There's something. Let's just do this. Let's see what happens. Let's fucking... He trapped... Wait, he fucked me up bad. He trapped my knight? Did he? Did he? Or is that what I wanted him to think? Wait, how did he trap my knight? He fucked me up bad by trapping my knight. Ow. Or just mean like, like you mean like in term, in general in the game that knight was just trapped mostly? I would agree with. Um, okay, how do I win now from here? This guy's protected. This guy's protected. He made me unable to move? Yeah, okay, okay. Makes sense. But I don't really want to break up my king structure. So maybe I just... B1 rook is kind of trapped. B1. B1. Or B1. 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 B1 rook. And so. Oh! We have to trade. If I do this. And I freeze my knight. But I have this like very, I feel like there's an attack here that I could do. Cause like if I go here, I don't know, I'm gonna do this. Maybe they're, I don't know. Knight takes. Oh, the knight does take, you're right, you're right. You're right, the knight does take, sorry. I didn't, I, I should have seen. God, I get brain overload on this shit. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Let's do the trade if we do the trade. Okay, he moves up. This is protected. This guy's not protected right now. This 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 uh, bishop, not protected. His ass is not safe. I liked his position too. I liked where he was. I liked that place. What if I go like here? He's simply. Yeah, yeah, no, this is still fine. He's still on the same diagonal and he's now just protected by the knight. Okay, he moves the king off of that diagonal, which is fine. I could trade rooks if I wanted to. Um. 
um, the triggers that I wanted to, and then he would lose, he would move this pawn forward, which I would have to then move my knight, but that would be fine for me. I'm trying to put knight in danger. That would be fine, because I would just move here. His rook is really, his rook here is useless, is what I need to understand. So, this is his only, like, threatening piece right now on the board. So I'm going to trade it. Okay. And then I'm going to move my knight to, like, here. Okay. He's trying to free his rook with this move. Is what he's trying to do. Which I probably just have to let him, I guess. Because I can't do much here. Or I could block here, and then if he trades... Let's try this. Or here. Because then if he trades and I trade, I don't lose this pawn. I don't know which one I meant to do here. F3 is better? Okay. Okay, he goes here. Gets this guy on the diagonal. Which is fine. Was there anything he was doing before that he isn't doing now with this? Not really. He wasn't doing shit with this, so now he's just getting it into play. Which is fine. Um, he could on passant me if I do this. He could, he could hit me with the on passant. But I do like doing this as much as it sucks for my king. I just need to break through this somehow. It is forced. Wait, what is forced? You saw me doing everything? Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. On Passon is forced. Google reference. But I don't think I want him to do it. It's not right, it's an anarchy chess me. Oh, okay, sorry. I don't understand the meme, sorry. Okay. If I go here and he takes this, then I can take with my knight. Then if he moves this forward. Yeah, I kind of like, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this play. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. He takes here. Maybe I get checkmated here. I'm not sure if I get checkmated here or not. I might get, I might be getting checkmated because if the rook comes down to here, um, I can't take it with, like, anything, is the thing. Um. So I might be getting, I might get checkmated here. I don't see the, I don't see the move otherwise, though. I guess just go, king can take, but be careful. Well, if he goes, so if he goes here, or I guess he can't because the knight is here, sorry. The knight is here. So he can't do that. Um, he can't do he can't do whatever that he wants to do with that move. But if I take here, it really opens my king up to just getting fucked on by the rook. Did I miss something? No, no, the knight is here. This knight is annoying, dude. His pawns are so much better than mine. This game blows. Honest to God, I, I hate this game. Bro, I hate this game. His shit is so much better than mine. Why are all his things so many, so much better than mine? I give him free lane? Well, listen, I'm learning. I'm trying to play quickly here. I'm not trying to play slow. I'm trying to play quickly here. And he trapped the king? Well, yeah, but I'm trying to play quickly. Let me, let me practice. Jesus. I'm not good at the game. You suck at chess? I'm brand new. It's my second day playing, so... I don't fucking know. Okay, he moved his shit, which is great for me. I'm actually thrilled about that. I'm actually completely thrilled about that decision of his. Because now... Oh, he's up a pawn. When did he get up a pawn? This game sucks.
You generally want to coach me on Discord now? Okay, well. Um, I still can't move this guy. Dude, this is awful. This guy can't do anything, this fucking game. It's terrible. Like, he can't use this. I've been fucked completely. I can't outplay this. He's, the, the bot isn't making enough misplays for me to outplay. He's just, he's just playing at a very non-misplay level right now. And it's impossible to do anything. It's impossible to win. This is a bad play. Is he gonna just win now? Did I lose here? Is he setting up to win? He's setting up to win. I'm nervous as fuck, dude. I'm scared as fuck, dude. I'm sweating right now. I don't know how to not do it. I guess I just move here and just threaten to trade these. In fact, I do trade these. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. We ball. Okay. Now I just need to understand the night movements or something. All his shit is on, it's literally everything he has is on a fucking, <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Everything he has is on a fucking, um, can I just, can I do this? Is this stupid? Bro, am I, am I about to lose? Can I get a queen? Is this dumb? Is this right? Past pawns must be pushed. Is that true? Just get my king safe. I don't know what it safe is anymore. Oh, I can't take this. <gasps> I didn't mean to go that way. Uh, whoops. Sorry, one second. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, I see. I should have taken this way. Now I'm understanding. Okay, when he moved this forward, um, I should have not moved my king. I should have taken... Did he take something here? No, he didn't. He just moved it forward. And it makes the click. Okay. I take with this pawn, is what I do. That's the play. I don't do the... I don't move the king. Okay. I understand now. Now, he can jump here and here. But he can't really do much else. So, I can get my... I can get my queen. Okay? I need to start pawn hunting here. Or something. How do I do that? How do I start pawn hunting now? How do I start getting his pawns? Is my question. Um. Like here? First? Just go behind them and pick them off. Um, here next. Here. Careful. Careful now. Careful. Um, mate, mate in two, <sighs> okay, all right, we, all right, first, so I wish I could see what the blunders were, can I game review this shit? I, I had to replay moves, so I, that's not a win. Like, I, I replayed moves that I fucked up. Like, apparently at this position, I was boned. I was boned here. So what were my, so my opening apparently went relatively well, until which move? Which was my bad move? This was my terrible move. So what was the good move here? In this position, 
What was the good move? This was the good move. Offer the trade. He moves back. Push the queen forward to defend these two positions. Um, he moves his queen off of this square where it's useless, apparently. And then I go here. This, there's no way I'm making this play. This looks like, this looks like sacrificing a few. No, 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 because it's protected by the queen. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Did I already just start? This, um, I just started, yes. I, I played, I, I, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I got really interested watching YouTube videos. I want to say like four or five days ago. And then I went down a big YouTube rabbit hole and I probably watched YouTube videos for like, like 12 to 16 hours, like two days in a row or some shit. Maybe not that much. I just watched a ton of YouTube videos. Um, and I really thought it looked cool and I liked watching. And then I decided to start practicing, but I've only had like two days of practice. This is my second like day of practice, basically. Yeah, it's my, I just got hyper-focused on it. Okay, so let's play an actual person this time, okay? Let's play an actual person. We're gonna play 15 plus 10, and we're gonna hopefully, hopefully land on white. 50% of the time, we land on white, okay? And we get to play our scotch. So, we did land on white. Okay, so now we just play, we play scotch. Okay, we make that, we do this. What's my rating? My current rating is like 650. They're playing this shit, which I don't understand. Do I still do this or, or do I just take this? No suggestions? Oh no, but this is a new move. I've never seen this move before. Do I just stay playing my own same shit right now? Probably. Probably. He has to like move his bishop or something. It's, I'm playing a human, it's cheating now? Oh, okay. That was a bad play by me, was it not? To do that? Okay, it put me in check. Was that not a bad play by me? It feels like a bad play. That's Italian? No, I don't think he's playing the Italian. He did like some weird gambit shit there. I don't know what he was doing, but he did some weird shit. And then we're just going to play this guy here and block it, I think. Okay. Um, do I just trade these? or not, is my question. Or do I just continue to develop? Maybe I just continue to develop my pieces. Um, do I just continue to develop? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I do next. I've never got to this position before. Now, I thought I was studying and we just did a different, completely different bullshit opening that I don't understand anymore. Um, oh boy. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm attacking this twice. He's attacking this once. There's a new attacker on the pawn now. There's an attacker on this. Oh, he's attacking this twice, and I'm only defending it once. So for that reason, I think I, I'm going to do this trade, so I get another attacker on this pawn. I think I'm going to do that trade, and get him off of it as well. I think I'm going to take that. And then if he does that... I think I'm going to do this right now. I think I'm going to do this because he's not defending this pawn anymore. And he's not attacking shit with his knight at all here. So I'm going to do this. This knight's kind of not in a good position, but that's okay. fine, I think. Because I can, if he moves like this pawn, I can go out with this guy, put him in check, make him have to respond somehow. 
Um, I can also, um, if he moves this pawn, I can throw like this shit up or something. Okay, he moves this. He moves his queen here. Now, do I have any pieces? I have nothing protecting this pawn right now, which is okay, I think. I don't think I mind that too much. Can I like do anything ridiculous here? Not really. Um, not really. If I press a piece up here, I threaten to take his knight if he tries to do some weird shit. And I also... I don't know if this is a bad move. Maybe I just move my knight up here, and then my knight protects that piece. Maybe that's the play. And then my knight protects this piece. And it gets my knight out from behind the back. You can't tell you shit, or chess.com will ban me? Oh, okay. So he does move that piece like I thought he might. But I don't have this move any. Oh no, I have this move now. Like I said, that puts him in check or whatever. So I can put him in check here. Also develop my bishop, which is good. It gets exciting when you play against a real human. He moves this forward, okay. That's an interesting play, I think, because now I'm going to move this guy and threaten his queen, I think. Now I'm going to threaten his queen, and if he takes my bishop, I'm going to take his queen. So he can't take my bishop. Um, and I don't think he can do anything with this play. He's not protecting his queen at all. So I'm going to do this. And threaten his queen and he can't he can't take it here and the knight is safe as well and these are both these knights are protecting these pawns so these pawns are both protected this pawn's extra protected so he has to move his queen now he has to move his queen somewhere and i will just move my bishop um to safety somewhere Somewhere to safety. And I can castle. If I move my queen, I can castle either side. So I have a lot of options open. So this is good. This is good position. He moves his queen. Which is what we expected. I want to move here because I he's this this Actually I just realized um he couldn't have taken with this with this pawn because he was still pinned technically. I only realized now. I didn't even need to... I could have just moved this guy back and it would have been fine. Um, I probably will still move this guy back so that he's protected by the knight. He's still protected by the knight in this position. Um, let me think. Let me think. Did I just push here? Because that keeps pressure on his queen. I keep pressuring his queen here and maybe he'll make a mistake. Because if I go here, or let me think, I go here, he takes. I take again, he's still pressured with his queen. And he has to move his queen somewhere, but his queen can't go here, his queen can't go here. Um, his queen's not going to trade. His queen can't stay. He could go like here, maybe, or something. Maybe? I don't know if that's a good play. But I'm gonna do it. Uh, I, but I like having these guys. This is really strong, actually. So maybe there's no reason to break this up right now when I can just make a a very standard, a very safe play of just putting the, just chilling with this dude. You know, maybe I can just make a, a a very safe play. Is this gonna lead him to killing me by moving like this guy up two pieces? Just thinking. If he moves this guy up two pieces, um. and I'm stuck here, I would have to move like here or something. Which should be fine because he would have to castle on this side and I would be lined up on the good square. So it wouldn't be too bad actually to do this, I think. I don't think this would be too bad of a play. So I will, and is he targeting anything? Not really, I think. What's he hitting with this? This, this, nothing else. What's he hitting with this guy? This, this which are both protected. 
Um, so I'm just thinking. This guy can come right all the way down here. Can he do anything cool? Not really. He could pin the knight to my queen. Which would be maybe annoying. Maybe that's his best move right now, is pinning the knight to my queen. Um, do I just do this then? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Maybe. Maybe that was the maybe that was a bad play. I don't know. But maybe it makes him blunder. Maybe it makes him make a mistake. Maybe that's what'll happen. Maybe he'll make a mistake. And that'll be good for me. Because this pawn's still protected. Which is fine. It's protected twice. Um, I wouldn't fucking cry. This game makes me so... Uh, this game gives me so much anxiety, dude. I swear to God. Okay, so he does take. So I will take again here. And just keep the pressure on the queen, I think. This guy wasn't protecting anything of importance anyway. I did lose my middle pressure, so maybe that was bad. Maybe that was bad, actually. Squish the shark. Oh, sorry. I, I'm not looking at the redeems people are doing. Sorry. I haven't been looking at any of the redeems for a while now. So, okay. So he moves this guy forward. Which doesn't do too much, I think. Um, let me think. Let me think. What does he have now that he didn't have before? He takes this on two different with two different attacks now instead of one. So I think this is a good time to just move this guy back because now he defends the same piece that's getting attacked. Um, he can go here and like do a check, but I have the guy. Okay, I think this is fine. This is a good time to move him back now because now he can't attack this square anyway. I feel okay. I think I feel okay in this position. This is so weird after constantly suggesting things. Are you are, are you actually really not allowed to give me like any help or anything? Can you not can you cack W or something? Is that legal? Is it legal to do cack W's whenever I make a misplay or something? Okay, he moves this guy out. So what is this guy attacking? He's attacking this. Which is defended, so that's fine. I don't really care about that. Um, do I just castle here? Maybe I just castle here. I'm just gonna castle. I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't see an obvious play. I know he still can't move this thing. Um, but I don't see an obvious, like, checkmate here. Like... I don't see an obvious checkmate, unfortunately. Unless he... No, I don't see an obvious checkmate. Maybe I just move... Maybe I just castle. Because if he goes here with this, I can jump with a knight in here. And that's fine. And then if he... Wait, no. If he does this, and I do this. If he does this, I do this. If he does... You're gonna go? Thank you for watching. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Sorry, I'm so in the I'm so in the chest brain right now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I am gonna castle, I think. At this point. Because he lost his dark square bishop. No, yeah, he did lose his dark square bishop. And his shit's um um If I go here, does this like just force plays out of him? Does this like force him to make a play? Because how does he defend this guy now? How does he defend this guy if I go here? Nothing's defending this knight. I've just noticed. Nothing is defending his knight. If, but if I move here, what's defending this piece? 
still like so I actually never mind. So I don't think that works. So I think I I think I Huh. Hmm. If I go here, he's gonna like jump here. If I go here, he's gonna jump here, and then that that fucks me, because now my queen and my guy are fucked. And I take this, and then he takes with his queen, and then I'm still fucked because nothing is threatening his queen. They just jumped in. So So I don't do that. So I think I just castle. I don't have any other idea what to do right now. Sorry. Maybe I had a better play. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. I'm trusting my instinct that that was the play to do. And wait, I need to wait for him to make a mistake. I'm okay right now. Wait for him to make a mistake. That's very obvious. I do still see that nothing protects this. I, I still notice that. Nothing is protecting this where it is right now. So if I can get, like, something... That, like... Is this game with increment? Yeah, it has increment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play faster when I get low on time. Okay, he moves this guy out to, like, def to defend his queen or something. I don't like this move by him. I don't see the purpose of it, personally. I don't think it's a good move. Um, if I go here, he might, no, 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 because if I go here, he does the, he does the thing I said before, if he takes, takes, takes. So, what do I do then? What is this guy protecting? He's protecting the bishop from nothing. But that doesn't, that's probably the best thing for him to do. Right now. This guy goes here. That's a terrible move, right? That's a terrible move. Yes, that's a terrible move. But I'm just making sure that it was a terrible move before I decided not to do it. I think I just pulled the, the rook out at this point. There might be a better move, but I think I'm just going to pull the rook out. Or maybe I pull the queen out somewhere. Maybe I offer a trade here of queens. Maybe I offer the queen trade. No, no, that's the fucking knight square. Sorry, thank god I'm paying attention a little bit. Um, I want to like join the rooks up, and it's easier to do that by just moving the queen. Here. I go here. I see this knight, which is fine. I still keep protecting these pieces, but I'm no longer protecting this piece on one more area. So I don't like it. I think this is my I think this is my favorite play of all of them. I don't like any of them, but of all of them, I think this is my favorite play. Sorry, I'm taking so long on each turn here. I'll play faster in a second. Okay, he moves this back. Why? What does that do? That it did... That doesn't... That's like a... That's a wasted move. That's what I would call a wasted move. So, he wasted a move. What can I do with him wasting a move? Pressure his knight? I don't really want to pressure... Where can his knight jump, actually? Do I want his knight to jump somewhere? Um, what is this guy protecting again? What is this guy even? What is this guy even doing over here? He goes here, and he goes like here. It's check. Um, chasing back his good pieces is always a good idea. Maybe I just push this guy up now a little bit and just force the knight to move. But I really like, I like where his knight is because it, do, it does nothing. It doesn't do shit. But if I go, you like the knight, okay, you like the, you like the pawn or whatever? No help? Oh, okay. If I go here, you can't do anything with this. I really like the idea of keeping the knight here is the thing. 
I, I, I like his knight being here. I just wish I had a way to... Especially because he wasted a move. Like, how do I take advantage of his knight now that he wasted a move? That's what I don't understand how to do, I guess, at my level. Ah, oh, no. I don't know how to take advantage of his wasted move at my skill level. There has to be something. There has to be. But I just don't see it. If I go here, I threaten the knight. He can't take me. But he still has the two pieces on this. So yeah, I think I don't know what else to do. I just do this. I'm sorry. I'm taking so long. I'm just thinking. I just... Okay. I can't take this because of the queen. So... Let me think here. Can he checkmate me here? Let me think about that. If he takes this... If he takes this... With his queen, I'm checkmated, I think. But if I go here, and he does it, let me just think about this quickly. Because I know he's threatening checkmate. If he puts the queen here, if he puts the queen here, I am checkmated. However, if I put the knight here, and he does that same move, I can take it with the, with the knight. So I think, and it also just threatens the queen where it is. So let's do that. Okay, he moves this guy one piece forward to threaten to take it. I can do... Well, now... Well, now he's off that corner square. Well, now he's off that, squ now he's off that square that I was working... So I, I can move my queen. Now he's off that diagonal. So I can move my queen up here. If he threatens to take it, I'll just take it with my queen. His bishop or his his um his knight is fucked here. I don't see what he can do. Let me just think this through quickly. If I go here and he goes here, it's still fine. And if he moves, yeah, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I hope this is fine. Maybe I should have. Maybe I could have moved the rook instead. I don't know, because this does nothing on this like diagonal here or this diagonal, and it was doing something on this diagonal at the very least. Okay, I have to play faster because I only have two minutes left now. So we'll just see what he does. I'll just play whatever jumps into my mind as a good play with no obvious weaknesses. So if I think of something that has, a, that has no obvious weaknesses, I'll make it. That's my new plan now. As I, well, I, watched a lot, I watched a lot of stuff, so it's not like I'm like going in completely blind. Okay, he moves the rook here, which is interesting. Um, so I think I just take here and stay on the same diagonal. And I think that's fine. I don't see a problem with this. Yeah, I don't, I don't see an obvious problem with this. So I will do it. I don't see an obvious issue with it. I also can like go... Okay, he goes here. Which, if he goes here, doesn't do anything. He threatens to take my knight, which means he gets the... The thing. The what's it called? Um, let me think. He threatens to take my knight. Here. Which, if he takes my knight, I get checkmated. Um... So, about that, um, let me think of what I'm going to do about that. If I push this guy up, I think I'm in, the I'm in the exact same position, basically, except if he moves his queen forward. I think I'm, I think I'm still okay. Hmm. 
I'm just thinking. I think I can push this guy up, probably. Maybe I just move my king to the side. And maybe that just gets rid of a lot of the issues here. Uh, no, I want to I wanna protect this guy one more time. I need to think quickly here. Um, I think I'm going to move my rook up. No, I'll do this. I don't know if this fucks me. It could fuck me. But we'll do this. Maybe this fucks me. It's a good idea to trade pieces. I could, if I trade pieces, like get checkmated there. Um, in fact, I think I am pretty much checkmated here. Um, I think I did fuck up here. Ah, uh, actually no, because he can't do that. It's fine, actually. He can't take this, or I... If he does take it, I take his queen. This is good. Yeah, this is good. Because if, if he doesn't take my queen, I take his... I, I, I can maybe not take his rook, but I have moves. Okay. Um... So let me think. Um, let me think about this now. So he's threatening to take this guy, but this guy's protected. So, um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. I think I will do this, right? What's he gonna do here? Nothing. I think I will do this. And I will threaten the rook trade. I don't know if he can checkmate me. Maybe he can. Maybe there's a checkmate I don't see it. I don't know. Again, he's really in a rough position because of this diagonal. Okay, he castled. So he can trade the rooks here, which is probably fine for him. Um, so, let me think here. If I go here... Uh, with this, I need to move actually. I just need to make a move here. I think. I think I can go here. I think I can go here because he can't take. If he takes with the rook, um, he has to, or he can't take with not the rook. I think this is fine. He can't take with. Oh, no, he can't take. I, I broke the pin. I broke the pin. I broke the pin. I fucked up. Actually, I just realized he broke the pin, or I broke the pin. I mean, I fucked up. Actually, I just lost a piece there for no reason. Oh, that's depressing. Sorry. I, I, I realized as soon as I did it that I broke the pin. You want to hit your computer right now? Look, I don't... Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm working on it. I'm practicing. Still fine? Yeah, I, I'm still technically winning. I just need to make some moves. God. Ah, I just ran out of time. I just ran out of time. I just ran out of time. Um, erm, erm. I don't really know what to do here. Maybe I just move up here? Is this fine? This is probably fine. I don't know why it's not fine. I don't know what's not fine about it. I can't think of what's not fine about it. My king is like annoyingly stuck right now. Everything is protected. Except for this guy. I need to just move this guy somewhere. Okay, that's a weird move. Um, oh, my queen's gonna get got here, I think. I think my queen is getting got here, and I don't think I can do anything about it, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of time. I don't have time, I'm sorry. I was, I was, yeah, it's over, it's over. I resign. How do I just quit? How do I resign? I ran out of time. As soon as I, f oh, I fucked that pin up and this whole thing over here, I don't know how to attack. I don't know how to attack in fucking chess, dude. I hate this game. I don't know how to do that to another player. What he did to me here. I don't know how to do that to somebody else. I could have won. It was right there. It wasn't right there. I don't have this skill for it.
<sighs> How do I announce? <laughs> okay, apparently I was like 90 fucking percent to win at this point. What did I do wrong here? Where did I go wrong? This is where he castled. I should have traded here. Shouldn't I have traded here? Why didn't I trade here? What did I do instead? No, why did I do that? Why didn't I just trade? Was I just go on time? I have 39 seconds. Did I make a panic move? I should have just traded here. And then... And then what? Why would he do that move? Wouldn't he just trade back? I would trade here. He would trade back. No, but if he trades back, I check me. Fuck! So he has to do this. Otherwise, I check me at him. Or... I, it was literally right here. Right here, I had it. I didn't think about this play. Because then he does this, then I do this. I had him, no matter what. He was just fucked. I had him. What is his actual living play that he would never see, but the computer might see? He would do this. Okay, he would do- this would be like his computer sees play. In which case, what would I do? Just like this or something? Just move this guy over? And then what would the computer do? Take, take, or whoops, uh, take, take. Then the computer would move it here. Then I would be like overwhelming advantage at this point. And I would just walk like, I don't know what I would do from this point though. I don't know how to close out a game. I don't know how to attack, remember? So. Do I do puzzles? Yeah, but puzzles aren't, just, I don't think you learn anything from a puzzle. Personally. Personally, I don't think puzzles teach you, like, anything at all. If I just played it fucking better, or, I mean, that's obvious, I guess. I That should have been my game to win. Man. Man. Just make the computer make the mathematical best play every time. And at this point, I think if I if it was me playing, what I would probably do is I would just trade these, because even though it at, at this point I have such a I have so much so much of an advantage, I would just trade these, and I couldn't, like I couldn't fuck it up from this position basically. Um, yeah, I couldn't fuck it. I couldn't lose from this position, even if I played it like as bad as possible. Um, I'd be fine, and I could just make some random ass moves for time, you know? Um, yeah, and I would just, I would just go forward and just push for the, um, and I would just push for the, um, for the, what's it called? And he would go here, and I would just leave that, and then I would just push this guy. Um, and then he would do this, and I would just forget about that, and I would just push, um, or what would I do at this point? I don't fucking know, actually. I think I would do this guy, and then he would do this, and then I would do this guy, and then he would do this, and then I would do, um, this guy, and then he would do like this, and then I would go... I don't fucking know. Then I would just start pushing this dude or something. And I would just, yeah, and we're fucked. He's fucked. Or, whoops. Yeah, and then I, I, I couldn't lose doing it this way. I'm making the bot do the best possible moves, and I could not lose. All I had to do was t do that rook trade. Why didn't I do that rook trade? Why didn't I? Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do that? 
I was just so nervous about getting checkmated over here that I didn't know. All right, one more time. Let's hope I get white again. Okay, I get black. I don't really know a defense for black. So I don't really know a good defense. Um, I don't know what the Sicilian is. I think it's like here. Yeah, that's my, that's my current strategy. Yeah, I don't want to do bad trades. I just don't know why, I don't know why I didn't do. What's the Sicilian? Can anyone, do I just have to Google it here real quick while I'm in fucking game? The Sicilian. The Sicilian game um, textbook. Am I allowed to look this up in game or am I not allowed to? This is the Sicilian, yeah, I forget the moves though. I, I forget, I forget the moves of the Sicilian. Like I forget what you're meant to do. Okay, not allowed? Oh god, I don't remember the fucking moves. So, is it like here? It can't be here, can it? Surely it's not this move. Googling is banned? Oh my god, I don't fucking know what the moves are. I don't know what the moves are. Okay, he's moving quick here. I don't know what the fucking moves are. How do I do this? What, what do I do next? I've never played this shit before. I guess I'll go here. I don't fucking know. <sighs> Even if I don't know, just try for best development principles. Okay. Okay, he's not attacking shit with this. He's defending this pawn, which doesn't really matter. But I guess I'll bring the... I, do I want to bring the knight out already? Honestly, I kind of want to just push this shit into the middle. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ballin'. We ballin' with this shit. We throwin' him up. Fuck it, we ball. He's not gonna know what to do about this. Look at this position I have him in. He's so fucked. It's so over. It's so jover for him. Um, I'm gonna try to get my... Um... I can get my, my knight out here, or my bishop out here, basically. Um, and I can move this pawn up to defend because I have this square for the knight. So that's fine. I got a lot of moves here. Um, I don't know what he's going to do next, but he has nothing to like take anything. So that's good. He castled. Okay, well that's fine then. I think I'm going to... Go pin this to his queen now, and it also develops it. So that's good. I'm gonna go pin it to his queen. That's good. Make sure to not forget. Okay, he does this, which um, I forget if there's like a cheese strategy here or not. Um, but I think since he just castled, here on this side. I'm gonna do this trade because he just castled on this side. He just moved this pawn. And if I trade, he has to like, he, he might, he may take with his queen, I guess. But um, uh, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just keep this for a little longer. Cause he, he's gonna fuck his pawn structure up if he does anything crazy here. His queen is still stuck, you know? It's going to take two moves to get out. Okay, so he pushes the pawn up over here. Which is rather interesting, I guess. Um, I'm going to put a pawn up... Uh, probably... Maybe not here. I'm going to put a pawn up here, I think. I know the king looks kind of weak in this position. But... Should be okay. Uh, let me think, actually. Do I put the pawn up here? And then I put the, the knight here. And then this knight protects the sky. I don't know actually what I do here. What does the knight really do if I go over here? Do I put... Well, the knight over here would be to put both on this side. Which I don't really need to do anymore. So maybe the knight just goes out here and just attacks like, like usual. Hmm. I want to get this guy out somehow. Um... What happened? Let me think. If I go here, he can 
he can just take with this and I have no counter option and it kind of bones me a little bit. So let's definitely not do that. Um, let's leave that guy there. Um, I think I want to move some of my guys out here. So let me... Ah, uh, maybe I'll just move the pawn. Fuck it. Uh, no, because the pawn traps my queen in. But then I can just play a really tight defense. I'm just going to move this up. Fuck it. I'm going to keep my guys... I'm going to let my pawns do the heavy work early. I think that's okay. We're going to play a close, a tight gam here. It's just a tightly packed gam, a jam-packed gam. Jam-packed with pieces being stuck close together. That might have been a bad move. I don't know. Um, if he moves his queen ever, I will take this 100% of the time. If he ever moves, uh, this is what I've been playing just while because I want to think through the moves. The moves aren't natural to me yet. I don't think I'll learn anything by just, maybe I would learn stuff by just throwing the pieces around the board, actually. That's possible. But right now I'm trying to like really think through every move I make. But I might, maybe, I might learn better by just actually, like, forcing myself to make quick moves. And then maybe that would help up my instincts. But I think the important thing for me is to play the openers correctly. So he moves this guy up, which is interesting. So he threatens this guy, which takes, takes, which wouldn't be good for him at all. Um, I think I'm going to move this here for now. I like moving this guy here because it threatens, it threatens to go here and, well, I guess I can't fork a knight with a knight. I guess that wouldn't make sense. So never mind, maybe that was a bad play. This guy is going to be useless for most of the game, which is okay, I think, because I have, we can just wait patiently. You're motivated to learn chess out of spite because your boyfriend kept beating you. Quick moves at the, are the worst at my stage. Um, what we can do, maybe, Armin, is we can play a game together or something. Maybe. Um, or see, this one? Or wait, hitch? Five to four C. Wait, we'll hitch five to four. Huh? What? Sorry. <laughs> okay, why would he do this? He moves this forward. I don't think I need to do anything about this. Right? How many times is he defending this square? Once. Wait, how many times is he defending this square? Just once, I think. Sorry, just just once. Because it's... Oh no, because he can move his queen this way. No, 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 no. His queen isn't pinned if it moves this way. I don't think I want to take this. Because, um... Let me think through this. I'm going to avoid looking at chat for a second. So, he can take here... But I have one, two, three defenders on this square. Um, so that's fine. I don't need, I don't, I'm not worried about him taking there. Fuck me. Can we just, okay. If he takes here, I have one defender. But he has, and he has a bishop here. So, can I like make a play here or something? Like to here? Does that do anything? Not really. What if I just go... No, that's a bad move. That's definitely a bad move. Hmm. Hmm. 
I want to defend this guy one more time, is what I want. So I think I am going to just kind of push my whole pawn structure up a little bit. Maybe this is bad, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to castle on this side. So I'm going to push one more pawn up. Take his pawn? I don't think it's worth it to take his pawn. Because he has more attackers than I have. Um, than I, have. I can attack here, and I can attack here. But he can... Um, but one er, and I can attack. I can attack here. I guess I have three attackers, but he can, he can do that and then get his queen in. And I don't think I. I don't know. I, we have the same amount of attackers or whatever. Like I don't have an advantage, on that square. I guess is what I'm saying. He has a fourth. Here, oh yeah, because when he takes with the ear, this guy can jump in. So one, two. Um, wait, what? Let me think. Where are, his, where are his defenders of this square? I see this one. Sorry, I see this guy. I see this guy. And I see this guy. Where's his other? So this guy can threaten... Sorry, this guy can threaten to fork me here. Which I think is fine. So I think I will... Um, I think I will move my queen. Wait, no. Where would if he goes here? Wait, no. He can't fork me. Sorry, he can't fork me. Because if he does any forks, I just take him with my queen. He can't fork me. You're going. You're off now. Yeah, yeah. We will remember. We will remember. Um. Shit. Let me think. Sorry. Did he... No, he got an extra defender by making that play. He got an extra defender, that play, to his dude, which is fine. Um, let me think. If I make this play, is this the, is this the goaded play, actually? If I go here, and we trade pieces here, right? We trade pieces. If he moves his queen, then I can take here. He can take here, but then I take here. And his queen is moved. Let's go for it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the fuck happens. Let's see what happens. Enough thinking. I can't think through how it, how these events will end. But I think I win. I think I have a gut feeling. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Um, that he would mess up his pawn structure over here. That's what I was hoping. Which is good. So, um, I think I will just, um, let me think actually. Let me think what I want to do now. I'd like to castle at some point here. Um, do I just start take? Take, take. Let me think. What if I go like up here and I reinforce this square more? Hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm just thinking. My head hurts. <laughs> My head hurts so much, actually. It's crazy. What if I go here? No, I, obviously I don't go there. Um, what if I go... What if I go... Yeah, what if I... What What if I go up, up to here? I almost fucked up, actually. I almost dropped it there accidentally. What if I do that? What if? What if I do that? I don't know what happens if I do that. I'm not really defending much here. I think. And with the next move from here, I could go like here or something. I don't really know what that move accomplishes for me. It feels like a wasted move, ultimately. Ultimately, it just feels like a wasted move. But let's go for it anyway. Maybe what I need right now is a wasted move. Maybe that's what I need right now. Maybe that's what I need at this moment is just to like chill for a, a turn, you know?
Maybe I should have kept him there and just pushed this forward and threatened to take this one. Because then if he takes, I take and I get another attacker. Maybe that's what I should have done, actually. Now that I think about it, I think that was maybe the better play, was move this guy forward and then threaten to take here. But then if he doesn't take... But if he takes, it's triple stacked fonts, which is, like, really nice for me. Gotta get back to your own your own shit. You make uh, it's nice making. Yeah, thank you for your. I really appreciate everyone for watching. Sorry, I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> I, mean, I want him to overthink this move and not realize that I just whatever it did not for, for no reason okay so now he takes he really thought this through so he takes here so this is my strong side so i think i want to take with this one wait me what happened sorry let me just think through so he takes here so i think i take i don't want to well, if I take here, we, we queen trade, which is fine. If I take here, we could queen trade. But I think I take here. And this is okay. I want him to get a queen trade. Yeah, I think I take here. And he doesn't really have... Yeah, I, I'm gonna think, I think I take here. Pronounce my name, it's Ifa. Ifa B. If I be. I take here. Okay, and then he goes here with, what did he take here? Sorry, let me look. He took a pawn with that, but then I take this with this. I don't really see what he does about this. I don't really see what his play is here. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't see what his play is. I feel like he just forgot that I had the bishop there because it wasn't doing anything up until this point and the knight was blocking it here. So I think he just forgot that the bishop existed and thought he was gonna get my queen here or something. Um, so he pins my knight here, which is fine. I think it's fine. Um, which means, how do I, how do I resolve that? Maybe I just move this guy back now and just keep up the defensive play. I'm just going to move this guy back now. Now that he's free, it's fine. Um, and he can't really take this or I'll take with my knight. And then I'll do the same thing I was planning on doing of moving this guy forward here. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We have stuff protected. We're still protecting things. So I almost panicked. I almost thought I made a huge mistake. Maybe I did make a huge mistake, but maybe, you know, maybe I did. My opponent just didn't see it. So he's going to try unfuck his pawns here a little bit. Um, but I think that's okay because... Um, actually, let me think here real quick if i take with this one what can he do i don't know what he's i don't know what he can do with this i don't think this is a good play for him like what does he do he can't take back like with anything here my my bishop is right here and if he queen trades i'm winning i don't get it i don't get his play here i'm gonna just see what his plan is but i don't think it's a good i think he just made a i don't i think he just gave me that for free i'm not gonna overthink it i'm not overthinking it i think he just gave me that and he's just gonna Maybe, maybe he unfucked his pawns a little bit. Maybe that's what he did. But he can't do anything. He can't take it. With this. Or I just... Yeah. He can, yeah. I don't know. He just, it was just a donation, I guess. Just a gift. Just a gift sub. Uh, I'm going to castle. 
to get away from this thing. On at this point, I think. I'm just gonna castle. His pawns are fucked over here, so I really should be able to attack. If I can't attack right now, then when can I attack? You know? That that's my question. If I can't attack at this moment in time, when can I? You know? When can I attack? That's a great question. Okay. If he hits here, it doesn't do anything, I think. So... Let me... I need to release... I need to unleash my... Um, some things here. If I go here, I threaten to take his bishop. And I don't think this was protecting anything otherwise. Not even it's, I mean, it's not even doing anything over here. But this threatens to take his bishop. It stops this guy moving forward. He can't take it back. I don't think he can checkmate me. How He could not possibly checkmate me from this position. This is fine. I think we win. I think we, we just close it out now. And we just play the moves that look... We just trade when we can trade. And we're chilling. Unfortunately, it's a little annoying because he can, like, move. There's scores he can move to where I can't take him because of just my pieces or whatever. But knights are annoying. Oh, I blocked the... Oh, well, that's fine, though. Doesn't matter too much. I'll just take this. Okay, he moves that. So I can't take his bishop here. Um, I guess. Um, but, what does he know? I have this move right here, which threatens to take his bishop anyway. Little does he know. He is lacking critical information. And then... He's going to be like, oh, fuck, I have to make the trade, but it's okay because I'll make the trade and, and she's going to use her queen, but she doesn't, but, but I have this guy. So, actually, he's super fucked. It's over for him. He can't win. It's over. I played, I played, I matched. Vortex, LTDA. Get the fuck out of here. You're garbage. You're garbage, bro. You're trash. Absolutely trash. Strong plays? Thank you. Was I actually making strong plays? I wonder. I wonder. Unfortunately, I'm not really... Yeah, more like out. God is ass. B2 is going to move one forward. B2 is going to move one forward. Oh, this one? Yeah, I don't care. Like, I'll, I'll take this. I'll, I'll threaten his, um... I don't care. You know? He can take it. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. What's he going to do? What's he going to do if he takes it? I'm just going to take his bishop. And then he's going to... You know... I don't know. I'm, I'm going after his queen now. I don't see a problem with this move. Yeah, I'm just gonna take his bishop. If he trades, I'm up. I'm up so much right now. I don't care if he takes it. And he can't even take it because my, my thing's gonna take his queen. So he can't even take it. He can't even do it. He could do this, but I take his queen. He's boned. Resign. Resignation coming in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, he didn't, well, okay. He didn't resign. So, um, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Now I, hold on, don't do that. I was gonna say, now I fuck him, now I hit him with the ultimate fuck move. But, now I go here, first, and check him. I think. Go here and check him. No, no, because he'll just use his guy on the diagonal. He'll just use his queen on the diagonal here. Um, let me think. 
Let me think. What if I just go like here? Oh, I almost I almost let go with the wrong button press there. I'm protecting the, the, the thing with this, so I don't want to move this guy, is the thing, if I can avoid it. If I can avoid moving this guy, that would be nice. How do I make... I'm just like... It's hard for me to make an attack, you know? Oh, ooh, I see. I see what you're saying. Threaten the queen again. You're right, you're right. I was just wondering how to make an attack, but you're correct. 100%. You're 100% correct. Just keep, just keep messing with the queen. Just keep messing with the queen. You're so right. You're so right. You're so right. You're so right. Okay, this is bad practice because I'm still not learning the open. I'm meant to be learning the opening. This is still bad practice. Just gonna keep chasing the, just keep that in mind. Keep chasing the queen. If there's a way to attack the queen that doesn't have goring weaknesses, it's probably okay. I just need to get like my guys attack. I mean, Right now, I'm like sucking his soul light slowly. I'm bleeding him dry, piece by piece. Piece by piece, I'm bleeding him dry. But... His only move is queen to g4. Yeah, that's true. That is true. In which case, I can just do this. He goes here. And then he can take here. Actually, sorry. Don't don't play too quickly. I can go here, and then he can. I can threaten it. His only move now, at this point, probably, will be to take this. But that's good. It's the rated game. You can't give external existent. Okay. I just think. Let me just think. Um, what did he move? Oh yeah, he moved this. If I go here and threaten it again. And then he takes it with this pawn, and then I take it, it's still threatened. It's still threatened. And this is still protected. I'm gonna just keep pressuring his queen. It's still threatened. And he, he can take here, but if, even if he does, I take here and it's still under threat. And this is being protected by the rook, so he can't take back with the queen or anything. Once you do take, take. He can't do anything with the queen. This guy is stuck. This guy can trade for a bishop. That's his best move. Okay, now he goes up here. Um, now... Oh, I almost... I think... I, okay, let me think. Now, what can I do? Um, let me think. If I go here, is he done? If I go here, is he dead? He's he, his king is under check. Yeah, I think I got him with this move. I don't want any. I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading chat. I'm just going for it. I think I got him with this move. I think I got him. I think I fucking got him. Nothing takes me. Well spotted. Let's go. I did it. I did it. God, I saw that. Let's go. I'm learning. I'm learning. Nice fork. Okay, and I will be taking your queen, unless I want to do it with this guy, or not this guy, so I want to do it with this guy, because he can't even take this route. Well, he can't take it, but no, no, um, what I want to take this with, what I want to take this with, I'm really bad at using bishops, is the thing, but maybe I'll take it with a knight, I think I'll take it with a knight, here, I'm just so bad at using bishops. I think bishops are technically worth more than a knight, and it's it's the end game, so I'll use the knight, and we'll take it with the knight, and it's fine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this and open up this line, and then if he wants to trade, he can, but otherwise, I mean, he's... Or wait, do I want to do that right now, actually? Let me think. No, no, I do want to do that right now. Yes, I do. Because if he wants to trade, I'll move my queen, and this guy's, yeah. He can take this piece if he wants, and that's fine. I really don't mind giving away my other knight right now. I'm so far ahead. All I have to do is get his rooks, and I win. All I have to do is get his rooks, and I win. So, I don't care how many... I don't care. Okay, he, he knows that, apparently. Apparently, he knows that. So... Um... 
what if I go here? Is this just, I'm just gonna annoy him, you know? No, no, I can't go here. Oh, I can go here. Can I check him somehow? Not really. Um, let me think. I wanna move my queen. That's what I wanna do. What if I go like, Herm? Sorry, just be careful I don't lose on time. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some weird plays just, just to make sure I'm good on time, basically. I'm gonna keep messing with him a little bit. If he moves this guy um, anywhere that's not on this line, it's good for me. As long as this guy's not on this row, I'm chilling. Oh, well, I guess I'm not chilling because this guy will take me, but it's fine. I just need to get this guy out of the fucking corner. I need to move my queen. That's what I'll figure out how to do next turn. Maybe like I go here and threaten this guy or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly. But then this guy's undefended. Okay, so he did keep his guy on that line. Um, okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna leave that guy where he is for now. I'm gonna move the queen up to like here. I just want to get this guy out. I just want to get him out. Wait, no. What if I just move this guy up? Is he protected by anything? He's not protected by anything. I just noticed. Okay. I. That's good to know. That's great to know. I wanted to know that. He's not protected by anything, so I'm going to protect him. And then I'm going to just move my guys over. And we're going to just start going. We're going to send it with the rooks. Maybe I should have, like, moved my queen here or something. No, no, I, I, maybe I, I don't know what I should have done. There's probably a better place I could have moved to. Like, maybe, like, here was better. Because if he takes it, I just go here. And he's kind of boned. Yeah, I should have went, like, here, maybe. Because I know this square is being challenged by that. Okay, he's going to go here, which is definitely good for me. Um, because, um, why is it good for me? I don't remember. Is it good for me? I think, I think I might lose this guy, but if I do lose this guy, he's in, he's, he's boned, basically. Basically, if, if that guy dies, he's boned. Or if he, sorry, if he takes that, he's boned. How do I do this now? How do I do it now? Do I just go here first? Maybe I do just go here first. Yeah, I think I just go here first. Sorry. Move my bishop to e5. Oh. Wrong? It's fine. He can't take this guy anymore. And if he moves this guy off this row, um, or anything, that's good for me. He won't have his... He won't have the rook on the same row as his king. Okay, that's fine with me. That's very fine with me. If I go here, um, I'm going to sacrifice a pawn here, but I'm going to get rid of his rook. And I think... Um, oh, I see. If I moved it, it would protect my knight. Oh, you're so smart. You're so smart. Okay, well, let me just do this now instead which is where I want to be. Yeah, let's just do this move instead because, again, it's just as good. He can't take this. He can't take this. I can go here with this and he can't get my queen. So this is, this is where I want to be. I can attack right here um, and then I can bring the other rook in afterwards. You're going? Have a nice night. Sorry for yelling at you for giving me chess advice earlier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Information was overloading me. No hints shoot. Yeah, no hints. I'll get banned. They're gonna ban me. Okay. I'm just gonna go here and take this anyway, I think. Which will leave my knight a little bit. Um. Erm. Um, I think so. Or. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go here anyway. It'll leave my knight. Uh, undefended, but that's okay. At this point, if he tucks himself in there, I'm firing. I'm, f I'm my cannons are loaded. Okay, cannons are loaded. This is fine. So I'm gonna go here. I think threaten his rook. If he takes it, I take it, and then I'll go get my. I think this is my move. I'll go here, threaten to take this. Um. 
don't know if this was the best play, but it's fine. He's kind of boned right now. He's kind of mega boned. His rook being in here is fucked. Is like, he's 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 so boned. And then I'm just gonna go get my queen. He has to move this here first. That's his only move is to move this guy here. Okay, well he's fucked. He has to move this guy here. He has to, or he gets muted. Yeah, it's over. Okay. I probably could have won that faster at a certain point. Let's see the analysis here. Where does it say the review? Okay, apparently... Okay. I really choked him out of life from this point, and I didn't make any noticeable mistakes, it looks like, from this point onward. He really had no nothing. Especially this move. That was crushing. That was, that was the crush right there. That one. Nice. Very nice. And apparently bulge. I have mate in nine if I was a good player. Which I wasn't. But apparently the game ended in less than nine moves, so maybe I was a good player. Actually after, maybe no the game ended in exactly nine moves. So okay, that was my worst play. But I think I was real on, no, I wasn't low on time here. I don't think I did a good play here. What, what did it want me to do here? Move the queen up to here. And then the, the PC would have moved him here. Yeah, oh no, that was what I, I wanted. I figured this move out a little too late. I figured it out here after I'd already made, um, after I already made this play, this was the exact moment when I realized that I wanted my queen here. It took me, I was like two moves too late to see this, basically. But this is what I wanted. This is the move that it wanted me to do. This was the good move right here. It just took me two, two moves to just actually realize that. Um, yeah, it took, me, it took me two moves to realize that. But I think I was just trying to keep this knight alive for some reason. So what happens if I go, let me think, let me think about this. So. What happens if I go here, and he takes here, and then I go here? Does that checkmate? No, he has to go here. And then that's checkmate. Okay. So he can't, okay. So I could have attacked harder. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Give me a second. I had a few grip plays I missed, but I did great overall. Thank you. you I, I was stressed. I'm gonna go pee. I need to pee. Whoa. Um, oh, okay. My friend, my friend is coming to visit. My friend Riven is gonna be here. So I'm gonna be right back a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be right back just a little, just a wee, just a wee while, okay? Um, so, I just need to go pee, and also I need to... Fuck, I, I never installed the Be Right Back screen. Which I should have done. Or is it? Um, I never added it. Want to play? Um, my friend's going to come over, so I'm going to have a friend here, and we're going to hang out. So we might, I might play against my real-life friend here. Um, and you guys can watch, basically. But I just need to... Um, I need to add... The scene, real quick. The be. Sorry, it's gonna. I'm not dead. I'm just adding a new scene. Just to be clear, the screen, the stream isn't dying. I'm just adding a new scene. Just give me a second, okay? Give me a second. The stream is not dying. Just one sec. Okay, you can hear me again. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Sorry. Um, I think it's called Media Source. Be right back. Local file browse. This PC downloads. Reworked animated scene. Be right back. Loop. Close and inactive. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
All right. I think this works. Let's just check how it goes. When it, um, I just want to make sure it loops correctly. Okay, it did loop. Perfect. Okay, okay. I gotta be right back. Okay, just some some minutes.
my big man. <laughs> we are so back. We're so back. We're so back. No way. I have my my guest, my stream guest today, for the first time ever, introducing new stream guest. Hello, is Raven. Hello, everyone. I feel like opening this window up a bit. There we go. Hello, everyone. Finally, a reasonable per person on the stream. Let me just. There we go. Hi, I'm back. We're we're hanging out. We doubled we're the amount out. of transgender people. We did it. We did it. We're multiplying. We're multiplying. Called, is that mitosis or meiosis? Mitosis. My, how do you know? <laughs> when did you get so smart? <laughs> okay, Raven's gonna entertain the stream. Mm -hmm. You wanna play chess? You don't know if I'm wearing pants. <laughs> oh shit. True. Chat keeps Wait, saying, you never wear pants. The chat keeps thing. saying I'm wearing pants, but they don't know. They don't know? Okay. I, need to, I really need to go pee, okay. I need to go pee. So you can just entertain the chat. If you want, yeah. I can give you headphones. Mm. I need headphones. Sorry? What? If anything can hear music and stuff, I have like low fi playing. Take, you might want to take your sun. I mean, maybe the sunglasses are part of the work, but they might, they might not work with the headset. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking my phone. I'm sitting on Twitter in the bathroom for like mm -hmm. five minutes here. Okay, maybe longer. Yeah. If you're not entertaining enough, and I see my comeback from my stream gears, like my numbers have dropped, mm -hmm. you get a new device. You get yeah. a new device. So. Not again. Hi, you know, Canada's amazing. Toronto is way better than Vancouver. Hi, chat. Hi. Microphone. Don't, don't cat sniff at me. Hi. Where's Jaguar? Where's the other people also look at my nails. I mean, so sick as fuck. I got claws. <clears throat> Where is everyone? Why is everyone gone? This is like kind of my moment. Can we like get more people in here, please? I see Ascaron, I see Sabrina. Yeah. <clears throat> Can we like unmod and ban like Jaguar? Who's the others? Um, you already forgot their name. They're like just not important. Not very important people because they're not even here. I love that all I do is just shit talk the entire chat the whole time. Look how far down the seat is. Guys, I got gifts for Aoife, but she'll never know. Until she knows. So it's kind of the point. Yeah, no, I haven't lost a single chess game in my entire life, so I'm kind of the best in the world. I lost like once, and then I drew against Magnus Carlsen, but that's about it. And I was distracted anyways, and he was cheating, so I don't really count it, but it doesn't matter. It's not like a big deal. How's everyone doing today? How's the chat? 
you guys liking the chess arc? Is it too boring? Is it awesome? My top three video games of all time. Number one, it's easiest, easily Giraffe Town, okay? Look it up, it's the best game ever made. Um, I like Among Us. I think Among Us has an incredible cultural impact and it's impacted a lot of people. I think Among Us, it's, it deserves to be up there with one of the greats, you know? Um, and then for the third, I don't know, I like Melee, but I don't really play Melee, I just watch Melee. And I like Mario Party, but I don't think it's top three. Um, the Last of Us Part 1 was really good. I think that's an incredible game, one of the best of all time. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go with Melee. The fact that it's still, like, very competitive and, like, very popular, too, like, Ludwig streams the tournaments, like, I think that's incredible. And I love the people. Yeah. chat. Look at this. Look at this shirt. I'm a big fan of this shirt. Bought it yesterday. I could have one thing on a deserted island. Um, I don't like that question. <laughs> Bad question. Moving <laughs> on. Where the fuck is Giraffe going? Where's Giraffe going? Where's everyone? They're all gone. Can they come back? Hi. Yeah, well, they're not even here, so. I know, it's they fucked up. Fucking... You know what fucking Jack or uh, Giraffe Gwen did? What? Got a fucking job. Can you believe him? Oh Turn my on. god. Okay. This fucker got a job. Can you believe that? That's insane. Yeah. Can you just, here, can you just get the fuck in a little bit, please? No, I get in the fucking corner. Like, move in. No, no, move, move into the, it's like L shape. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, everyone. How Welcome. is he supposed to pay you all day if he's working all day? That's really fucked up. Right? He should, he should think about He you. should be, <laughs> he should think about how, how it would affect me. <laughs> Him getting a job. <laughs> Why did he never think about that? Um, let me. T I guess we'll change the category for now. Maybe we'll do. We'll do. Okay. We'll change the category. Yeah. Two trams. 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 Two, Two trams genders. genders. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can we take a picture together on the stream? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at that. How are you just looking forward? How do you do that? Look just, at the camera. But what if I look stupid? How do I tell if I look stupid if I don't look at myself and tell if I'm well, looking? Well, you look better when you look at the camera, so you just gotta hope. Oh, I. Please, it won't do that. <laughs> Sorry. We did it. We did it. Oh, yo, we look so cute together. We do. That's so awesome. Um. Now everyone in chat will be cemented in history. I'm gonna. Everyone in that screenshot. True. You guys are all gonna be crop dyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, actually. We are so back. Uh, should I keep that caption for like us both make a selfie together? Should we take a selfie instead? Is sure. that better? What do you think? <clears throat> yeah, we should. We should take a selfie instead? Okay. I'll sit up. No, it's funnier if you look really short compared to me. Okay. Yeah, you look tiny and I look ginormous. <laughs> I love alternating, um... Okay. I'm not even smiling. 
Oh, look at this one. This is <laughs> this it. is me trying to do like chess poses. <laughs> I was trying to do like me playing chess poses earlier. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I'm thinking, hmm, oh, I like ah, that. yes. Hmm, my opponent just played a serious move. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. Yeah. Okay. I'm, re I'm feeling it. We're doing the Snapchat one because it looks nicer. Not exactly. I'm gonna move my hair to the other side because I hate you. And we're gonna actually pay attention to the chat in like three seconds. Do you like yourself? Yeah. Or do you want another? No, I like this one. Okay. How the fuck do I do this? Can I entertain the chat while I do this? Yeah. <clears throat> so, I got you a gift, by the way, you fuck. No shot. Yeah. Really? And you know that bag that we were like, Sakoshi Mart? Yeah? Yeah. That was my gift? That's your gift. Why didn't you get yourself something? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why would you do this? Because. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Can I see it? Yeah. Can I unbox it on stream? Yeah. That's the plan. That's the... Oh. That was the plan. That was the plan? See? Okay. Are you, tra are you trapped? No. Like, okay. I can get Sorry for the sword. <laughs> Sorry about I'm the sword, guys. Chest. Can I tag you? Or are you is your ass shadow banned? Are you still Baby Wolf? Are you still Baby Wolf X420? I might have to get rid of it. Well, I just got a little bit of a spoiler, so. <gasps> no way. Yeah. Wait, Haikyuu? Haikyuu. I'm going to turn another white on. Give me a second. Look at, look at, look at, look at, Tobi, what's his name? Kagiyama. Tobio. Tobio. Tobio Kagiyama. Kag, Kag, Tobio Kagiyama. Can we have three seconds just to interrupt you here? The little doggy. So mini doggy. There's so many doggy. We are so back. Uh huh. Yeah. You do that. So I don't see. No you way. can take its heart out. What? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my god. You can like heat it up in the microwave. And, and then put it in? Put it in and it like goes <laughs> Holy shit. No way. It's gonna finally look like I have boobs now. Yeah. It's gonna look like you have one boob. Like one boob. We did it. That is so cute. Can I feel him? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, he's so soft. No way. And then I got you a little Aki. Oh my god, I'm gonna put him up there next to my Maki Maki yeah. figure. Show the chat. Well, you're so much better at this than I am. Look at his eyes. Look at him. It's Aki from from the hit TV show. Chainsaw Man. And then I also have some high key stickers that I didn't use. Oh, room. okay. Well, then that's not really a gift, is it? If it's like yeah, well, leftover. Yeah, that's why. Like, that's like you know. It you, wasn't intended to be a gift. It's like you I just treat yourself to like a you know, it. treat yourself to like a full course meal. Be like, here, here's the scraps. Be, be thankful. <laughs> yeah, that's I guess just... like some leftovers that I had <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> just if, you, yeah, after like the, the gourmet. Meal you just I will be, I will be using these yes yeah you has, sure you don't want any of them to take back I'm home sure. with you it has that guy you like I like Bokuto yeah not my favorite character I like Kamma Kamma's cool I like this guy he's hot he's yeah. like the hottest guy it 
has the twins on there like a lot. Oh, I fucking use the no. twins like twice, and there's still like so many. There's too many twins. I don't. Oh, Tsukushima is my favorite. Have you ever watched? Check this out. Get in there. Get in. There. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> that was me. You know? Oh boy. Her tummy's wrong. My she tummy. Eaten all day. I actually have not eaten all day. Have yeah. you eaten? How did you know? I kind of you. We did it. This is so awesome. And he's so happy with it in him. Yeah. <laughs> Little chunky monkey. And you can also have the bag. The bag? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, I think I mean, he's like here. You can't see him, but he's behind us. He's watching. I'm gonna just get. Uh, okay, I need to fucking laugh. See this goddamn building? This is all my house right now. Mm -hmm. So the lighting doesn't look terrible when it gets dark. Yeah, because yeah, it does look terrible. It looks terrible. Anyway. I swear, one day I'll finish this apartment. Maybe I just didn't have constant gas coming over. <laughs> yeah, constantly, day. all the time. All the time. I have no free time to do anything right now. Still, it's not great. One second, you're gonna see, okay? Uh huh. You're gonna see? I trust. I trust. You're gonna see my next move here. Now, I'll get ready to watch out my next move, okay? It's to go to webcam, properties, configure video. No freaking way. And watch this camera control, exposure, auto, off. What the hell? Why? Okay. And without the auto exposure, it'll actually look better for some reason. I don't know why, but it will over time, especially as it gets darker. Okay. Yeah. Hi. You wanna play chess against me? I have to play chess. Okay. I always play against Did chess. I tweet this or not? I don't remember. I did not tweet it. I did not tweet it? That's why it says that you can. Oh, right, right, right. Cause I tweeted a different one. Yeah, I did. Do a different one. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Also, this tweet was about you, by the way. Where, where the fuck was it? Where the fuck was it? This one? Do you remember this shit? Yeah. <laughs> Shit's blowing up. <laughs> and then you got roasted for it. I love it. You can't play 1v1 on chess.com on the same computer? Why the fuck not? That is so bullshit. Play chess verse. Did you see that? I saw that. There was like a fucking <laughs> lightning that. bolt. Like the motherfucking flash. Like that shit like... Did they not have those in Canada? Um, I don't know. Kind of a normal thing. Can I use this site to play against your, myself? I just want to play against myself here. Okay, does this work? Click new game. New game. Uh. This game fucking blows. Let me try. You know what we'll do? Here, here's how we'll do this, okay? I love this song. We'll go to, we'll go to chess.com. You can, oh, you can hear it? Oh yeah, you're gonna be playing with an advantage for sure. Yeah. Because um, we need to hide the evaluation thing here somehow. This is better, okay? Close this, close this, okay? This is how we do it now, okay? So we do it like this, then we go, and, we, and we're just gonna play, there's gonna be no timer. The fuck? Oh, I see. Where's the undo thing? Okay, this is it. Okay, I see. So, we're just gonna do this, basically. It'll be unfortunately inverted, but that's fine, I hope. What do you mean inverted? Like, or I guess not. It's better for black, I guess, just because the ball, you're about, like, I'd be playing up here. If I play white, you know? Okay. You know what I'm saying? No. Do I have a laptop? Oh, I have a laptop. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Wait a minute. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe. And then I just stream it? Like I stream this game, but you yeah. you make plays on the laptop? It shows on there. Okay. Yeah. You ever suggested that in chat? You're a fucking genius. Who you suggested genius. that? Kaze? I really hope I don't have anything embarrassing on the laptop. Oh, okay. But we need to like, we need to, can you play the guests on chess.com? There's two of them. There are two of them. Benorio. Yeah. Hi. It's my guy. I 
thought he said he bought me a bee. We got a bee. Um, okay, let me think. Chess.com. Let me. I'll just accept this, it's fine. Okay. Let me. Do I have to have an account to play against someone, or can you just play against yourself? Like, can you just play against, like, a. a, a it's a guest. Or whatever. Because, like, do I need to make. I'm wondering, do I need to make you an account or something? You know? Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. Chess.com log out. In the upper right corner of each page on chess.com. That's not true. Oh, I found it. It was in the bottom left corner. They literally told me. Is Aoife tall or Raven small? They're We're so actually stupid. the exact same. We're literally part. at the same height, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just have better posture. So. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just have terrible posture. Yeah, you're just game remoting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, play online. Okay. Play a friend. I'm just like oh, you have really to, you far have to away sign from up. the camera. What? I'm just like really far away from the camera, so I look smaller. Is that really it? Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah, I look a little. Okay, you have to make an account, I guess. Uh, you want to make one? Yeah. Don't like you can just make a fake one or something if you want, because yeah. I'll get your password and stuff on this, you know. Yeah. And then you don't want me to have that information. Yeah. You just make some random shit up. Uh, well, I have to use like my actual email. Oh. Oh, really? Like, I can't. Imagine Aoife having better posture than you. That is yeah. true. That's pretty embarrassing for you. That's actually really embarrassing. Do I literally not own a chess board? No, we don't. Boy, I have played chess twice. Two days. You don't on own stream. a chess board? Of course I don't own a chess board. <laughs> what do you think? We're going to play computer. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Do you have a problem with that? Is there something wrong with that? Do you have a problem? Do you have a fucking problem? Hmm? What do you, is that? Is that? What's, what's your deal? Yeah? What's your problem with that? Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Can we hackle, by the way? We're gonna, I'm gonna hackle her when we play. Okay. Like, I'm gonna hackle, like, as you play, it's how part of my mind games. You know? Because it's like playing over the board chess. It's not like you can hide the board from another person while you're playing chess, right? Like, you don't get to just hide the board. Oh, I know what I can do for more like. just arrived. But no, you, do you really think we're gonna like have a physical chessboard and fucking stream it? Do you think we're gonna put the camera where you can see it? Can you use your brain for once, please? Oh god. Fucking phone. You know what? They're right though. If we had a physical board, we could throw the figures at each other. Oh, true. We could like flip the table at the end. Yeah. I take one. back what I said, but not the parts well, that were mean to Ben Orion. If you, whoever wins or loses, we can just pretend that the um that the laptop is the board, and you can just flip <laughs> just the laptop. It. Just throw the laptop. Yeah. Basically. We'll take the keys out and throw them at each other. Yeah. You made an account. You did it. I did it. Okay. Chess.com. My account is called Raven on Chess from Twitter. <laughs> Nice. I just had to keep typing until I, <laughs> until I give you one. <laughs> Type for you. Raven on chess. On chess. On chess. <laughs> From Twitter. On. Sorry, type code. It's hard to type one finger for some reason. Yeah. On chess. From Perfect. Twitter. You want to switch screens? It, doesn't, it says no friends signed. Oh, I have to just 
I have to add you as a friend, I guess. Or is it? The fuck. Play. Play a friend. Search by email or username, sorry. Oh. oh my god. No. No. Pissed. Won't let me. How do I add a friend? How am I so stupid? Like do you know how to? What the hell? Social. Social. Friends. friends. Friend link, I guess. Friend link. Oh my god. Can you send it to like your Discord? So I can, like... Yeah, I'll send it on. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, how do I get the... Oh. Yeah. Do you want me to use the laptop? No. We'll switch roles? No. Are you sure? I don't want you okay, to. Okay, okay. <laughs> Even though I'm sitting in front of the keyboard. Okay. I clicked it, what do I do now? Um, challenge. challenge. I guess. Oh. I just got a DM. Oh, I got a. Huh? I don't know. I don't know either. How are we so? How are we not getting this? I'm sorry. How the fuck are we not understanding how to just add a friend? It says I'm already friends with you. For the it says you're friends with me. Yeah. That's what it says. Can you like? Challenge me, or did that work, or no? Is it because you're logged in on this laptop or something as well? I don't understand. Maybe I send you the friend link. Yeah, maybe. Did I log out on? Oh, I logged out on this computer. Oh, yeah, Sorry, I forgot. Nice. Very nice bulge. I forgot. Very nice bulge. No, I didn't log out on this computer, or did I? Play a friend. Oh, here we go. Play. Play. Now we're waiting on opponent. Okay, we got it. Okay. Now you hit you hit the same thing, I guess. Okay. Play. And then play a friend. Sub goal met. Yo, let's go. When I get a second, can I check Discord? Yes, I will check Discord. Okay. Um, yeah, click me. Ender. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do um so rated or not rated. Not rated. And we're gonna do more time controls. And we're just gonna do like sixty minutes, okay? But we'll like not take sixty minutes. We're just gonna give I mean, sixty minutes. Maybe you will, but Okay. I mean I won't have to. Okay. And I <clears throat> will I don't know. Who we just random? We random, right? Yeah, just play. 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 Okay. Cool. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Okay, we're in. We're actually okay. still in. Oh. Window capture. Let me Okay, we might actually need to swap seats because if you're gonna sit lower than me, because the chat's here, I'll need to like loom above it or something, or we'll put it in the middle or whatever. Yeah. But we're, yeah, you're too low. I'm sorry. Like, you're too short right now. Yeah, I'm just yeah. really far away from the camera. Oh my god. Well, you want to swap? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> you for yelling. You know, sometimes I just get violent, I guess. I have violent tendencies. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want the pillow still? Do you want the pillow? No, I don't. Okay. Sorry, I was asking if you wanted it. Oh, well, I got it. So. Okay. This is the nice thing about having a wireless mouse. Okay. This is what I got this ship. Why am I so white? Were you not this white when you were here? I was pretty white. You were pretty white? Oh, okay. Maybe it's just a me thing, man. Let me get closer. Hold on. Let me just sleep. Yeah. Just checking your moves. That's not even... <laughs> just looking at her moves. Okay. <laughs> just looking at her board real quick. <laughs> Holy shit, we are so white. Oh, Aborted. Boy. Aborted? That is not... That is... Don't let the Americans know. Don't let the Supreme Court know about that one. Okay. All right, we're just gonna have to put it. Why am I so white now? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I told you I looked bad. Your stupid face looks bad. Yeah, so does yours. No, it doesn't. Look at the fucking screen. Now that's, that's much better for me, at least. Okay. Yeah, that is. It's it's slightly better. Much? Eh. You know. Eh. Eh. 
I, I mean, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I grow much, but you know, this is why I need to get a fucking lamp. Oh, I can't touch the buttons. All right, we're we are. Four chests right now. We're playing for it. We're. How is it so hard to fucking set? Okay, rematch. Rematch. Did you get a request? Yeah. The chunky bee is such a mood. It is. You need to slide in a little more. I was gonna just. I, I don't know why I thought I could just pull pull you for some reason, but it did not work. Gosh. My strength failed me. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking with the camera. Okay, mm -hmm. like here, a bit more, like this. Mm -hmm. Oops, keep grabbing the wrong thing. And then the chest board in between us. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll slide over more this way, maybe. And then I'll pull up more like this. And the bee's in the middle. And the bee's in the middle. The bee oh, overseeing. So it does. I don't get a board. <laughs> oh, okay. Good idea. Good. Oh, you're white? <sighs> okay. All right. Always. What the fuck is this move? Yeah. The fuck is this? Yeah, you don't get it. Wait, what the hell? This throws off everything. Wait, <laughs> That's the Spanish, you know? You just won't understand. What the hell? What the flip? It's called the Italian. It's like, it's kind of like the new wave. It's raining. I... Wait, this is terrible. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Why would you make this move? I have no... Uh, I've never seen this before in my life. Have you haven't seen Bond C4? No. It's a classic move. It's not a classic move. <laughs> it's a classic move. Nobody makes Everybody this move. Everybody does this. Nobody does this. Right? Everyone does this. Literally nobody Picard does this. does it. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And he's good, he does it. No, he's coping right now. No. <sighs> kind of embarrassing, but, you know. It's not embarrassing. A little bit. It's literally not embarrassing. It's very not embarrassing. Okay. okay. What the fuck is this <laughs> shit now? Body four. Can you not troll me, please? No, it's good because I set up a defense. I stop you from pushing forward, and I can develop my bishop. Who cares about your stupid ass bishop? <laughs> I'm, keeping, I'm keeping the attack in the center. You're so stupid, dude. Honest to God, you're so stupid. I've never played chess before. <laughs> you're so stupid. Wait, there, why is there a timer when we're going to abort? That is so stupid. It's, it's pressuring me to make a move. <laughs> This is fucked up. That this doesn't is make so any sense. Up. There's already a timer. It, exactly. Why did you turn on the abortion setting? I didn't turn on the abortion setting. <laughs> what are you talking about? The hell are you fat? Did not turn on the abortion <clears throat> setting. Oh, I see what you're going to do. I understand now. Okay. Now <laughs> oh, I see. She's got the fucking arrows. Okay, I see. I see. Um, I forget which one I'm going to move here. Let's just do this guy. Yeah, you look good. The wheel. <laughs> it's called the wheel variation. <laughs> You know. Sorry. <laughs> Why the fuck did I do that? You know? Why did I make this move? That's a great question. Yeah. You know, it's one of the ones, it's, it's one of the timeless ones, but maybe only I know. Mm. You know? It was a pretty embarrassing shot. It's not embarrassing. She's gotten nothing on me. It's literally... She was, she was lost from turn one. I'm not lost. I'm literally biding my time for a counterattack <laughs> as we speak. She's gonna be aborted. I'm literally... I'm just, I'm just waiting, honestly. You're playing right into my hands. It's actually kind of embarrassing how much you're playing yeah. into my hands No, right you now. take way too long, but whatever. No, you're playing into my hands at the moment. Okay, I already see what you're you doing. You just look at it. I already see what you're doing, you know? You really just no, don't I see what you're doing. No, I see it. I see your move. Just really don't understand. No, I see your move. I see it. Yeah. I see what you're doing. I mean, it makes sense, you know, if you're an amateur, I guess. But you know, not me. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't fall for anything like that. Yeah, you would never. Never. Honest to God. Um, can you not look at my board? I'm not looking at your. You're. Board. <laughs> 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 can you? So I'm just trying, I to get a, <laughs> trying to get, trying to get a competitive advantage. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a bit of an advantage here. Yeah, you, you know? got your mic covering yours, so. Oh, really? Nice. That was strategic. Yeah, I, I put the mic here. Anymore. I put the mic here so you wouldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm thinking. Stop distracting me, please. It's actually really annoying <laughs> that you're just constantly distracting me. I think you're just keep, like, can you please stop distracting me? <laughs>
Can you hurry up, please? We don't have all day. I'm not getting younger over here. But why do you get my sons? <laughs> How is that fair? You know I play better when I have music, so this is like extra fucked up. Yeah, well, there's no music playing, so. Oh, I turned it off accidentally. Yeah. Oh, accidentally. one second. Sorry, let me just put the music back on. Sorry. For the for the stream, I forgot about that. Oh, I meant to check the disc. I meant to check Discord. That's what I'm asking you. Wait, that's not my phone. How's your sorry? How's your new iPhone? It's great. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna quickly check because I meant to. I said I would. Do you want the headphones? Oh, they? okay. On the camera, add filter. Apply what? I actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm sorry. We're playing a one-hour game. No, no. I just put a timer. I just, I didn't want the timer to like affect the moves for a minute, for a second, just because I have to get afforded. I just have shit to do here. Sorry. On the camera, add filter. Apply what and choose the one I sent. That should make it less white. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. This is the wrong thing. What the fuck is this opening? I don't know. She played some whack shit and it confused me. She doesn't know. I, I haven't she been, I've only shit. been practicing black, or I've only been practicing white openers. So, I don't fucking know, dude. Like, what do you want from me? It's fucking colonizer. I okay, swear. let me just go to, on the camera, filter, <clears throat> sorry. Audio video filter, add filter. What? To poison tip. Apply what? And choose the one I send. Dark and somber. Okay. Rise. Downloads. Dark and somber. Dot. Oh my god. This is. This no. Is no way. This is, this is terrifying. Okay, maybe a little bit, like just like, you know. What does task three alpha mean? What does that mean? This is so edgy, the goth girls. Use the sliders to use the slider to adjust. Okay, let's just do like, you know what? It's like slightly better, you know? Clock is ticking, but. Um, okay, Nothing. well, I was just working on stream stuff. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Don't give it, you, you're, you can't give it, we're both playing each other. You I'm can't give, no, no, someone in chat giving advice. I'm not looking. Someone in chat giving advice. Like you, can't, you can't give hints. Okay, that's fucked up. Can we not backseat chess, please? Yeah, can we not backseat, please? What are you doing right here? Did you fuck up? Are you stupid, no. by the way? Are you fucking dumb? You're the one who's taking fucking three. Are you dumb with this? What are you doing this night? Thanks. Are you, are you stupid? What the hell is your play? <laughs> it's really stupid. Are you stupid? Maybe you're just washed up. I thought you told me you were like a child prodigy at this game. Yeah. But I think you're actually. Oh man. Okay. All right. Okay. Well. How embarrassing for you. <laughs> for me. Blundered a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> you know how scared I was. I was like, she's gonna be like a crazy player. I'm thinking I, in my head like she's gonna be like the child fucking I prodigy. I told you. I don't fucking play this game. I thought you were gonna be a good child. I thought you were doing some crazy shit. I am embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I thought you were doing some crazy fucking high level play. Literally like five minutes per turn. Five minutes per turn. Oh my fucking god, you're so stupid. Honest to god. Honestly. Um Okay. Oh, you would put a knight there. I would put a knight there? Yep. It's very good. <laughs> Let me just this time just looking at your board real quick. Yep. We play like drunk toddler. <laughs> can we not? Can we? Can you guys we not? don't understand. You don't understand. Like truly, you guys don't. I can be anyone in this game. I can be any or any time. You know, I'm dangerous. Okay, like, well, one of us is being honest here. I'm dangerous. You know, you don't. You don't understand. I got. I got moves. Yeah. I got moves for days. Yeah, after like five minutes of looking at the board. I'm thinking. Yeah. Sometimes I think. Sometimes I think my play is three. I don't know if you ever do that. Sometimes. Maybe you should. Maybe you wouldn't have lost your queen if you if you thought your play is three. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe you wouldn't have just hung your queen to, to die. You know. Okay. That was a, that was a very interesting move. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't. You know. I think. <laughs> I think it was quite a quite an interesting move. You would think that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I do think it was an interesting move. Yeah. Kind of liked it. You know. 
-hmm. It's good for me. <laughs> you would think that. <laughs> if it's unhinged. <laughs> it's not for you. I love like people in chat like giving like someone in chat giving real genuine like chess advice. <laughs> Throw the book out the window, okay? Get rid of the book at this point. All my train you know it feels like my training is paying off, it's what this feels like. It feels yeah. like my practice actually paid off. I bet it would feel like now that. I can embarrass a small child at chess. Mm -hmm. Finally I'm good enough to just make you know just embarrass someone. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck were you doing? Expect that one, did you? I mean, I you know, I, I definitely did not, but you know. You just have to learn to expect the unexpected. Current EO rating, um, we're one playing each other million. right now. So, let me move the chat. Let me move you, chat. I'm gonna move you guys. Yeah, you're distracting me. No, I'm gonna move you like over to this side, because um, then you can maybe see more of Raven. And we'll put this like, you know, the thing is blocking your face here. Let's do like this, like here. I think that's best. I just, I want people to see your beautiful face. There we go. We're at zero. We're, we're not at zero, okay? It says right here that I am 643 Iwo. Oh, you can't even fucking read that. It's so tiny. Yeah. Did you make a move yet? No. Nope. I'm thinking. Oh my god. Just really Let understand. me just look at my watch here. Wow. Look at the time. Yeah, make a... It's the music that's throwing me off, really. It's the music? Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> way. There's no shot. Way. There's no way. You're, you're, you're kidding right now. Hmm. How do I want to crush... How do I, I want to hand you a crushing defeat? Maybe like this. Maybe with this play. You're not going to see this one coming. Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? Ooh. Are you... Check. Yeah. Check? Yeah. You're in check? Yeah. You got nothing on me is the thing. Ooh, oh yeah? Well yeah. look, now that you've moved your king, I think I will take your rook. <laughs> I always sacrifice the rook. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like It's all coming to play. It's all coming. <laughs> it's all I always sacrifice all my All my machinations are coming together mm -hmm. at long last. Yeah. You're Long not gonna run. see this coming. Bitch, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? What? What is? What? What is going on? What is going on? What are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Can you not check your phone, please, for hints. Yeah, I won't. You're cheating. No, I'm not cheating. Now would be the time to throw a chess piece at me. <laughs> Never saw Ooh, that I didn't see that coming at all. Oh my god. Wow. That was crazy. That was actually like a crazy play. I yeah. didn't see it coming at all. I was thinking like at least two steps ahead. I hate you sometimes. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. <clears throat> well, you didn't want my knight, so well, I guess I'll finally just take a knight now. Let's get rid of him. Let's take a knight now. He's fine. He, he can leave. <clears throat> curious, curious. Can you speak up, please? For yeah. the mic so they can hear you? Curious. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> can you guys hear us okay? Or are we a little quiet? How's the volume levels? Should I turn the music down? I don't know how the volume is. Because we're a little bit further than normal from the mic. Ooh. Are you pinned? Volume is good. We're fine. Nice. You got me pinned? That's... Yep. Do you even know what a pin is? No. Well, that's that's not a pin, okay? That's not a pin. Okay, whatever. I'm just saying. Okay. What are you gonna do about this one? Ooh, that was embarrassing. What are you gonna do about this one? Embarrassing for you. Is it rolling? Yep. Why would it be embarrassing for me? Um. Explain yourself. <laughs> I see you in chat. What's what? next, chat, please? <laughs> what are you talking about? Can you not ask the chat you for advice? You actually sound crazy. <clears throat> Let me think. Let me think. Shank, 
got nothing on my chat. <laughs> I got nothing on me. I got plenty on you. I got nothing. Okay. I got plenty. Um. Um. Yeah. Or. No, I think this is fine. And she has no idea what she's doing. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I'm doing something. Okay. Mm -mm. Wow, you're already, you know, you're putting me in a tight spot here, Raven. Yeah. She Whoa. really thinks she owns I'm actually, whoa, I'm sweating right now. Oh my god, did you plan this? Did yep. you plan this from the beginning, Raven? Yep. From the very beginning? Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, I might not have been typing in your chat, but I was watching your streams, okay? That is... I know your prep. I that studied. is crazy. That is so crazy. Oh my god, you almost got me. Yeah, almost. Almost. You know, not quite though. <laughs> nice try, kiddo. But not quite good enough. You see that chat? <laughs> got her on the ropes. Yeah. Look at the time difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to play like a speed one? Do you want to play blitz or something after? Like we have to, we have yeah. three minutes total. After, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then we, we'll, we'll, we'll make so many misplays because we'll just be, we'll have to like throw mm -hmm. our shit out. Oh, <gasps> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, oh, never mind. That, that seemed worse than it was. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seemed worse than it really was. Um. Oh my goodness. What is my plan? Why am I? I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart in the last three minutes here. It's a little embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing. It's actually kind of really, you know, very embarrassing. You know? It's actually one of those, like, very embarrassing moments for me. This is where I suck at this fucking game. On God. On Jod, bro. Let's do. Let's see how you. Let's see how you handle this. Let's see how you handle this. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you were super tired. I had to take like a multi-minute break <laughs> to fucking do some stream shit. Okay. So chill. Cut me some fucking slack. Also. In the first like three minutes, she was doing some dumbass stuff. She was doing <laughs> some are you talking some about? dumb shit, and I'm thinking she's gonna like do some crazy opening that I've never seen before. The check meets you in like four turns or something. <laughs> <laughs> playing with my foot. I don't know the move. I'm not playing with my foot at all. I don't know the move. I'm not good enough at this game to like know how to turn this very clear winning position <laughs> into a win in like three moves. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I can draw this. No, you can't. There is no, there is no drawing this. I can draw this. There is no drawing this. It's not hard. Drawing can only happen between two evenly matched opponents. Yeah. Which, I'm sorry, but. Or like if a really good opponent was fighting a really bad opponent and they just like try to like lower themselves to okay. their level. Nice fucking copium. Nice copium. <laughs> Thank you. Did you make a move yet? Nope. I'm gonna fall asleep, dude. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pass that. Uh. Yeah. Are you Googling? <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> Googling. <laughs> Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Draw moment. It's not a draw moment. It's, there's no draw here. I'm telling you right now. There is yeah. no draw. Because I'm gonna win. You're not gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm telling you right now, you're not winning. It's not happening. You call me the chess. Wait, why the fuck did I do that? Nice, very nice bulge. Hi, hun. I'm not in here often, but I hope your stream goes well, sweetie Exelmia. I had an idea in my brain, but I forgot about it. This has been such a good stream. This is an excellent stream. It's a pretty epic one. Ooh, just kidding. I didn't forget about it at all. <laughs> you fucking imbecile. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that was not really a great move. <laughs> not really a great move by me, but you know. I mean, we traded while you up, so it's not bad for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of... It's just like... I'm kind of terrorizing I you right now. I just kind of more of you. Can we not? With that kind of like, wording, please? For that <laughs> language? Mm -hmm. Really rude that you would say that. Find me. See what happens. Yeah. See what fucking happens. Touch one of my pieces and see what fucking happens. <laughs> the queen to, is here. I don't need to touch your piece of stone. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> can I just fucking. Can I just do some bullshit over here? Just get the fuck out, please. Thank you. <laughs> Embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. It's actually yeah, very whatever the opposite of embarrassing is. Yeah, you would say. What that. the fuck is the opposite word to embarrassing? Like art embarrassing? Yeah, it's that exactly. M? No, because it's emigrate, immigrate. So it would be embarrassing instead of embarrassing. That's that's what it means when you're not embarrassed. This is embarrassing right now. No, it's not. Why would you hope I lose? I'm the streamer. You should be rooting for me, you fuckers. You should be you should be hoping that I win against the the fucking usurper. No, they love me. <laughs> no. They love me. No they don't. Yeah they do. I mean can you can you not, please? Ooh. Looks like a free piece for me. <laughs> you know, what can I say? I always take free pieces. <laughs> I knew you'd do that right into my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we should like fucking. I should have got. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is your plan here? She doesn't know chat. What is your plan? She here? doesn't know chat. What is going on? She literally doesn't know chat. I, of course I know. I know lots of things. She doesn't know chat. I know plenty of things. She doesn't know. No, I know. She doesn't know. I know lots of things. She doesn't know. I know too many things. Maybe maybe a little bit too much sometimes. Sometimes I just think I'm a little bit too smart for my own good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trans chess players should be able to use the king and queen interchangeably. <laughs> Honestly, true. I agree. Very true. Um, can you stop looking at my board, please? Yeah. Thank you. Really throw me off my game right now. Just stop. I'm looking at my screen. No, you're okay. Well, I'm just looking really intensely at my screen. I'm trying to study the board. Can you not distract me, please? Well, part of my method. Okay. That's all you're too, but it's <laughs> down on me. Fucking right. method. That's because I'm just. I'm part of my game is psychological. That was me rounding down, by the way. Part of so the, part, part, it, part so. of my part of my game is psychological. You know, that's how I like to play. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Which I like. Why you're so worried. I like to play a psychological okay. game a little bit. You know, it's one of my things that I do. What I am literally I... started off with a blunder just so that I give you a chance. Literally, sometimes I just play psychological. You know, I just like to play. It's just mind games. Just mind games. Mm -hmm. Just mind games. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the fuck just happened there? <laughs> right into my hands. How did that make any sense? Right into my hands. How the fuck did that make sense? Wait, that made no sense. What the hell? That's bullshit. <laughs> take it back. Take that move back. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> Don't take it back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Oh. <sighs> okay. All right. You're making me sweat right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me sweat. You're making me work for this win, you know what I'm saying? You're making me earn this victory. How do I win from this position? It's like not possible. There's like no good moves for me. It's crazy. How are there no good moves for me you when I'm You can definitely up? win. Really? Yeah. I don't see it. I don't see the move. I don't know if I'm just dumb. I don't see a move. No, you can win in three turns. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at the chat, though. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. You're so dumb. 
I'm actually truly t d Tom. F I'm dumbfounded. You're Tom Ford. I'm dumbfounded. Okay. There's just there's no way for me to lose. I know. I see. I see your whole thing here. I don't care though. Oh, you see my. Whole I see thing. your thing here, but I just don't care about it. If you do it. Yeah, you wouldn't. I know I can win if I just get another queen. So I'm just gonna do that and not think about the actual game. I like that effect. What? Nothing. That's so funny. Sometimes I'm just. I know Chad is roasting me right now for not being able to win with this <laughs> with this massive advantage, but I don't know how to win. I, that's my that's my weakness in this game. I don't know how to like check or some bullshit, you know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to check me ever. I mean. Yeah, you would do that. <laughs> what is Go wrong ahead. with you? No, ahead. It's a great no, it's a great I don't. Move. Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I hate move. you so much. <laughs> <clears throat> Ow. Okay, now I surely will not. Lose. Surely. Surely I cannot lose now. Absolutely. Surely I cannot lose. Surely. With, the, with, this Certainly, many, right. with this many pieces. Right? Certainly. Certainly not. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I'm just laughing. I can't wait to analyze this and realize how bad I was playing. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, you would do that. Of course I would do that. It's like the, good, yeah, the easy that. play. Is that not checkmate? No. Nope. How? How is that? I can do that. Oh, I see. Okay. I understand now. <laughs> All right, that was a good practice round. Why did she have two queens? Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Can I just game review that? What was the? Okay. I want to. Sorry about this, real quick. Yeah. Okay. Towards the end, I have such an insane advantage at this point. What are you talking about? Like I'm. The I'm, is like 50-50 right but now. But what I'm what I'm confused about with my own play here, I guess, is how I have such an insane advantage at this point, but I don't know how to like win. That's just how chess works. I feel like I should be able to like win in like two moves. When we get to like this part. Like, I feel like I should be able to win in like two fucking moves or some bullshit, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't find it. Maybe there wasn't a checkmate because every time I look, the evaluator keeps telling me like points, but it's not actually telling me like. There's there's nothing pops up here that says like checkmate. But I mean I missed apparently a crazy. Po okay, here is where there's apparently a checkmate. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Play a friend. Okay, we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play bullet mm -hmm. or blitz. Basically, the way it works is every time you make a move, you get one second, or every time you make a move, you get, you get two more seconds. Whatever you want. Do you want the longer or the shorter one? Longer, I guess. Longer one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. As long as you turn off abortion mode. I I think it's just the first two moves or something. Oh yeah, now I get to play my real game. Finally, I get to play my Finally, game. I get to play my real game. Oh yeah. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yeah. You would. I'm waiting for this. You would. She pre-moved. It's because I, you know, this is my game that I play. Yeah, I kind of forgot we were doing blitz. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, interesting play from Raven.com. Wow, what a really interesting play by you. What a what a very interesting play. I got two minutes, forty six seconds. Two minutes, forty six seconds. Forty three. Can you stop with? Can you? Stop, you're putting pressure. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, um, it's fine. Just go at any time. I'm throwing. I'm sanding it. We're full sanding it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really interesting play there, but whatever. What? How oh, is it an interesting play? It's just interesting. It I wasn't an interesting. It wasn't a bad play. I thought it was a little interesting. But... No, it wasn't a bad play. What are we fine? Wait a second. 
Oh no, it was a terrible play. Oh, oh. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> It's so yeah. Jover, dude. So fucking it's Jover. It's not Jover. It's a little Jover right now. But, you know, it's fine. Here, you can have that one as well. Be careful. Why would I be careful? It's just be careful which one you take as well. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, good play. Good player alert. I know. Good player alert. Yeah, I know. How are you so smart? I played this game my whole life. Really? Mm hmm. That makes no sense. Have you ever heard of Shogi? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the Japanese version of chess. Have you, you played play Shogi? Them? Yeah. Really? I started playing. You know the reason I started playing chess? Because I started watching an anime about Shogi. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's called March Comes In Like a Lion. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's by this really depressed guy. You play Shogi. He reminds me a lot of me. Yeah. Because I'm also. Because you play Shogi. No, I'm also really depressed. Oh. But, you know. Ooh, you fell right into my trap. Also, hurry up. So TikTok, story, TikTok, TikTok. You got less time than me. Oh boy. TikTok. Yeah, I don't mind. Really? Yeah, I don't mind. Because you, 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 you know, you blunder a lot when, you, when you're out all the time. No. Nope. It's something I noticed about you. It's one of your things that you do a lot. I've never been the one time. Really? Because you're, you're lower than me right now. You're actually like, like significantly less than me. As a percentage of overall time, it's like actually yeah, insane. Well. Affect the difference. Really? Really now? Is your 50, 50. <laughs> hmm, Curious, curious. Mm hmm. Quite, quite curious. Quite curious. Yeah. You little fucker. <laughs> you little fucking. You little home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> you home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> shogi is more difficult. Yeah, you know Shogi? Have you played Shogi before? Yeah, I've played it before. Really? Yeah. You know Shogi? You can use the pieces you take from other people. You can put them back on the board. So yeah. theoretically, you could have an infinitely long game. Mm -hmm. Because you would keep putting the pieces yeah, back. but I wouldn't because I just won. Oh, well, I mean, you're going to run out of time. Just right. so you know, you're going to run out of time. So. Ooh. <laughs> Common mistake. I don't know if I should punish you for that one. Yeah, you know. Sometimes yeah. you gotta undevelop. Sometimes you gotta turn left. Sometimes right. you just put a piece like that and then you just put it right back and act like you, you know what <laughs> I mean? Sometimes you have to. Have you ever watched Cars? Cars, like the movie? Um, I think so. Yeah, there's a part where Doc, he says, sometimes you gotta turn left to go right. That doesn't make any sense. Sometimes you gotta turn that go makes left. No sense. Sometimes you have to turn oh, left God. to go right. The way I was sitting was crushing my See, bones. it didn't make sense to Lightning McQueen. Okay. I'm... <laughs> well, in but... a lot of ways, I am kind of like the Lightning McQueen of my yeah, generation. Yeah, but he learned. I'm kind of like the Lightning McQueen of my generation. The chat knows what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I'm like the Lightning McQueen of my generation. You would say that. Yeah. Yes. I would, of course I would say that. Yeah. It's like my thing. Yeah. Why did I do that? What was that move by me? What was the point of that? You just wanted what to get your horse in there. No, but I sh there was no reason for me to do that. That was terrible. That was the worst possible play in the history of fucking gamers, okay? I hate you. I hate you, Ruben. I don't hate you. I just, you know. You just hate yourself, and you're taking it out on No, that's not true. 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 Yeah, if I had your level of skill in chess, Shut I'd hate myself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you dumb broad. <laughs> Shut the hell up. 48 seconds. That's I crazy. have plenty of time. Yeah, do you? Of course I have plenty of time. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you just take the piece that was free? I nope. understand you. I gotta develop my neck. No. <laughs> you just don't get it. Okay. You fine. don't understand my chess prowess. Okay, well, I mean... 40 seconds. I understand plenty of things, okay. I okay. should stop telling you, just so you forget the time. And I don't, like I'm not gonna forget this fucking time, Ruben, okay? Yeah. I think I'm pretty good yeah. on my yeah. time. I'm pretty yeah. chill, I'm chilling on my yeah. time here. Yeah. I'm chill. You got 28 <laughs> seconds, by the way. Yeah. Okay, good. Good thing you remembered. I was worried you were gonna forget. I don't forget. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes. Never forget. Yeah? 9-11.
Can we please? Some people haven't forgotten about that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's kind of the point. It's really funny to say. I don't know why. That was like the funniest thing I've ever said in my life. Ooh, yeah, sorry. Weird. You're making blunders because you're going on time now. Now you don't see it's what's happening. True. You don't see what's happening right in front of your eyes. It's not true. It's very true. It's not true. Ooh, embarrassing. Embarrassing. Of course not. Extraordinarily not didn't see that coming, did you? What do you mean? I didn't see that coming. Of course, I saw that coming. I was I was prepared for that. How I was did you see that coming? I expected you to. That was the play I expected you to make. So I don't know what your thing is. is. I don't know what your deal is right now. Is it really? Of course it is. You're gonna run out of time. You better not time mine. Okay. I'm not gonna run out of time. Okay, because you know, I want to savor this win. win. Everyone's gonna run out of time. <laughs> I want to savor this win. <laughs> you know, I want to savor it. Yeah. I'm just like an actual like, crazy good boy there. But. <laughs> yeah, this is an easy one. Um. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do? Um. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna um, do? Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. I tend to blunder when I'm not. Okay. It's kind of like, <laughs> okay. That's we, the thing about me. Okay. So we're gonna do a new. Wait, not yeah. sorry. Let me do new game. New game. We're gonna do a new game. And we're I forgot do, we were doing blitz as the thing. We're gonna do one one. So each play gives you one second. Yeah. And there's one minute total. Yeah. To play. Oh, so the there's no play. The thing is, you have a mouse, so you can move faster. But it's okay, cause like, um, I'll just adapt to it. Are you sure? Do you want to watch? Do you want to No. Watch? No, I don't need it. Okay, so you have to play quick, okay? Fire it off, just go crazy. Yeah. I did the complete wrong move here. But... Yeah, you did. You always do. Um... Sometimes you gotta not think. Sometimes you gotta just play from the heart. Sometimes you gotta turn left to go right. <laughs> that makes no sense, Raven. It makes it perfect makes sense. Literally no sense. It didn't make sense to Lightning McQueen, and it does it make makes sense literally to you. No sense. Oh, your pawn structure is messed I'm up. I'm double pawn. But you didn't know that. Double that you didn't know that up. that exists. Pawn structure. You meant to pay I attention to that. I did know that exists. Pay attention. I did You're know. not paying attention. You're, losing. You're running out of time. I am paying attention. <laughs> You're running out of time. Ooh. 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 You should have taken with the double pawns. You would have unfucked your pawn structure. But I would have refucked. I'm going to refuck it. You're going to refuck it? I would have refucked it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well. All right. Well, I'm castling. So nice. Yeah. Try to get me. I'm Try your best. Try your best to get me. You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna get you. You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna get you. You're not getting me. I'm getting you. You're not getting me. It's kind of embarrassing, but yeah, it's not happening. It is what it is. What are you trying to do with that move? What does that try? To, what does that do? Don't what does that, what does that do? think about it. What were you? What was your? What was going through your mind? Nothing. Nothing was going through your mind. Your eyes are glazed over right now. Yeah, what about that? You even know. You even know where you are that? right now. Uh, what about that? Uh, what about, uh, what about, what about, um, I knew you'd do um that. uh, what about this? I knew you'd do that move. Yeah, well, no, you didn't. Yep. No? Nope. Yep. I don't think so. Yep. Oh, yeah? You think that's gonna get me? You yep. think I haven't seen that move literally hundreds of times? I've seen that move before, okay? And it always turns out the same Just way. Just running away. It always goes the same way every time. Running it goes away. the same, it goes the same way every time. Yeah. See what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm ready for you. Didn't expect Ooh, that. I did not expect that one. I'm gonna be real with you. We have. I can't, oh shit, we're running out of time. We actually have to play quick. Oh, boy. What the fuck just happened there? Yeah, what did happen? There? What did happen there? What the flip? What else flip? Oh, I knew you'd do that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that. of course I would do that. Embarrassing. It's not embarrassing at all, actually. A little bit. Not even a little bit embarrassing. A little bit. Okay. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, it's so Jover. Dig the time it. thing is so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the time thing is so fucked. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> this quick. Yeah. Oh, this is where you are gonna lose to the yeah. thing being. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know anymore, dude. <laughs> oh, you missed it. No, I didn't. No, you did. You completely missed it. You completely whiffed. Completely whiffed. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. I fucking hate you. Why? Because you're being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm being very not mean right now. Oh, you missed it. Didn't. Yeah, you did. GG's. <laughs> I ran out of time! This game sucks! Rematch! <laughs> fucking rematch. That was the easiest game. Fucking rematch. <laughs> okay, fuck off. Yes. You literally- I ran out of time. I, I was in a winning position. I- I was running out of time, but the thing was, I had to use this tiny little trackpad, and it's- Can we, can we, can no, we swap? I don't for, need to please? swap. But I- for the- okay. Why? I just wanna- I wanna see what it feels like, so I know how much pity- Because right now I have pity for you, and that's weakening my play. I don't wanna have pity for you. Okay. I want- so- okay. I don't, cause yeah. I, all right, because I, I don't want to play with pity in my heart. Uh huh. So, all right. Are we not gonna swap chairs? No, I'm just getting closer. Okay, whatever. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. This is actually even better than it was before. Yeah, I mean, Sorry it's kind this. of a weird angle, but I'm just gonna... Oh my god, my tip might fall out here. You can just pull that like behind. Yeah, like that. Thank you. All right. It's kind of a weird angle, and I can't see every square, but it's okay. Can you not? Uh, now I can. Now you can? Okay. Yeah, it's the square. Okay, rematch. You ready? Yeah. Right? You, you're for, you're move. It's your move. No, it's not. I'm... You're white. No. You, now you're, now you're on the, the screen. I'm E for B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're E for B. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? You're just trying to get your yellow up. No. You would. Of course I would. Oh, you fell right through my trap. Did I? Yeah, you did actually. You don't. Ha you can't even develop anything. That was such a blunder. No, it wasn't a blunder. That was, that was so part of my trap. You. Now you have double stack pawn. You stupid. That's like the most. That's like one of the oldest tricks in the book. Oh, and now I just. You didn't see it. I can't believe you didn't see it. It was on passant there. I had it. That's fine. I don't need to on passant. Really? <clears throat> you gotta lose the pawn. Nice try, but you're lacking uh, critical information here. Uh huh. Uh, what are you gonna do about this? Um, that. Mm. A little you bit thought. too easy for me. You thought. Of course, I no, I didn't think didn't at all. Didn't think. I didn't think at all. Yeah. I just play on instinct, you know. I'm just a bond. I'm just a ball of adrenaline right now. Mm -hmm. The fuck is that move? What is that meant to accomplish? Hmm? Yeah. You ever it's meant to protect this one pawn right here. You ever ask yourself what? what it's meant to protect ever, this pawn. Do you ever think about your moves before you make them, Raven? Have you ever considered that? Is that what you're supposed to do? Um, sometimes I do it, but sometimes I don't. You're gonna get aborted. Oh, I am. Oh shit. Um, um, um. Why is there abortion in this game? No, it's not. I was gonna. I'm gonna time out anyway. Kanye would be upset. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Saying you would be. <sighs> Finally. Finally? Finally. Finally what? I was waiting for that. You were waiting for that? I was waiting for your voice to get there. I don't think you were waiting there. for that. I don't think you were waiting for I that. I was all. the whole time. No, I don't think you were waiting for that at the all. The whole time. Yeah, I just wanted to trade that. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, truly, really, and truly. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Is something laughing? funny to you? Okay. Yeah. Whatever, bro. GG's. Whatever. Okay. GG's. I'm gonna win on time. And you had the fucking keyboard. Am I? I wasn't looking at the tire. I was. Of I course. thought I was Raven from the <laughs> Raven <G>. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was Raven on Chessman Player. Okay, okay. Here's the new part. We're gonna play the same thing again. <laughs> But the rules are now, the new rules, you just yeah. fucking sand it every move. Don't even, don't think, okay? Just fucking sand it from move one, okay? Okay. You ready? I might. You ready? I'm bottom. You're bottom? Okay, let's fucking go. Yeah, you would. Yep. Oh, you didn't see the Queen's Gambit. Oh, that was see. classic, classic blunder. You're literally double cheeked up right now. <laughs> yeah. Classic blunder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I knew you wouldn't see that. Ooh. I was planning on that from the beginning. It's one of the first things I thought about when I made this play. Yeah, you would. It's one of the first things I you saw coming. Think. I saw this coming. Before you did. I foresaw this. I foresaw this. <laughs> you saw it. I fucking foresaw this. <laughs> we had you're so you're really hacking. Oh, what you're really hacking. Oh, wait, that was your move. Oh, wait, what the fuck? What a what the fuck? What a flick. Ooh. 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 Amogas. Amogas. Ooh, it's over. No, it's not. Oh, read him and weep. <laughs> read him and weep. <laughs> <laughs> Must be really it's, you know what? It's honestly just starting. Actually, I'm just getting started. I'm like, oh, snuck in, snuck in. I didn't I'm like see the that one. James. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> the goat of goats. I'm like the goat of goats. Ooh, Ooh. I saw that coming. Ooh. I already pre-moved that tick. Ooh, I already yeah. moved that one in advance. Ooh. What are you gonna do about this? Hmm? That, that. <laughs> well. <laughs> You fell right into my trap. Yeah. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> this is incredible. All right, one more go. One more go? One okay, more one go. more, one more. One more go. Okay. One more. Just one more. All right, one more. I'll do one more. Uh, we don't have to ooh. send them. We don't have to send them? We don't have to send them. Well, I'm, I might send them anyway. Well, if that's your forte. That's one of the things that I do a lot of, actually. <clears throat> I'd be sending a lot. Yeah, you'd be sending yeah. Fuck you. Dumbass. Yeah. Fucking dumbass bitch. Fucking scraggly ass hoe. <laughs> Don't let me fucking catch you around these parts again, okay? That's what I said to your bishop right there. <laughs> Don't let me fucking see you around these parts ever again. Did I expect Ratchet that? Ratchet ass bitch. Of course I expected that. Did you? Of course I did. Really? Of course I saw that coming. I foresaw this from the very beginning. I don't know if you did. Ooh, give me that piece. Give me that piece. Oh, why would you do that? What the yeah. fuck? That's not fair. Why would you, you do that? I think that was a good move. Of course I did. Yeah, of course you did. I think a lot of things, you know? Yeah. Oh, that was actually falling from my trap, though. I don't, think you, I don't think you realized that, but I actually foresaw that from the very beginning. Sometimes you gotta go right to go left. That doesn't make any sense, Riven. It makes <laughs> it literally no sense. Riven, that makes no fucking sense. Lightning McQueen, he tried to turn Who right. Who the fuck is Lightning McQueen? He tried to turn right, but the track was too steep. Who is he? <laughs> and he went off course. Who the fuck is he? Sometimes you have to turn left. Just to turn right. That doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. Oh, I saw that coming. You're not even thinking. I foresaw that one. <laughs> I knew that. I knew You're you'd make that play. Thinking, I knew you'd make that play. I'm just on brain. pure instinct. I'm playing on pure instinct right now. I'm just a ball of fucking adrenaline at the moment. Yeah, you would be. Yeah, of course I am. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm just going. I'm just I'm going. I'm gaming right yeah, now. Yeah, you would be. Of course I am. I've always been a gamer. It's been one of the things that I've been known to do. Yeah. I have been known to video games. What are you gonna do about that? What am I gonna do about what now? It fits what about that? What about this? Yeah. What are you gonna do about this? What are you gonna do about this? I don't need the horsey. You're fucking Bitch. stupid. I don't need it. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever you fucking say, you lunatic. You lunatic woman. Yeah. Didn't need it. Didn't of course need you it. fucking needed it. Okay, well. Remember, the mouse Raven, sensitivity is so low. <laughs> is it really? Is it too low for you? It's so low. Do you play with higher mouse sensitivity than this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I need it. Really? My brain just moves faster than, than cycling. Wait, hold on. Because you're, you're doing like stuff like this, but like it's not that hard to do no. like no, 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 no. big moves. It's got to be more sensitive so I can, I can do tiny adjustments and like, like bam, you know? Do you think that would help my hand? Because I have a sore wrist sometimes. I think I'm moving my mouth too much. Maybe. I can up the sensitivity. I, pray, I I like to have low sensitivity. I don't know. Let's see what this button. Um, this I think it maybe might be the middle button. Might up it a little bit. I think I set it to be like pretty similar at every at every speed. So if I accidentally press this button while I was gaming, 
I wouldn't like fuck myself over by having randomly ad adjusted. Who's my friend? It's Raven from Twitter.com. <clears throat> Raven on chess from Twitter. Raven on chess from Twitter. Raven on chess from Twitter. She's another Twitter girl. Yeah, I've won every game so far. Do you want to shut yourself out? You want to give yourself a big shout out to my thousands of adoring fans? Not really. No. Oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. It looks yeah. so much better right where you're sitting than I am. Maybe this is just the fucked place to sit. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm just sitting in the fucked zone. You know? Are we gonna eat later? Probably, yeah. We're probably gonna have to eat. Have you eaten? I've eaten McDonald's. When? Um, when I woke up. You, you're, hold on. I wanna do this on the stream. Sorry. Look at you. You're fucking skin and bones. <laughs> you gotta fatten me up, girl. Uh, have, you, have your parents been feeding you? Nope. When, what time did you get my dollars? When I woke up. Okay, because I, I haven't eaten all day. And I, mm -hmm. I would like, probably, I want to get ramen. Of course you would. What, what do you mean, of course I would? Of course you would. What does that mean? That's nothing. What does that fucking mean? It's nothing, it's just... Do you like ramen? Uh, Ugh, fuck me. No. Sorry for swearing. Oh my god, I sat on my goddamn leg. <sighs> what are we doing now? I don't know. Now that we're done chess. What's the vibe? What's the, what's vibe? the vibe? Chat, right what's now? the vibe right now? Chat, what's the vibe right what's now? What's the vibe right now? Let me just check. Ooh. Ooh. That's Raven. What? That's you. That's your fault. <laughs> Listen, oh nobody God. was here when I joined because you, you left the street. Oh, yeah, true. I did. I went onto the street. For like, yeah. I was like a woman of the night walking yeah. in the fucking street wearing this outfit. People were like three guys were like, hey, girl, how much you cost? They did. How much for, tw how much for 20 minutes? And she said $20, I which I thought say. was like really low. <laughs> <laughs> not I, I was, I like. I did not say $20. I thought it was like weird. I, I was like. Listen, I know, like, that's kind of, like, your thing, but, that's like, I have a little bit of... That is not true whatsoever. Okay. I said $60 yeah. for 20 minutes, which is $180 an hour, which is fine. It's not cheap. Yeah, whatever you say. In 20 minutes? What, what are you going to do in 20 minutes? There's no time for anything. Copium. How do people do that? Okay, here's the real talk, though. When people do like, because I did like sex, like, you know, you know me, I did it, I can only fans, you know? You do? No, not, not advertising. Um, but, you know, I, I did sexting, like, a, it was a lot, like, a long time ago that I did it. But, like, one thing, I, one of the reasons I stopped doing it was because, like, it takes, like, people, like, 10 minutes just to get the confidence to, like, message you something, <laughs> you know? So, like, you like, do, like, sexting or something with someone, and, like, 20 minutes in, they're, like, uh, okay, I think I'm fi like they're finally getting turned on, and it's been 20 minutes, and they just spent like 30 or 40 dollars to sex you for 20 minutes, and at the very end they're not even, they're not even in it, you know? They're done, like they're not oh. even like the time's up, and it felt bad. I felt bad for people. I was like, bro, paid for this, mm -hmm. and he he didn't even get over his anxiety. <laughs> like so he didn't even get through his anxiety by the end. And then I would end up like feeling guilty, so I would, you know, I would spend like an extra like five or ten minutes or something. And then I was like, this is so... Are we transgender? I think we're... I think, what does the title say? We're two tram, trans, we're transgenders. transgenders. We're transgenders. No more, close enough, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> close enough. Um, yeah. But I would always feel bad. And then I would like hang out like an extra like ten or something minutes. But then I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? For twenty fuck like for you know, for yeah. like thirty dollars or something. I, so the only way I felt good about it was I'd have to charge like a really high price mm -hmm. for a long time, and then I would just feel like shit because I don't like charging people a high price for things. Yeah, you know, it's awful. It's not a good time. Mm -hmm. You ever done sexting? No. Never. No. Not even in real life. No. Really? Raven, the mic's all yours. Tell us. Don't Tell us all know. about your sexting. Tell us. Yeah. Raven spills all in exclusive if a B interview. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Raven spills all. <laughs> We're not getting into that. I never said what type what type of trolley would call our electric. Is it, it wait, what? Because <laughs> we're trams. Oh. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> come on. Oh my god. 
So tell us, Ruben, how big is it, <laughs> really? It doesn't matter. <laughs> how big is too big? It doesn't. How big is too big? <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> I wish I could do, can I actually do an interview? You know? So Ruben, how long has it been? I'm not getting interviewed. You're not getting interviewed? That's not what I came here for. You didn't come here to get interviewed? Oh my no. God. Because I have, I prepared a bunch of questions. You did not do In that. my book right here. You see, that's In not a book. book. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go get my book? No. Do you want me to go get my book? <laughs> no. I'm going to go get my fucking book. I told you no and you're getting your book. Yeah, because I want to get this three minutes. <laughs> Two minutes to this book. <laughs> that is a good book, actually. Okay. I'm showing you. <laughs> this is the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of guys, of course, you know. They're, they're all besties. Just a couple of besties. Yeah. Nothing gay occurring at all here. Yeah, they're just like wrestling just, like, on the cover. Because that's what a besties do. <laughs> AMA, Ruben, okay? Pizza or burgers? Um, you know, I like pizza, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I, I'm also just not a fan of like, um, not, not that I'm not a fan, but just like red meat. I just try to avoid it, you know? Cows yeah. especially, I just, I don't really eat beef. I feel like pizza is like the most highly rated food ever, I feel. You think so? I think so. Well, I mean, we have the Spanish to thank for that, right? Um, um yeah. Popular. I don't think so, I think rice. No. Tops the list. The most popular foods in the you world. You Googled this in advance. You were I pre didn't pre-recorded. This. Pre-fucking recorded. No, I didn't. I swear to God. Pre-recorded. How pizza got its name. Giuseppe Noca, a respected food historian, claimed that the world's first the word pizza first appeared in a document dating back to 1997 AD. In accordance with his historian, the word was used in a village in Gaeta. <laughs> Gaeta. <laughs> north of yeah. Naples. It sounds like nipples too. It's it's like, this is a kinky country. Not how it's pronounced. Idly. Right. Yes. In the document, an heir to, to photo lord promises pizza cork to a Somehow local that one church. Was correct. Photo? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even see the screen. I was like, ta wait, who, which one is like tap tap? Which one? That's the important question. Yeah. Whoa! Can you guys just say Eva, please? Can, no, please. <laughs> Well, Tap Tap is beautiful, actually. Yeah. She's very pretty. Yeah. I wish. I wanted that for you. You wanted that for me? Yeah. You didn't want it for you? I wanted it for you. Why not for you? It kind of sounds like you. a, now it kind of sounds like an insult. No. You didn't want it for it's yourself. It's not. She's beautiful. She's it, like the hottest woman ever. It doesn't sound like a, it sounds like a, there's lightning outside. Literally, it's like, there's lightning. It's really cool. You can see it. Someone was having gay sex over there. That's why that happened. Yeah. Too much, too much adulterous <laughs> behavior going on. Okay, AMA, more AMA. Imagine being compared to transphobe supreme taftage. Listen, okay. People can have bad opinions and look <laughs> good. Like if you have the title supreme, then like I feel like you're doing great. You know. <laughs> you, know you can have bad opinions and and look very good. Tear me, tear maker. <laughs> Will you? You're the fast food enjoyer here. I don't really like fast food. I'm not. You're like, you're like, you love it. You can't get enough of it. I guess it's not me. <laughs> yeah, I eat How McDonald's. Many you okay. <clears throat> Should we just work together on this? Okay. Should we do a tier? What tier list would we be able to do, do you think, like confidently? Um, together. IQ characters tier list? I, I literally, that was the first thing I thought. Okay. We're going to do IQ characters tier list. Okay. <clears throat> IQ characters tier list. Does it have most of them? Oh, yeah, it's got all the boys. Oh, some of them are manga. Um, mm. which we, we 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 some of them are in the anime. They just have manga photos. Let me see if there's the are the twins here. That's. I think these are the twins. Yeah. But it'd be nice if they were in color. So let me find one that has them. In color. Oh, it's just the ranking of. This them. has colored ones. <clears throat> Um, I don't really see colors, so it's not like an issue to me, but okay. if it's well, like a big deal for you, then Okay. Then whatever you say. Okay. This is too many characters, isn't it? You want to yeah. just do the main characters? Yeah. Or whatever. Should we just do the one that we saw first here? This one has most of them. And if we don't know, we'll just skip it. Okay. 
Oh, does, that, does that sound good? Yeah. Are you okay, Raven? You seem a little nervous. Are you nervous, Raven? <laughs> I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? I just <laughs> don't want to do the tier list. Oh. I feel like there's easier tier list to do. Than, than the Haiku one? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? I don't know what it would be, though, is the thing. That's... So I'm not going to, like, But I thought you suggested you it. it. That's why. No, I, I got hyped because you said you were going to suggest it. No. No? No. Oh. You asked me, and I gave you my answer. What was your answer? <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> All right, where's that? <laughs> no, no, no. What were you? No, 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 no. Let's go back. I thought, I thought, maybe, maybe I misheard. I thought you said. She's S tier. No, I thought you said, no. I thought you said, we don't, they can't even see the tier list. What are you doing? Yeah. So, I thought you said that's what you were going to suggest. No. Oh, what were you going to suggest? I wasn't going to suggest anything. Well, then, okay. Well, you I'm asked the only me how one I putting doing. forward ideas. And you're not putting forward anything. I wasn't the one trying to argue against you. I wasn't telling you to change anything. <laughs> okay. Honestly, what happened? <laughs> what did we miss? Ascaron? Ascaron? I'm banning him. Oh. What happened? Brond is my best. Oh! No, I don't get it. Sorry. Don't, anyway. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What people? What's Chat. What tier list Chat. do you want to see? Do you want to ask this question? Can you give us a little bit of feedback, please? Yeah, just a little Can bit. Can you please. feed back we're, into the stream just a the, tiny bit? It's uh, it's honestly atrocious. My chats yeah. are always like this. You give them <laughs> entertainment for hours on end. Hours every day. They don't even. They don't every give day. sub. They don't donate. They don't do anything. They don't do anything. They don't even chat when you they ask. They don't them even questions. chat when I ask. What happened? Mods? Monka fucking S? Hello? <laughs> what is the, how, what is it? Monka S? How the fuck do you? Oh shit. What Mon happened? <laughs> Mon what? You? I don't even know what happened. I can look maybe. What happened? What went wrong? What went wrong? Um, uh, where are we? <laughs> Oh, can you do the uwu for me? The uwu? The uwu ready. Oh, why, don't uh, I, why don't I put this over here instead? Over here. And this one over here. And then that way, it'll be more centralized. I think that's a good idea. Are you a gamma raven? Um, I don't know. I used to be, you but used I don't to think be? anymore. You're washed up? Yeah, I'm a washed up gamer. Washed up former gamer. She used to be a bastion man. Can you believe that? I used to be a bastion. She used to be a bastion man. She was grandmaster in Overwatch. I was master in Overwatch. Grandmaster in Overwatch, like I said. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. What if we did squats? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> what if I got like I have like a nice outfit I'll pick out for you and we'll do squats together. I'm we'll not get, like, do the, that. I have like a hot tub in there like to inflate. You do not have a hot tub. We'll inflate the hot tub, we'll fill it up with water and we'll get in and we'll do like squats in the water. What do you think? I don't think <laughs> I don't think, you don't think that's that. a good idea? Okay. I'm gonna keep looking at the wrong side of the screen now. For the rest of this fucking Ah Oh my god. It's harder than it looks. Professional streamer. It's harder than it looks. Professional transgender. I am professional. I'm very professional. <clears throat> yeah. You haven't played the new one? The new Overwatch? Like Overwatch 2? Or sorry, I mean Overwatch 1.1. <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> Fucking obliterated. <laughs> Holy shit. There's so, it's it's so over for them. <clears throat> the Overwatch 2 devs are having they're they're really hard at work doing nothing ever. Literally. Okay. Can we What's <laughs> on the table tonight? Them. I don't know. Okay. 20 questions <laughs> to ask each other. Okay, you wanna just answer, do you wanna just do these ones? Yeah, let's do okay, these. Okay, they're pretty, they're pretty lame though. Yeah. If you could meet anyone in the world, alive or dead, who would it be? Um, you know, probably like Kanye West. Why? Why is cut that the, your cut, reaction? Cut the, cut the video. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, uh, editor, cut. Just cut this part out. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Um, 
Who would you do? You go first. Oh, me? We, we both answer them? Oh, okay. Are, are we I, not going to call uh, No, no, that's fine. I don't know why in my head. I thought we would just alternate, but no, it makes sense. Okay. What's the plan for tonight? We're just hanging. We're chilling. Once once we turn the stream off, we're just getting done and dirty with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Getting nasty. I don't know if that's the way we should word it, but... Well, we're going to eat ramen, and I'm going to slurp that ramen. I am so white. Oh, it's the fucking screen. That's why. The goddamn screen. Does that help? Now you're white. And I was the last white by comparison. Can we like get can we get this in like fucking dark mode? Please? Oh Play twenty questions with your partner. I know I guess you could say we're kind of partners, we're you know. Kind of partners in crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bestie. Yeah, trend. <laughs> trend. <laughs> oh god, it looks so much look, look how much better the lighting looks. Well, I mean it still looks shit, but Yeah, you oh. still look garbage. Fuck off. I hate you. <laughs> Scraggly ass bitch. <laughs> Wow, that really helped. Did that help? Incredible. It did not help, did it? <laughs> it made me say, the bee looks fine, though. The bee looks fine? <clears throat> the bee looks fine. This is impossible. I don't have any idea how to do my own fucking stream lighting, okay? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How about now? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, even better. Even better? Even better. Even better. It's so dark now. It's getting grainy in here, but that's fine. This is fine. Sure, we have a diffuser on hand. Um, um, I'm reflecting 90%. Look what happens when we open like a light thing, though. So. Okay. Oh, I know what we can do now. <clears throat> now I think this is what I need. Isn't it fucked that my lighting is so bad though? Like it's kind of messed up when you think about it. Yeah. Like I've been, I've, I, you know, you'd think I was like a streamer. Now we're in business. Now we're good. Now, now we're, we're good. good. This looks good, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. Hello, everyone. Okay. We look nice now. Maybe a little dark. Hydrate. Do you want some Powerade? <laughs> some ice cold Powerade. Yeah, some ice cold Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> She's under contract. I made this tea like six hours ago, but. I put it in my thermal Animal Crossing Whoa. flask. She's also. Do you think it's gonna be warm still? Yeah. <clears throat> Not bad. Get a thermal flask now. Animal Crossing. Yeah. I still have the filter on. Ooh, the filter. The Ooh, filter. the the goth girl filter. Ooh. Ask <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Sabrina, you're having a bad day. I remember you saying that. Sabrina, I hope you're okay. I remember you saying that. And I wanted to, I only remember now. I'm sorry. I was distracted. I hope you're feeling better. You deserve to be happy. The lighting though, is it better or worse? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure lighting out one day. You one stop day. with like your smoldering look. Like you're like doing like this. I'm trying, like, you think you're a model or something. That's not true. Have you ever been told you're, you look like a model? No. No? I don't you think so. You kind of look like a model, I think. I kind of look like half that, you know? better? <laughs> oh, the lightning. Oh, can you see the lightning? On stream? Do you think? I can see Maybe it. Maybe through that window. Ooh. Oh, lightning. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, lightning and lighting look like the same word. They so do. So I get them mixed up a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. What time is it? Let me see. It's 8 credits. 18. Okay. How much longer do you want to stress? Do you want to hang out here? <clears throat> however, however long it takes. I'm having fun, but. Yeah. What the fuck just. Go to the. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Wonderful. I just want to chat. Oh. We up. We, we up. are so up we right up. now. We up right Let's now. Let's go. All right. Um, I want to do like a. I want to do something interactive we can do together, like something fun that we can do at the same time. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. So what can we do at the same time that's interactive and fun? Um, <clears throat> that's a great question. No, we'll find Do you like discourse or something? What can we discourse about? I don't want to discourse. You don't want to discourse? Sounds awful. 
How is this story we can share on stream? Um, well, you first. <laughs> Why? It's your stream. <laughs> Why well, well, do I have nothing to talk about? <laughs> this I, just, I thought we've talked about things before. It's like a thing that we've done before. Yeah. We have talked like once or twice, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. We've been through the trenches together or what? You can say that for sure, you know? That's there was true. some there was some trench warfare going yeah. on the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But you know A little bit. Epic rave for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> rave believe. Rave No, you can't say that. You're gonna Rave. Yeah. Yeah. Rave. Epic rave for a moment. Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> epic Ethan moment. <laughs> it's like sucks. saying Ethan with a list. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Can we watch? Can we react to videos together? Yeah. Okay. I think that's where we're at our best, you know. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a, a new, new Eddie Burbeck? Marker. Yeah. Let's go. I watched like six minutes It's of time. It. You watched six minutes of it without me? No. <laughs> I've never. Okay. Well, you're cropped out of here, which is exactly what we wanted. Has Ted Nevison made his version of the video? Who the fuck is that? It's. Do you remember the Rainforest Cafe one? Yeah. So Eddie Burbeck made his video, and he went with Ted Nevison, and okay. Ted Nevison also made his video of it. Uh huh. But everyone just reacted to the Eddie Burbeck one. Ah. So you think they're gonna do the same one, and the I same thing's so. gonna happen? I like Ted Nevison's more because he was positive the whole time. Was he? Yeah. But how would you? How could you be positive? <laughs> no, you know how Eddie was like hating every second of it. Mm -hmm. and Ted was just like so happy the entire time, and he just. He'd be like smiling at the camera with the thumbs up and Eddie's just frowning in the background. <laughs> so funny. Okay. I have one problem. Yeah. That I've just realized. Yeah. How the fuck are we both going to listen at the same time? Hold on, let me get my let me get my Apple Pro AirPods. I mean I have some Do you have your AirPods? I have wireless earbuds. You have wireless that are earbuds. blue too. Are they AirPods? They're pink. They're pink? Mm-hmm. I don't think Apple makes pink. That sounds like a skill issue on their part, I feel. What the fuck? I put my thing. Yeah. Bongo! Bongo's here. Who the hell? That's my goat. That's your, that's your goat? Yeah, that's... Yeah. I hope these have batteries, because if they don't, we are in for a world of pain. We sure are. We sure are. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we'll put one in, one, one in each ear? Yeah. We will, um... We'll put one in each ear. We'll connect the speaker here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this works. You're gonna be featured on my channel often. You seem very pleasant. Yeah. Someone said. It's the left ear. The left ear. I should have. Maybe yeah. I should have told you that. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can just look and figure. Speakers. It out. Okay. Now I think I need to go actually to. Oh. Let's not show this on stream, just in case, you know. Bluetooth. Although the nice thing about getting a new computer, honestly, was it doesn't have my dad name on it anymore. My old one had my fucking dad name on it, and I couldn't get it off because all the key, all the shortcuts and stuff were all like to my dad name. Mm -hmm. So shit was fucked. Um, add device. Bluetooth. I think I might be meant, be meant to hold this time while I do this. Or maybe hold this open. Something? I don't know. I don't know. There's a way to do it. Yeah. AirPods on Windows quality. <laughs> Mike goes iPod. Can I have the ear yeah. on for a second? I wonder if they have to go in the... Um, I wonder if they have to go in the case. And then you hold the thing down or something. And then... And then I think they work like this now. Now I think they can connect. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> now you sound Favorite like you anime you're on three. One. Two. Two. Th 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 three. Three. Uh, th um, th um, uh, um, um, uh, death Note. Oh, I don't like Death Note. IQ. I, I wasn't going to say IQ. Um, okay. Da -da -da. It's all right. I can hear the song. <laughs> yeah. I hear music. <clears throat> The left ear. I don't know what my favorite enemy is. I can also hear. I don't know what my favorite enemy <clears throat> is. Okay. I just watched some Death Note yesterday. You just watched Death Note? 
Yeah. And for the first time? Bit. No, for the third time. For the third time? That's too many times to watch no, something. Because I watched it on my own and I watched it with another person and I watched it with a different other person. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Let's pause this. Let's just go quickly. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna get, just get this set up and then we're chilling. Okay. Yeah. Headphones. Okay. You can hear. Quality's a little not great, but it's doable, right? How's the volume? It's good. It's a little loud. might be quieter than the video though <clears throat> so i think you might have to get the video in. thinking to, like, is this guy really going to go to chair? every margaritaville no. in the country well technically we could try the title is a lie because i'm um, going to every margaritaville in the country and canada margaritaville a tropical okay, beach themed yeah. restaurant yeah. chain yeah. created by america's okay, no, greatest no. singer songwriter <laughs> no, james william buffett we're, we're aka Jimmy Buffett. Now, if you don't know get Jimmy the other Buffett chair, because then let me catch you up before we hit the room. We'll be at the Hi, same height. I'm Jimmy. The Jimmy Buffett is a multi-platinum artist who's been touring chair. the world yeah, since the 1980s. The but think of Jimmy less as a musician and, and more like royalty, because this man has built an empire in the last few decades by not just writing tropical country-style songs, but by creating a world around his music. And no song has built that empire more than Margaritaville. Margaritaville is a simple tune created by Jimmy in the late 70s that then inspired the That's creation what I was asking of his you know, restaurant, Jimmy Buffett's But now apparently we are. As the business started to thrive, they made Margaritaville shirts, shot glasses. We, we, I can't even see the fucking video, Raven. Look what you've done. <laughs> Who you've fucking done. Okay, monitor. Full screen, this shit. Okay. We're so back. We are so back. <laughs> Why am I so shit? Why am I such a shit streamer? This is the question I ask myself every day. Same height. Same height. See? Let's get back in the game. Okay. Now I just want to crop this in a little bit more. It's Jimmy Buffett. It's Jimmy here? It's Jimmy Buffett. Should we be up in the corner or something? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to block the video for the viewers. So, you clicked on the video you know thinking, bongo. is this guy really going to go to every Margaritaville in the country? Well, technically, that title is a lie. Because oh, I'm going to lied. every Margaritaville in the country and, and Canada. Canada. That's where Margaritaville. we are. A tropical beach themed really? restaurant chain created wow. by America's greatest singer songwriter, James William <sighs> Buffett, aka Jimmy Warren Buffett. Buffett? Now, oh, if Jim. you don't know who Jimmy Buffett is, <laughs> let me catch you up before we it's, hit the yeah. road. Hi, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm really... Jimmy. Jimmy Buffett it's, it's Jimmy. is a multi platinum Jimmy. artist who's been touring the world really? since the artist? 1980s. But yeah, think of Jimmy less as a musician and more the like song. royalty. Because this man has warranty. built an empire in the last not, few decades by not just writing no, tropical no, country no, style no, songs, Jimmy, but by creating Jimmy a Buffett. world around Jimmy him. He, he and made no five o'clock. He that empire clocks. more than you're, Margarita. You're right Margarita Bill is a simple before. tune created by person. Jimmy in the late 70s they that then inspired the creation of his restaurant, Jimmy Buffett's Margarita. It's a song called Margaritaville? Yes. Like he actually made a song and he called it Margaritaville. No. Do, 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 do. That's not a real song. <laughs> it's not, a real song. They did not make a real song they called fucking Margarita. The business started to thrive. They did not make a real song. Shot glasses, keychains, and other merch until they expanded to Margaritaville hotels and resorts across the globe. But the restaurant that started it all is the official Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Watch there are 22 Jimmy locations Buffett. in the United States and Canada, with one in development in Boston, Massachusetts. And What's we will be hitting Burbank or Burbank? every Burbank. single Burbank. one. Burbank. Last year, Ted <laughs> Nivison and I went to every single rainforest cafe in the country. It's Ted. There were 18 total locations, and it took us three weeks to do it. The trip also nearly yeah. drove I me mean... insane. <laughs> <laughs> Ted was having a great time. I love him getting the song is very popular. No shot. It is. So you must not, be thinking, it is. what kind it's of more? It's an American state. Would go on such a pointless road trip, yeah, not enjoy it, 
and then decide just to. one year Trans. later to Let's do, do again. another, even do longer, you're not pointless road trip. The night before no. we started our trip across I mean, the entire United States for 24 so days, we decided to go to the first the Margaritaville. Now, the closest one located to us is the one at City Walk at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> City Walk is just an outdoor mall in front of the theme park, He's but you might recognize it from Justin Bieber's <gasps> famous Justin music Bieber. video, Baby. Dude, he's about not going to lie. Listen, this is going to talk about Ludacris. To start this journey That's where like Ludacris himself told us that when he was 13, like he had his first love. As we headed toward the restaurant, I was getting that? increasingly nervous and what, because and this trip baby. is even longer. Is on, so I was yeah. about to find oh, out that right. I was dedicating I'm some a other guy who's of on my year or two. two. After finally arriving, we There's were like greeted almost immediately Black by the margarita. <laughs> I, I forgot side. I got the songs okay. mixed up. In my head, they occupied the same space. And I could not have guessed what was Justin inside. Bieber, Jimmy Black, Buffett's like likeness level. plastered the across the entire restaurant. They, they just came out Jimmy's the same music time. was playing on the speakers. Yeah. There and was the Jimmy music. themed That's food, Jimmy drinks. There was a giant yeah. Jimmy Buffett's margarita blender. There were even screens playing Jimmy video just at the table. Talent. It began Hi. to dawn Hi. on me that this restaurant wasn't named so after just one yeah. song, Margaritaville, that Jimmy Buffett made. This entire oh, restaurant that. was a cult dedicated to like everything Jimmy Buffett. They always. even had yeah. my favorite yeah, Jimmy Buffett on the wall. Pour me her. something She's tall back. and strong. This She's door is to like remain unlocked now. during business nice. hours. As we were seated, we were given She's the absolute icon. honor yeah. of sitting at oh, the boat table. Boat, 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 boat. I want to watch. I can't wait. Okay, I'm just going to interrupt. I'm sorry. I can't wait to watch his joy of this. Mm -hmm. Turned into like utter despair and sorrow, and it all just crumbled to fucking ashes in his <laughs> mouth. And every meal go from being like, you know, this is pretty good, to being not the thirty seventh fucking turkey club. I can't. I cannot wait to watch him slowly lose his fucking mind. Because it's a table it. that I'm looks like a like boat. The fun, the finally, yeah, well, it was I like time ten more because I think it's truth. funnier to the have menu. like. I was about Everyone to else, find like, out what 22 you meals in the next <laughs> like, 24 like, days fun. of my life You're would like, look yes, like. Yes, I love this and meal. To my <laughs> surprise, times, it actually wasn't that bad. Days. On our last trip, I was shocked to find things like mojo bones, boom boom sauce, Iggy's piggy sandwich, <laughs> and more. But oh, this menu no. looked pretty normal other than the fact that the names of the items were themed to Jimmy Buffett songs that I didn't know. For my oh, drink, sorry, I ordered the perfect margarita, and as somebody well, who loves margaritas, I feel like that name right. is a little too confident, and after tasting it, it I was correct. Video. Perfect margarita? Uh, wait, are they <laughs> Jimmy, gonna... I might want to call this the just okay Are they going to drink a margarita at every single place? And go, should they get, do you think they're going to get margarita drunk? That's about I hope so. Every single time? I hope so. And then they're going to be super hungover the whole trip. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. Of it burn. The group got some You're onion rings as an appetizer, and as we waited for our entrees, we were just having a good time. Mm -hmm. I did drink. notice that there was Whatever. a stage in this restaurant. It looks like it's fully yeah, prepared for really live music, yep. but it was completely empty what? for us, so I'm kind of wondering True. what that's all about. Sweet. For my entree, I decided to start my Margaritaville marathon I with a cheeseburger in paradise, <laughs> which I believe is Jimmy's this second looks like I would not song. be able to eat this. The burger was this many days exactly what you'd expect out of a chain this restaurant. Like I also need to stress that we are not being paid by Margaritaville. Margaritaville on this trip, so as this journey progresses, I will be criticizing Margaritaville the whole way. But Jimmy, if you're watching this, I do take bribes. So our first dinner experience was exactly what you'd expect out of a chain restaurant. The food and drinks were just that okay, was but it this was a dinner terrible. with a bunch of friends where we were just having drinks and hanging out. So I had a blast. But that fun was cut short because I it was, was streaming time in no category. Goodbye. Oh, I, I was not. Ted and I officially <laughs> sealed our fate with a handshake because tomorrow we begin Sabotage one of the most years. pointless That's journeys. Of, of our entire day. lives. I so I woke up this morning <laughs> with a stomach ache. I Why think not? it was almost definitely the margaritaville food because I had nothing yeah. but a and breakfast sandwich already. that morning <laughs> and then the happen. cheeseburger in paradise and two perfect margaritas. <laughs> Completing this margaritaville trip will mean that I've done two tours. I really don't I've like margaritas. I've already experienced my first casualty. I don't like them. My tummy. My tummy hurts. I have a, I have a tummy ache. I really hope my tummy doesn't hurt most days of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's gonna not happen for sure. That's definitely you guys don't know how hard it is. I sure hope he doesn't order So the plan for the first day was to drive from LA day. to Phoenix because I the next Margaritaville on our trip was the one in San Antonio, Texas. Now last totally year we took Ted's 2002 not Toyota Tacoma across the country. And Ted is over there with the Tacoma 
as it gets loaded oh. onto a tow truck. They crashed so their car. Year, to that avoid was ruining time. Ted's car yeah. for good, we decided to rent a newer Tacoma. And I'll be honest, Ted was uh, in denial. Not the pickup truck. Bit. It's not squeaking. It's he fine. Like I know. I know what the right difference now. is. This Eddie's hotter. Ted's awesome. That's why he got more views. Ted's the awesome. The tires are fine. I, I didn't even get that many more views. So it was like maybe it, it might be a million or two. Is it just his hair that makes him look So for the second and final time, we hit the road again. Over 9,000 miles, 22 restaurants, and 24 days on the road. 24 days of my life for Margarita. Eddie Burbeck, Eddie Burbeck's twin brother, or Cat, or whatever his name not get a truck cover for the rental. And you can't just have your stuff out in the open for rain or for somebody to steal. We decided to go with camo so people wouldn't see our valuables in the truck bed. They would assume there was just a nice little forest Good Finally, either. it was time for bed. We had completed the first probably... day of our new journey. Yeah. But not before we experienced the smoothest and quietest elevator ride of my entire life. These guys have to be mega rich, right? Day yeah. two, the plan like for the day is rich. to drive from Phoenix to El Paso. Rich. I went yeah. for a quick run in the morning Phoenix, and then I hopped into my mm -hmm. favorite yeah, elevator. Yeah. Yeah, Once again, gonna we be hit the open road, they and I gotta say, in as someone who's been pretty busy lately, Wait, it's so been really starting nice in America? to just drive and not think about it. Wait, what is I that? I said in Canada. What's, what is the thing? And also Canada. Sorry, as I was saying, what? it's just the thing. to get out there and hit the open the road. Thing. Is that another the thing? How did you know that? Okay, it's there the are thing. a lot of the thing okay. signs, and we need to stop for gas anyway, so I guess we'll pull off and see it. What is the thing? I would never be able to guess, though, what was in store for me behind those doors. What is this? In Never front of forget. us was an entire museum dedicated to the what if scenario of if aliens had come to Earth <laughs> while dinosaurs were here. Why? Well, I didn't know you could make an entire museum off of a hypothetical Why? scenario. But apparently, Why? the aliens had come Just to like, teach the dinosaurs <laughs> technology, and they what? look at their ass. They were there to teach them technology until a war broke out between the aliens <laughs> and the dinosaurs. The war yeah, got to a them. point Whose where idea eventually the aliens Some, had like, to click a big button like, and send an idiot hurtling towards Earth. And the, and the, the dinosaurs exhibit didn't what stop what there. The they told us about all the hypothetical secrets of our history. What if the aliens? Were and, a part and, and of they too. Of, they what if them they up, but drove but, but around the dinosaurs Winston had guns. Churchill in a car? Yeah, yeah, and what if, what if 9 <laughs> 11? <laughs> what if Ted did it? <laughs> Finally, it was time I love Ted. for the main He's event. Favorite Is this like a whole ass museum? The just? Thing. Ted it's and I inched toward it terrified of what What's this secret would hold what and what it would mean to our lives. What's it gonna be? And I was shocked to find that it was just some paper mache <laughs> fake skeleton thing. Oh. And not only that, the guy who said he found he like... the thing's name was Binkley? <laughs> Number one rule in life, Binkley I'm not listening to anyone named Binkley. Day three and it is time for Margarita Ville That was the most bizarre two. thing Ted I've seen in my life. most of our what? day what? crossing about what? halfway through this Texas until America, so we finally arrived at the really? San Antonio yes. Riverwalk. We actually came here last year and yeah. I just like this you spot a lot. It's a very Arkansas? beautiful place yep. in the city. You know so we finally yep. located our second Margaritaville and met up with our friend Schlatt who would be joining us I for this meal. Now oh, this being my second I've Margaritaville ever, I was sure. actually surprised that it looked somewhat similar to the one in City Walk, but it also had like a Texas twist to all of the themes. Immediately when we sat down, I spotted this quote on the wall and I had to know where it was from. Turns out it's from one of Jimmy's songs called Who's the Blonde Stranger? Where the main character of the song vacations in Texas Margarita with his wife, then proceeds to cheat on her with a blonde stranger while she's getting over a sunburn, but when he wakes up hungover, he finds that she's also cheating on him with a different blonde stranger named Dan. That is this like, important like, to the overall kind of trip? Like, like no. Is it important to me that you it. knew this? Yes. Anyways, I ordered the fish and chips. Margaritaville has so much fried fish and shrimp on the menu that I thought I should definitely try their fish and chips because you it must be a flagship I dish for them. As we waited for our food, I ordered a watermelon margarita that was way too sweet. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> How did you call it? Like How did you call it? I didn't that want it to be too sweet. You called it. Which was kind of nice though. to hear just somebody play That's live music in a chain restaurant. Finally, my fish and chips arrived. That is revolting. 
These dude. look like frozen fish flakes. Yeah, they too, are right? frozen. Hey, 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 I fucked those up in my microwave. Right. Right. Okay. They tasted okay, yeah, and we had a fun time just chatting and drinking over dinner. We I'm seem to be in the most frozen. Texas corner of the entire I restaurant. Was, it had the two honestly, things that Texas yeah, is famous for: cattle and a big old puddle next to your table. When you see a big old yeah. puddle, you know you're in Texas. <laughs> After finishing dinner, we decided to no, stroll yeah, around yeah, no, the even bigger puddle, the San Antonio River, but not before Ted gracefully took a seat in this big Margaritaville this chair. Why he, he, loves loves <laughs> he loves And honestly, after he, it was just a really so nice tiny? time strolling he around this so area. Like I remember liking creature. this last no, year, but for some behind. reason That's I associate like, it with something negative. And I think it's like a big looming presence. I what it was, but I'm having such a good time that it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to head to bed for the night. Okay, day four of the trip, and we're headed from Austin, Texas, They've to New Orleans, two Louisiana. Those, and as we days. made our way across Texas, we decided to stop at Bucky's. Bucky's. If you're unaware of what Bucky's, Bucky's is, it is a chain of absolutely in, like, massive gas stations. He's, he's it is chaotic Bucky. in there, but people love it. They I make their own Bucky's food so inside. They have their own merch. They people lose American their mind staple. for Bucky. But to be honest, America is so fucking crazy. <laughs> Bucky is America. awesome. America, so sometimes yeah, I so forget listen. about how, because I thought I knew a little bit <laughs> about what it meant to live in like a rural area. Because, like, I lived, like, obviously rural Ireland. Uh -huh. And then also, like, when I lived in Canada, like, the first, when we first moved here, I didn't live in, like, a huge city mm -hmm. or anything. Like, yeah. I lived, like, you know, it's not, like, tiny, but, like, it was, you know, it was, like, it was very typical, like, you know, big open roads, no trees. Yeah. Big suburb shit or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I thought I knew. You've never experienced Bucky's. I thought I knew what this was like, but I did not realize how fucked it was, like, for, like, America. <laughs> This really place bad. is insane. Bucky, I, okay. We can show it on America all you want, but we can't show it on Bucky. He's awesome. This, this, I can, I think I, I actually, he, I cannot stand America. How is this country like this, dude? How did it, how did we get here? Guns. Fire. I don't think it's the guns for, that explains fucking Bucky's. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong is with it just Bucky's? because it's so big? Is Bucky's is problem? awesome. Is the problem it's just too big of a no, country? No, that's not the issue. And half the middle part of the country is a desert? Is no, that the problem? that's not the problem. That might be the problem. The that's country is the this problem. big, and this much, this much of it in the middle is just a fucking desert. That's probably why. Bucky's is awesome. Oh, I broke the fucking thing now. Oh, my God. Bit Bucky's, honest, it's like a convenience store. It kind of creeps me out a little like bit. A gas station, and some of these Bucky's are so big, and busy, and frantic guy. that Why as would a there child, be there's just a little guy. Who comes to like a gas station? Look at Bucky's. Bucky's nuts. Who? Stop. Who? <laughs> Who like stops at a gas station and is like, ah, oh, yeah, you know what? I actually really want to be here like as long as possible. This yeah. is definitely the and place. And I want to buy Bucky's merch. I want to buy a Bucky's hat. This is hat. definitely the place I, I want to spend a lot of time. I want to buy a Bucky's plushie, and I want to touch Bucky's to... nuts. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Yeah, we're done with that. Let's move on. Bucky's nuts. Ted, I'm... <laughs> I'm not fist bumping you, Raven. Did I say I almost child? He's lost. That's I meant how programmed I am. He lost Ted. Ted. I'm no, freaking Bucky. out, and Bucky doesn't scare me. But uh, yeah, where is he Ted? I can't him. find Ted. All I can find is everything: Bucky's, Bucky's rubs, <laughs> Bucky's nuts, <laughs> Bucky's pillows, Bucky's blankets, Bucky's onesies. This place is so big, I'm never gonna find him. I'm gonna be stuck. They in can't be missing profit. I'm gonna have place. to move in with they Bucky. He's gonna be my Bucky's. roommate. Where is Ted? Oh, he's uh, he's just. At the checkout aisle. No way Crisis averted. No, we also ran money. into this no, dude, Brayden, who had more met Bucky's. us last year no, while we is were only on the trip for the Rainforest Cafe is because he watches our videos. What are the he odds that into we the see the same dude? guy in a different part of Texas one year later for this trip? <laughs> after our stop at <laughs> Bucky's. That guy is absolutely to New them. Orleans. Like yes. No more Greenville this night, so we went out on Bourbon Street and had some drinks and a good time. I didn't record a lot because I just wanted to focus on relaxing and having a good time so we will see you tomorrow hitting the road today is special because for the first time on the trip ted and i are headed to stay <laughs> like at our first margaritaville hotel this one was in biloxi mississippi and we were shocked pulling into the parking lot 
Before us was a massive building right on the water of the Gulf of Mexico. But Ted needed the room to get some work done, so I decided to explore and see what this whole place was all about. And as I headed up the escalator in the main part of the building, I was like met with here. one of the largest arcades I'd ever seen in my We're life. They had everything. Rock climbing, zip lines, bowling, and even the globally known and incredibly popular game, Stinky, Stinky Feet. Feet. Apparently, this? this place used to be a <laughs> yeah, failed Margaritaville no. casino that was converted into a family resort, it's which would true. explain the giant arcade floor. It and as I explored a bit more and saw a nuts. pool and a theme I park swimming. attached, I started to realize just how many swimming. Jimmy Buffett quotes echoed house. throughout the halls. Oh, you know they were on that screens, in elevators, near the pool. I caught people talking about Jimmy to each other and to me. Wait, the quotes were all what? about living his Jeez. lifestyle, and it started to feel like I Jimmy booked Buffett? a one-night stay Buffett's into dead. a Jimmy Buffett oh. cult. After that, I met up with Ted to go to dinner, which was located above the yeah, arcade next Jimmy. to the volcano mm -hmm. rock climbing wall. <laughs> the menu Ted was actually. different here with a flaming crawfish dip that Ted and I really enjoyed. <laughs> right, I really, I really have wanted right another right fried there. meal, but this was Mississippi and they had a catfish platter, so I went you know for it. Can't. And you it was pretty you know, good, you know but I really should have listened to my gut on this one <laughs> because can't. this fried food so frequently is starting to kill me. Can't then suddenly, an alarm went off. The room turned red and the volcano began to smoke Before. like that time Justin <laughs> Bieber used a smoke yeah, machine in his pants. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it Bieber continued on for a while until the smoke stopped and this happened. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's pretty epic. It's like... <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> 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 then after our meal, we hit the arcade. What just happened? All right, Ted, go easy on him. Ted, Ted, Ted go easy stop, on him, bro. <laughs> Ted, he's and just it. before he's the whole thing them. closed, Their I played one hurt. final game oh, of the world feet. famous. Stinky Feet. The thing is, you need two players to play Stinky Feet, and Ted was busy on another game. So I charged my card twice and decided to play by myself. When a child no older than four walked up, grabbed the water gun, and started playing next to me without saying a word. <laughs> I used to say <laughs> This is messed up. He's trash. This kid oh, look how garbage Eddie's reaction time is. And garbage. after a fierce no? battle, oh, it is. It's really I, bad. I <laughs> beat the child. I am the king Ooh. of stinky feet. Ooh. Today started um, with a lunch um, at the um. Margaritaville in Destin, Florida. Now this Margaritaville was directly on the water. Unlike, say, the one at Universal City Walk, this one was not themed to be on a beach, it just actually was on a beach. Our lunch oh, here was going to be my curious. first of two Margaritaville meals I, in the day. I, can't I got an uptown margarita, like even though yeah, I'm getting pretty awful. tired of having sweet cocktails so often, and also Why got are the jerk like salmon. This? The drink was fine, and it's the awesome. salmon was it's actually awesome. pretty good, especially after a bunch of days of fried and road trip food. The view of our meal also like, featured I'm, okay, a I'm bunch sorry. of weird... Okay, I'm sorry. Imagine, like, so, okay. I'm so, just let me just set the stage real quick, okay? Uh -huh. You meet someone, and you, like, ask them, like, oh, hey, like, you know, like, where's your, like, where do you like to go for food or whatever? Like, what's your favorite restaurant, you know? Yeah. And, like, they say, you know, maybe they say something, like, cool, you know? Like, oh, there's, like, this, like, local place. It's very nice. Like, you know? Yeah. That's, like, a cool thing to say. <laughs> you walk up to someone, and you go, like, hey, where's your favorite, like, where, where, you know, where do you like to eat? What's your favorite restaurant? They're like, oh, let me tell you, Margaritaville, you find me there go, every hey, fucking, man. you and find me there every fucking Friday night, girl. <laughs> that's where you, that's where I, that's where the, that's where it's at, you know? Yeah. Who does that? Who, like, goes to Margaritaville, like, consistently? More than once. I mean, it's more of, like, a tourist thing. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense then. They went to it in jury duty. Really? That was the place. Boats? <gasps> that was just really fun for me to see a lot of boats that look like they're not supposed to be on the water. We then paid the check and got ready to drive just an hour and a half before we had another Margaritaville meal in Panama City Beach. The whole jury and everyone in the courtroom and every single other person was all like an actor, except for one guy, and the entire show was made to basically like follow him. You're asking me if the show Jury Duty was the one with just Jury Duty in it? 
Well, I'm just wondering, was Jury Duty the show where they had the guy? How many shows have you watched that had Jury Duty as the I'm main just, plot? I, it's a simple question, Raven. Was it the one with the guy? Yes, it was. I never heard of it. Okay. TV location was at this boardwalk area called Pier Park. And even though it was a little bit cloudy, this location was right on the water and beautiful yet again. Which was a great distraction because the last thing I wanted to do an she hour got that and a half me. after my she last told, meal it's was to kind of meal problematic. at the same restaurant in a different location. The interior was pretty big and elaborate compared to some we had seen. But the place was super busy, so Ted and I opted to sit at the bar. I was still so full this from the salmon, This guy's wearing margarita bone merch at the Margaritaville. Yeah. I have Margaritaville. This guy's wearing a Margaritaville t-shirt sitting at Margaritaville. I think Margarita. he's a tourist. Do you think Why he's like, I choose yeah, it? Just because the name local. of the vodka in it was called I guarantee you. I have a Margaritaville t-shirt. That's mine. So I got it. And if I went to Margaritaville and exhausted, at least had my perfect view of a very blue tinted TV screen that exclusively showed Jimmy Buffett's Instagram posts. And boy, does this guy know how to post. You had to kind of squint to see what the pictures were because the tint of the the screen was so blue. This guy's the guy that wears the band shirt. Oh, Jimmy, you are a celebrity. You can charge for those bottles. Then we I mean, headed to the, the beach to see the sunset. You know, you work and the wow, concert, this was yeah, absolutely right? yes. beautiful. I that's had a correct. great time no, wiggling no, my toes so in the sand and staring at the sunset. But you don't get to see my toes you're supposed to dress because you didn't in pay such me. A way that in the last the six days, we had driven you. over no. 35 hours yeah. and over 2,000 miles. People in their and my stomach was absolutely trip, full of two yeah. Margaritaville meals. Whoa, but either way, I couldn't deny so that this sorry. trip had brought no? me to mm -hmm. such a beautiful no, spot. Ted and I were even lucky enough to see dolphins out there swimming in the water. I don't think the dolphins saw us, but if they did, and are watching this, you saw my <laughs> toes for free and you owe me money. The drive today was a big one, going from no. Panama City no. Beach to no. Hollywood no. Beach, no. Florida. And I'll be no. honest, no. it was no. pretty taxing. Yeah. Not only <laughs> was it a nine hour America. drive, but Don't we had right. multiple country. stretches of heavy I rain. I love rain. Well, Maybe I'm from much, Florida, and the rain isn't rain such sucks. a big deal. Shut up. Any money. Okay, shut up and go I tell like Mickey Florida. Mouse. I that do was, not that's care. Most rain is slippery, thing. and slippery is really dangerous. Like Florida when I went. We got well, to the Margaritaville nice. Hotel completely yeah. exhausted. Oh, okay. This was yeah. another massive building. It featured a chandelier of margaritas and what seemed to be a Jimmy Buffett museum lining <laughs> the hallway. Bro, the restaurant was attached to the hotel, so we sat down and I really never heard Now, this menu was a bit classier than other locations. Ooh. We ordered a shrimp ceviche and poke nachos. That looks Both terrible. were pretty yeah. good, unlike my ginger margarita, which was not great. But Why my all the margaritas the lemon shit? tea <laughs> made this the best meal this. we had so far. Look, Turns out the best meal you can have at Margaritaville is when you have food that isn't from the standard Margaritaville menu. That and after an exhausting day, Having some decent food and drinks was exactly I what I needed. They also like had a first, live band what? playing, and for okay, the first sorry, time... I'm really sorry to keep pausing. Is it annoying? <laughs> no. Or do you have fun? Okay. Sorry, Chad, if you find it annoying that I keep pausing. But I like pausing. It's also... It makes me get to pretend that I'm not stealing his content. Yeah. Um, so, if I'm going to go to, like, a chain restaurant, like, especially, like, some shit like this, I'd rather just go to get, like, fucking fast food. Like, the food here... Like, the food, like, a chain like this mm -hmm. is, like... So much worse than just getting fast food. Yeah, but it's an experience. Okay, getting a car crash an experience. Okay. Not a good one. Not a good one. But Margaritaville is That's not is a, a thing to one. say. That's not like a thing you can just say. Like, oh, it's an experience. It's a good experience. At Margaritaville, I was feeling it. I had you don't feel like, oh, if oh, I would get that car crash, I'd rather eat fast food. Screen, it was a comforting presence after a yeah. hard day. Yeah. After dinner, Ted let me know that he had to last minute record something for his channel, so he got a separate room and I got ours all to myself. But lucky for me, I was kept car company car. because Jimmy was on the hotel TV. Hi, it's me, Jimmy. Hi, Thank Jimmy. Thank you for escaping to Margaritaville. For many years, Margaritaville was escaping to Margaritaville? Yeah. I'm trying to escape now, from it. Watching <laughs> no, the hotel the TV the made me realize just how strikingly handsome and Charming Jimmy was. Yeah, he so aged like fine. Doesn't look a day over 87. 
Fins up, Jimmy. Fins Waking up. up on day eight, we had two Margaritavilles on the schedule. The first on the Get list the was in Miami. As we headed Fins into the city, we spotted the coolest guy that's ever lived. <laughs> oh, yo, he is living. <laughs> Wait, he's got shit. VR on? He's like a yeah. VR headset? <laughs> He is he's thriving. He's and then playing we pulled up to the Miami right Margarita Bill, which was right thriving. on the water. At this point, I am about to give up on trying one cocktail at every Margarita Bill. We <laughs> oh, just no, drank last drink night. Everyone. And it's not even just about the alcohol. It's the sugar when you're having cocktail after cocktail. But for now, I got the last mango in Paris. And good for me, this is one of the best cocktails I've had so far. But is a he little trying to always try a different, exhausted, a different, like, Neo different cocktail? That sounds horrible. Face. I looked up powerful. and saw Jimmy like, once again on the like screen. One or two As good ones say, on the entire menu. It's like you're gonna find the one you like, and then you're yeah. gonna drink it, and you're never gonna get to go back to it because you're all good. You have to move on to the they have good time. I ordered the grilled fish tacos, which for Margaritaville were this pretty damn good. Awful. Now, if this were at a good taco stand yeah, somewhere, it'd be a hundred times better. Mediocre to kind of bad. But for now, they're hitting the spot. Then it was time to book it to Key West, Florida. We got lucky on the drive and just narrowly avoided Key this West. storm. But I gotta say, once we actually hit the highway to Key West, West yeah. this drive was absolutely I thought, I thought beautiful. It just if you're unaware, the, the Florida Keys really. are a collection of islands no, it's actually off the new. mainland What the hell? In America, this is a real place? these islands yes. are pretty famous. I'm sure nah, you've heard the Beach they, Boys they talk this about it. Or our boy Jimmy Buffett himself, whose entire culture around his songs is really based in Key West, Florida. We Ooh. made our way through the Keys, and I was excited because Key West this was the location beautiful. of the original Margarita Bill. But here? before we arrived, yeah. just a quick word oh, from yeah, our sponsor. Hey guys, I just bought this <laughs> new desk, and I was a little worried it would be too Don't care about your sponsor, Eddie. Too big, but not cheap. Get Checking out of here. You I are er stupid, I um, and I don't break low. And as we arrived to the first Margaritaville restaurant, I was pretty surprised by how local it felt. I mean, the rest of the Margaritaville locations we went to felt like a big and branded American chain. And yeah. while this one was definitely still themed, it felt more preserved oh, from this another time nice, yeah. rather than this huge corporate thing. We yeah, were feeling pretty good, so Ted and I decided to order some drinks. I got a Who's to Blame because it's from so the lyrics of I the Margaritaville the song. I decided to get a cheeseburger. No, bro. No, bro. What? That's just a hamburger. No. That's just a hamburger. No, bro. No, what about it's that? Great. Is weird. It's fucking great. That's the color that it gets. No. Where's the salt on the fucking fries, Raven? Where it's the fuck is the salt? It's too small. You can't see it. Where the fuck is the salt? It's just not a high quality Look at the cheese. It's a perfect fucking cut. Process that square. American cheese is the best kind of cheese for a burger. Look at the lattice. Because it okay, just felt just right to up. get yeah, at yeah, this location. <laughs> Everything was just going really well. My burger no, tasted okay. a little bit more like a local Margarita burger a than a chain Ooh. burger. And in such a tropical Raven, location, yeah, I mean, how can you kids? not what enjoy you yourself? After being done I with like dinner, we headed nuggets. to the hotel. <laughs> Yet again, fries. I am happy we had a sponsor for this thing because, oh my Anchor god, I would not be paying food. for this shit by myself. The location wow. was right on the beach, so after checking in, we, we decided to go like relax and see the sunset. Last like, year, we when we did our Rainforest Cafe road coffee. trip, it was fun, yeah. but well, also incredibly taxing. Ow. But the last few Not days on the beach like were just too beautiful oh. to stress Pretty about this entire like road trip. Decide. And that's right, when it finally it. happened. Sure. Staring out that's at the true. water, I felt my stress you know, melt donate. and wash yeah. away with the tides. <laughs> even though we'd driven over 40 hours right and I'm eight like days, so and even though my yeah. last five meals in a row were all Margaritaville, I got it. Got I book. understood. Thank you, Bongo. Jimmy Buffett wasn't just some guy Nina. who turned one hit song into I a corporate right empire. Right. He's the king of being chill and enjoying yourself. Please, right where my toes wiggled in the sand. <laughs> is where Jimmy started this whole thing. I can't do this trip like Eddie chips? would. What I have mean? to do it like Jimmy <laughs> because no matter how stressed <laughs> I get in life, <laughs> mentally, I have to be just like Jimmy Buffett. You come to a place like this and you can forget about war. He hasn't had a mental breakdown know, yet and it's family, bothering me. Class well, despair. Pretty early on. I mean, yeah. all that stuff is still happening. Way, right? but I'm in Florida that and I had a margarita That's today. Liking right. Buffett isn't I mean, some weird like cult thing. Though, it's it's what can yeah. fix it's gotta me. Be way more than that. He's gonna speed run. Is he? Hang the on. next morning, I woke what up feeling better than I ever have in my entire life. And as I, I was go going through my bag, I mysteriously found an article of clothing that I had never packed. 
shirt. This shirt not only looked Yo. great on me, but also it put itself on my merch website, yikeshop.com. <laughs> and you can get it by going there or clicking the link in the description. Uh, what the hell? That's so weird. Anyways, I felt refreshed and was ready to head back to mainland Florida. Today's plan was Jimmy just to like drive up to Star Orlando and stay at the Margaritaville Resort yeah. there. He's we like decided the to give ourselves one light. break day because like it's near the halfway point. Like the, and then the like next the day we'd be going to Universal Studios Orlando, where there's a Margaritaville <laughs> restaurant at their the city walk. The resort in Orlando was giant. Now, Ted was a little bit late to the bookings of the resort, but luckily, even though they ran out of rooms at the hotel, they had these cottages for him to stay in. I instantly just felt relaxed. I can't go wrong. Surrounded by my favorite quotes from my favorite. Oh, and also it, it was it. nice it was to like be uh, with my, my lovely That's girlfriend, Chrissy. Margaritaville! Does she know I'm like soft on Chrissy actually wrote a song I last know. year about wanting to live her not, life not in Margaritaville. Anymore. But not unfortunately anymore. for her, that's my life now. So that's so that's my thing. The two of us had a bit of a date night and had a no fun way. night walking around she Disney Springs, moves. enjoying the sights, How and just having her? a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. The reflection in this glass. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Today is not as interesting. We were just hanging out in Orlando. I got he, footage of this man eating some though? lettuce. No, he didn't even so go that's that whole, pretty that whole day, cool. Nothing. We were also <gasps> hanging out with. <gasps> is Drew Gooden? Yeah. We, we were hanging out with Drew Gooden, He's, my I good friend him. Drew Gooden. Yeah. Yeah. But he, Drew and Amanda single? did no, join no. us <laughs> on the Rainforest Cafe <laughs> Bro, trip in Orlando. The, literally the best YouTube. So I think why are none of these fucking hot YouTubers single? Why are none of these hot successful rich people single? Why are none of these hot successful rich celebrities? It's tomorrow. You plans. You live here anyway. I want to go home. You can do it whenever. I don't want to. Back when we were in Biloxi, I feel that I was a bit misguided in how I felt about Jimmy. Staying at I've our third like Margaritaville places, resort no? brought me so much comfort. Really? Jimmy yeah. was constantly speaking to me and reminding me to yeah, be calm. Times to breathe in and like appreciate the beach, and also to like drink alcohol. Drive. Leaving the resort like though, the we were headed to Universal <sighs> Studios <sighs> Islands of Adventure because Margaritaville was located the just outside the park at City Walk in Orlando. Before we entered the park, Chrissy got this awesome hat. I also tried on no, a hat Martin that I was totally pulling off. Oh my God. Am I pulling it off? But I decided to get sick because I didn't want everyone at the park to be jealous of me today. Ooh. We then entered the park and immediately Ted got something called who hash, which is no, you know, a Dr. No. Seuss uh, themed food <laughs> that <laughs> looks like it's served out of a oh, dog it's, food oh, it's can. Like her, like her, her, Cindy. Her, 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 Dr. Seuss's show. like Cindy Lou Who. Or, um... I don't know, the mayor. We then spent the day going on rides and <laughs> having I fun, love but right the before Grinch we movie? left, awesome. Chrissy and I decided the live action to go on the hat movie. I've seen this ride. One of my, I quote that shit all the time. Me yeah. too. What's terrifying. I'll get you. I'll make it look like I'm going to get you. I'll get you. I'll make it look like I'm going to get you. I'll get you. What the hell is this? <laughs> This is, is horrifying. this supposed to be for children? I feel like because this would no, absolutely the cotton hat was a terrifying movie when I was a kid. kid. It, it, it's like terrifying yeah, it's hard 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 right now. And it's still the best movie ever. I'm convinced that he is actually meant to be like a horror guy. Yeah, he's not meant to be. He decided to go to the Margaritaville just outside. He's not meant to be like a friendly, funny guy. He's meant to be like a horror guy. This one had an extra bar across the walkway with a plane next to it. And this is where I figured out that every time you see a plane in Margaritaville, it's a replica of Jimmy's personal sea plane. I like the part where he gets the pistol back to club the birthday kid. Like he's fully prepared to beat the shit out of a fucking child or the beast. Dancer. Wait a minute. Quick clarification here. This is the actual fucking plane. He's they retired and Jimmy's like, plane the and is like, I want to drive. So he pulls up a second string and gets a drone. And she's like, you can't both no drive. And he's eat. like, you're right. We, we should all drive. He pulls up another <laughs> one. Chicken and shrimp. And this dish <laughs> oh uh, sucked. The chicken was fine, but the shrimp was really dry. Did a fucking shrimp boil this? You're telling me a shrimp but hey, this right? Just like my favorite guy, I spent the day in the sun, I ate some food, and had a margarita by the water, and also got to see Margaritaville employees on stilts. It's always fun to see somebody on stilts. You're not supposed to be that tall, and I'll be quite honest, it'd be funny if you fell over. The next day, I had to say goodbye to Chrissy as we headed out from the Margaritaville Resort. 
Oh, she does got the moves. Ooh. To meet at the right. truck, we had to head to the cottages that Ted was staying in, and I got a good look at this neighborhood. Who would have thought water, that Jimmy water, also owns whole <laughs> neighborhoods across the country? <laughs> and normally this would make that's me a, feel kind of weird, but I'm just glad that they're providing housing to those in need. Retired people Fish. in Who's Orlando. In fucking water? Once again, How we hit the you road, headed for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> Now, we're not eating at the Margaritaville there tonight. We're actually doing it tomorrow afternoon, which is great because my stomach is on fire. But I've Ooh. learned from Jimmy, you know? Mm -hmm. All of it is worth it at the end of the day when you're you rewarded fire, with a I'm tropical like location. And looking at the rest of the trip, I can't wait to me. explore the other tropical locations this nation has to it offer. Margaritaville's in places like I Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I just realized. What? The Margaritavilles are gonna be fun at the, like, the seaside places. But once he gets in, so like, because right now he's in like the tourist areas. Yeah. Once he leaves the tourist areas, and he starts going to like fucking Canada, fucking Canada, <laughs> fucking like middle bumfuck nowhere, Midwest yeah. America. Middle America. It's it's, it's gone. The, I want. Syracuse, I want the vibes New York, to or end. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, so yeah, Ohio. I might be <laughs> speaking too soon, but I'm pretty confident that I totally won't get tired of Margaritaville. <laughs> when we woke up in Myrtle I Beach, this feels like the halfway point now. The this is like the, you ever watch Parasite? Yeah. That movie? Yeah. This is like the halfway point of Parasite right here. Mm -hmm. The exact halfway point, <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's a, that's a movie reference for, mm. for the movie watchers in my chat. Yeah. Because we had to go movies, straight to the reference. Margaritaville. Korean, this will so. start a stretch of four it's Margaritaville true. meals and in a row. This one was located at Heroes Harbor and was pretty standard for most I'm, Margaritavilles. Except for Columbus the giant Georgia. Margaritaville Atlantic? hurricane on the ceiling yourself. hovering oh, yeah. above oh, one of their giant my trucks. <laughs> that was a classic that I was going to have Margaritaville a second time today. I decided to take it easy and get a grilled chicken sandwich. The sandwich was... Do you see the fucking price uh, of that shit? It didn't seem like this was butter or anything. It was. It just. It tasted like water. <laughs> I'll be honest. This morning <laughs> I am out room. of energy, and my chicken sandwich is super bland. Normal Eddie would be bummed, but Rat it was like chicken. I could almost feel Jimmy's large, <laughs> warm hands on my shoulder as I took in a breath and pictured myself on the beach, pixelated <laughs> toes nice wiggling in the sand. Suddenly. I was okay again. Immediately after Heroes Harbor, we had to See, book it to it. They really Georgia. set themselves Our up schedule to just get, was like, very to have like all so the good to get things to Atlanta and then just nothing but bad. To bed that night. Because <laughs> the next day, we had a very trip. long drive and <laughs> two <laughs> Margaritavilles to hit. But on our drive, traffic completely stopped. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. This Stuck is on the highway. How? I have to pee. How are there enough cars in this the bumfuck nowhere so area to get this big of a car? You don't understand, like, asking when they close. literally everyone in America has a car. PM. Luckily, they said the kitchen like was open until 11, 40, so we were fine if we got there, 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 there an hour early. But when we arrived, we found the door. How is there traffic in these and when we asked middle of nowhere places? places they said they everyone owns the a car early. in America. You have this to. would completely well, I know that. get like the next but week of crazy planning that, like, for us. So, but Ted like, threw a hell there and told them that we were going to every Margaritaville in the country and that we absolutely... Bigger... Lane, like bigger lanes. <laughs> yeah, more cars, more, bigger more, lanes. More cars, bigger lanes. That'll solve all the problems. That's That's what we need. We need tonight, more parking lots. We didn't lots. want to bother more them. Lots. So if there was any way they could even give us like a bowl more of chips to housing. eat, yeah. that would be enough. Definitely. And the yeah. manager said, Mixed I housing, got you. So good. they had us sit down and the bar was open, but the kitchen Mixed was on. absolutely closed. No. They got us margaritas and then brought out a piping hot plate of ribs fries and spinach and artichoke dip. wow Ted this is the I best kind of in Wait, why is it in... because they had no reason to do this for us but oh, they just closed. did it because they saw we kind of needed some help with our extremely stupid road trip and oh, all the manager asked was that, that we just nice. give her a good google and yelp review so oh. we absolutely did that we of course left a tip and i just gotta say this is not me praising the margaritaville corporation it was just every single employee in there was so nice to us they did nice. not have to do that we are two guys doing awesome. the stupidest thing in the world and they did not need to do any extra work for us and i am very grateful that they did so oh, thank you to everybody who works there so it is uh, 7 a.m like it is like now that. day 14 
two whole weeks of my life. Reminds me of Monkey Boy I used to work with when I worked at like Margaritaville. Like Today was Jan. another double Margaritaville day that included to eight to nine Paris hours of driving. No. Ted caught up on some That's sleep crazy. as I drove, both of us mentally exhausted. Why are they and driving? As we Why got to downtown transport? Nashville to have lunch, we walked our way to the Margaritaville. This one was Margarita. pretty standard. You know, it had live music, what the hell? This a is like tiki tiny. room, and a plane you can take on the ceiling. In Did I Wait, want sorry. to be in another standard Margaritaville? <laughs> Look at the fucking to door. The Margaritaville. This one was pretty standard. I'm like, I'm thinking in my head it's gonna be tiny. Like it's like a little tiny ass door. It's gonna be a little tiny thing. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize this was the whole fucking building. All of this shit is all fucking Margaritaville. Yeah. Over here, still Margaritaville. That's just how 20 feet in the are. other direction, still Margaritaville. You know, I was literally thinking this is gonna be like a little like hole in the wall. <laughs> you know? Dick, I'm still thinking it here, and then and I see this, and I'm like, what the fuck? It's Did like a Walmart. Did I want to be in another standard Margaritaville eating another standard Margaritaville meal? Not exactly, but it's not about what I want. It's about what Jimmy would do. <laughs> I got a Southwest chicken salad, and when the salad arrived, the chicken was so, so, so dry. Why? Fine. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a problem with that at exactly. all. I, I think that's chicken. cool as hell. Mine was actually pretty good. Yeah, 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 get, uh, give me another margarita. <laughs> another margarita. Margaritaville, <laughs> number 12, I think. You know what's happening to make that chicken dry? Oh, it's fuck. probably pretty good. <laughs> then it was time was to head for the 13th for in Pigeon like Forge, Tennessee. Now, Pigeon Forge is famous for its theme park, Dollywood. Now, Dollywood is a magical place created by Dolly country Parton. legend Dolly Parton. Why do these fucking celebrities think and to be honest, that they need to, I would like, love make to check a fucking this out, theme park? But we have no time to do anything on this trip but go oh, like, everybody why loves do these, why, why is it? Everybody loves Dolly Parton. I, okay, I'm going to say two things, okay? Mm -hmm. First thing, I agree. She's an icon. Mm -hmm. The second thing, don't think we need a fucking do Dolly Parton themed fucking theme park. Who makes more money? You or Dolly Parton? This must have been like back in the fucking old days before like social media and shit. This was the only way to like capitalize on your fame. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. you got famous and this is all you could do. There was no social media. <laughs> there was nothing. So you make a fucking theme park. Yeah. Or some bullshit. Or you make a Everyone restaurant works. chain. Every time. That's why it's only like old washed up. There's no fucking. Heading no, into like, Pigeon know, Forge, what, their Main Beast Street reminded me a lot of the Wisconsin something. Dells where I went frequently as a kid. Both feel like Vegas yeah. strips for Midwest family <laughs> tours. Yeah, no one famous the Pigeon Forge that, Margaritaville was food, a hotel yeah. and a restaurant, but I did not expect it to be in the middle of this huge entertainment center with a Ferris wheel. Ted and I were splitting this very he interesting room. It was covered in Margaritaville branding and also Bryson's had a balcony that chill. went out into the shopping yeah, center. We headed bro. down for dinner yeah. and this Margaritaville <laughs> restaurant was pretty standard except for two giant jugs of margarita ingredients with piping that led to the restaurant's blending. Do you think that's like at this point, I can say that we are <laughs> officially <laughs> burnt <laughs> out. 13 you know I mean? meals like, so at the yeah, same yeah. restaurant yeah. in like 14 a, you know, days. Yeah, but in times like these, it's important <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, see you on, see you on, see you on. A higher power that can give you strength. I love that you just see him on Instagram, like just having the best time of his life while you're just over here. Jimmy Buffett, what can I say? What would Jimmy do? If Jimmy, Jimmy didn't do? want a single bite of this food or a margarita, he'd kick off his sandals, throw his feet on the table, you know? lean back, and order a cheeseburger in paradise and another margarita? I mean, if that's what he Jimmy would do, I guess. I loved every I single noticed. bite of it, and I was very glad that Jimmy was keeping a watchful eye on me the entire meal. I ate the entire thing. I wasn't sick of this food or extremely full. I was cool as a cucumber. Does this look like the face of somebody who isn't as I chill as Jimmy Buffett? To prove it's how coming. chill it's I coming. was, I decided to now. grab this yeah, hat from the gift he's shop coming. and I was totally pulling it off. Go Ted went to finish his video in the room and a chill guy like me decided to cruise this guy should around be more like and see Ted. the Ted sights. To pump out videos Normally, even though I don't have a this fear of one heights, video I've generally months. avoided Ferris well, he wheels. Saying he's a video I also in his don't room like doing things socially in public so like when I'm alone, like riding a ride. I don't think but he I wasn't that. normal me anymore. 
I'd been born again oh, yeah, in something like much for better. Or something. Cool, or for Eddie. Maybe. So when I got in line, I spotted the family ahead of me being forced to take a green screen picture before getting on the <laughs> ride. And I thought, they're not going to force me to take that picture by myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> Smile. I got on that Ferris wheel and was totally chill the whole time. Yeah. I am not worried about how, how high up we're going. It's kind of boring. Oh, oh we're shaking. Can make it go faster. Oh. <laughs> so chill, in fact, that I fell asleep while on the ride. How? Swear to God. Swear to God, I was dead asleep. After I felt phenomenal. Go? Normal Eddie wouldn't have gone on that Ferris wheel alone. But thanks to Jimmy, I have faith. The next day, all we had to do was drive from Tennessee to Atlantic City, New Jersey. After yesterday, I have absolutely zero complaints about the trip. I'm chill. I'm fun. I'm not exhausted in the slightest. And because of that, I decided to catch up on a little bit of reading from my favorite guy. Do you know that Jimmy Buffett is 76 years young? Jimmy's the honest with you. Joe, Jimmy actually has <laughs> over 30 albums, Sometimes most of which have gone gold, platinum, here, or some even have gone multi-platinum. They would hoot and holler and roll all round up there at the church they built. <laughs> 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 and they run through the <laughs> <laughs> swamp. <laughs> boy and his followers. I can't the one not having fun. He was his yeah. domain. We started day 16 at the Margaritaville in Atlantic City. This one was located inside of a casino. And even Casinos though it was 11.30, places. I got a margarita for Jimmy. I enjoyed my morning margarita because that's the kind of guy that I am what, now. Other than that though, this was a pretty uneventful Jimmy Margaritaville. Jimmy the waiter complimented Jimmy my shirt, which you could get at ranchshop.com. My lava lava Jimmy shrimp was though. crispy and I liked the sauce. I was having a great time. I even saw oars on the wall of Jimmy's most famous Jimmy moments, within, like when he performed for Facebook, Jimmy's inside when Eddie. he played the electric guitar, what? when he rocked on, oh, and so when cool. he had a mustache. You know, then we headed to the beach to see the ocean either, so I could really take in the atmosphere. He had a mustache just like Eddie. New Jersey. Next, we made our way to New York City. Now, normally, staying in Times Square would be my nightmare. New York is great, but the crowds, the germs, and the general vibe of Times Square is a fever dream. But cool Eddie didn't think about those things, so we checked <laughs> into the hotel jersey. and went to our room. Got a haircut on this I just noticed uh, is the whole yeah. room. When we Good headed downstairs, before we went up the escalator to go to the restaurant, I was talking to I'm one of the employees and they gave me a after. warning. Yeah. They said, don't yeah. order the Jimmy's Jam and Jambalaya. And I said, why? They replied with, it's bad. Steer clear of it. So I will not <laughs> be Wait, getting that right now. Right? As we walked into the, the restaurant, jambalaya? a shining oh, beacon caught Jimmy's my eye. Jambalaya. In the center of the room was a giant replica of the Statue of Liberty <laughs> holding a margarita <laughs> to the sky. Oh. The margarita glass was made out of an LED America. screen that played video. God bless America. This was a shining beacon of light for <laughs> all of those across the world who wanted to head to America and eat at a Margaritaville in Times Square. And this wasn't just the Statue of Liberty. Oh, this is in Times Square. This was a sign oh, from Jimmy that I had not mm -hmm. gone far enough. So we ordered some food and some drinks with Ted's friends Katie Dude, and Devin, and nope. this is where I decided I to, to the go McDonald's all in. in. Times Square. Anytime. And I shit you not, the McDonald's in Times Square, you walk in the front door, and there's a balcony like above you, and there's a motherfucker playing the piano <laughs> on a balcony above you as you walk in, just like, I love that. Do, 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 just like playing, just playing. Some fucking master too. They probably paid a shit ton, to, honestly, to be there. Yeah. They're just fucking hanging out, just fucking playing the piano. And then you go and you sit in your nice, you know, Times Square McDonald's seat with your beautiful piano, live piano music. And then a homeless guy like, walks up to you and he's like, yo, can you like, you know, give me a surprise? Can you, can you give me? <laughs> like, and, you know, and it's like, that's just, that's Times Square, baby. That's, that's New York, baby. That's, that's New, New York. York. You know, they got money to put piano players and on I balconies. I moment of being tired <laughs> on this enough money trip to or fucking wanted to go home. home. <laughs> I cut it short with another sip of a margarita. And we had margarita <laughs> after margarita. The How many? The Margaritaville in Times Square <laughs> also going. has bars on multiple floors. <laughs> so we decided to do the Margaritaville bar crawl. 
drink oh, after boy. drink, I could feel myself mm -hmm. becoming closer to the man himself. And as time <laughs> for the night, I wander around Times Square. I was invincible. I could make a beach out of anything. And it was then <laughs> that I saw the absolute beauty of this place. Yeah. Times Square was just like the beaches I'd been to. And I could live like this every night for the rest of my life. All right, it is seven in the morning. I fear that last night I jimmied a little too close to the sun. Oh, no. I don't know how Jimmy does this. I don't know how you can sustain this Did you lifestyle. Know that if I'm over one of After the getting out of bed, I more. got locked in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. On our own. We can go out with you. Uh, As we true. make that's our true. way out of New it, York, I true. need to be honest with yeah, you. I know it, this may come I'm as not a shock, I will but I have prove it not been yeah. loving every it's single tree. That's the Jimmy hangover. It's the literary tree. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Um, hangover cure. Drink more alcohol. You're gonna be. You're gonna be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it says it's real. It says it's real. Anyway. So we're just gonna keep watching the video, right? Yeah. Let's just, anyway, let's go back. Let's move back. Yeah. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. You can just go imagine. Margarita. It was. I, I, I was right. Just can't I was not do wrong. It. I can't be like Jimmy. But we were headed to yet another in Syracuse, New York with Ted's friend Tucker. <laughs> Pulling up in Syracuse, it seemed to be a mall called <laughs> Destiny USA. Not exactly a tropical beach somewhere. <laughs> I parked in a different spot from everyone else and got lost in the mall trying to Shut find the them. Up, so I went to this guy Spencer, Spencer for directions. Word of do advice, do not go so. in there. Arriving to this Margaritaville, mm, it was know. clear that this one was probably the know. worst we'd ever like seen. Top, top, it was a lifeless Margaritaville in a is mall. The food was below there. average. And if it like wasn't shots. for good conversation in the group, I would have really hated this lunch. What? Next up was okay. Niagara Falls. <gasps> Niagara Falls! So the I used to live right here. Any plants or animals coming in? No. Any alcohol or tobacco? No. Any cannabis in your car? No. Any guns in your vehicle? No. Any currency at $10,000 or more? No. Once we were through the border, we decided to park in I've literally been here. Margaritaville. And the energy I used to live 20 minutes from Niagara here. Niagara Falls Margaritaville. I never knew this was here. <laughs> we gotta go. The whole thing. Margaritaville <laughs> was different. We were seeing. You know what's kind of fucked up about Niagara Falls? What? Is that we have the good side of it. But unfortunately, having the good side means you don't have a view of the good side. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, because America oh, yeah. gets, yeah. America gets the shit side of the falls. But then we have to go look. It's like we have the nice house and they have the shit house, but they get a really nice view of our nice house. <laughs> yeah. And we look at their fucking rat's nest That's funny. at our window every morning, you know? And they get to look at our big, beautiful, you know, mansion. It's, it's fucked up. Hydrate, Raven. Hydrate. Drink something. Okay. You haven't drank in a while. Yeah. I mean, I'll drink something as well. It's your boy. Jaguar is here. Jaguar. Hello. Jaguar. Welcome. It's, it's the dynamic duo. To a massive yeah, Niagara yes. Falls Hi. screen. Hi. And aside from the projector waterfall, the menu was different, and they I'm had so this pirate mascot here. guy. <laughs> hey, Canada, Jimmy's the mascot. You don't need a pirate. Jimmy, Jimmy's already there. I, I got the nice buffalo poutine because we were in Canada, and to my surprise, this was... By far the best thing I've had at Margaritaville. Ooh. The chicken and fries I were crispy. Want the gravy chicken was chicken really something. good. This was just a really great meal. And then that. just no, over the falls, a giant animatronic of a tequila <laughs> bottle came no. over the cliffside. It what then the poured fuck? tequila what the into the giant blender <laughs> in front of us. Hell? We what were having hell? a blast in Canada. We then decided to walk hell over yeah. to the falls. Maybe Canada I saw was the this best skunk place. on the way. Check it out. <gasps> As we were man. showing up to the falls, we happened to catch it right at the time that the fireworks show started. Did he fire a couple shirt? drinks in us, we had the best not possible not time not in Canada. I should have a couple margaritas every night. The falls are pretty cool, though. They got color them. Bad news, um, guys. By pouring dye into the water. Hurts they the water. I don't yeah. care anymore. I'm over this whole thing. Today we went to this is exactly Cleveland, what it, the wait. most tropical Margaritaville that exists. They, they're not going I to Canada. I got a Caesar salad gaslit? and the chicken on this in thing. Ohio. Wow. Without exaggeration, went to Canada, then this just was came the back. toughest there piece of one. chicken I've ever chewed in my entire life. <laughs> and for <laughs> some reason, joke? out of nowhere, Ted has started liking Margaritaville now. Was that the joke of him saying we're going to go to every Margaritaville in Canada? Canada, because there's only one in Canada. Or one. 
I don't know. This guy. He's just Lucky for me, day 19 in was in Chicago. Ted all and I took the, the metro US. into the city oh, because this together. one was located at... Oh, and Canada. Canada. Now, I've mentioned before yeah. that oh, I'm I from the suburbs of Chicago, Canada. so it was really great oh. to be home. And when we arrived at the city, it got even better because they we met up with my brother, Tony. <laughs> when we finally got to the we also yeah, met up with my good friend Danny Gonzalez. It's Drew Gooden. Heading into this Margaritaville, I was surprised to see that it looked more <laughs> like a Chicago every, tavern than a regular Margaritaville restaurant. Um, Everyone in the group obviously wanted margaritas, okay? and I didn't in my want to be a old town, which had a population of I want to say twenty thousand people. Okay, mm -hmm. twenty thousand people town. Let me think in my head real quick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Had eight Tim Hortons mm -hmm. in that one. I've definitely seen a lot here. At one time. And there's Buzz just like kills, a bunch so of I went for another one yeah. again. We noticed that the photos for the fish and chips made them look higher quality than we'd seen before. So out of curiosity, I ordered them again. They looked almost exactly the same. And even though course, everyone except team. for me was excited to eat after <laughs> Ooh, the meal, none of us felt good. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of my <laughs> meal. <laughs> oh, we're all feeling uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he's like on the verge of tears. I think I know what'll make us feel better. Margaritas. The beach! The beach, oh. The pier? He's gonna have his face in the sand. Where are they? Where are they? Bean, 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 bean. Bean. Where is this? Bean. Oh, the bean. Oh. Bean, 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 bean. Is this, a, is this an American thing? You don't know the bean. No, I don't know the fucking bean, really. No way, it's shy time. Let's go, let's go, shy time. As Kanye calls it, shy rap. But even the bean couldn't stop <laughs> my tummy. <laughs> what makes it worse is that Jimmy wouldn't have a tummy ache. He'd probably be cool and chill about all this. I am such a This is a so failure. amazing. This is such an epic shot. <laughs> All right, we're about to leave my mom's, hey, but I can understand. You can why be at the bean in 18 so minutes? No fucking way. No, I woke up we should, hi we should hang out with Jack. We're at the bean. Like a, yeah. a little bit of pain. It's not like food <laughs> poisoning or bean. anything. I just think my body cannot handle this much margarita bill. Eventually I got my stuff together and we alcohol. started the drive to Bloomington, you know, Minnesota to go like to the Margarita Bill yeah, in Mall of America. The During the drive, yeah. however, I found out that I was not the only one he who probably was is affected gonna get by yesterday's by fish and chips. So. so uh Ted and I both got the fish and chips yesterday. And oh, we had no. some, let's say stomach the fish and chips fucking one v one one before yeah. so I think <laughs> I can officially say that we're getting pretty damn tired of eating margaritaville all the time well you know what happened to his smile what, right, it, what do you mean you had intestinal his, trouble he's today. actually he's depressed too. Yeah, but i mean like the vibes could kind of kind of counteracted it a little the bit the vibes it's, counteracted what are you talking about you're yeah. unhappy while we're on tropical beaches through all of florida i don't know i think my my, my you know i realized i had some self-reflection i realized some things were maybe a little bit different than i was saying the day you had self-reflection is the day you had diarrhea <laughs> finally we got to True. mall of america the largest mall in the united states so i could have margaritaville Wait, for the 20th called? time and ted seemed more excited than ever for absolutely no reason <laughs> not only are there more margaritavilles than rainforest cafes but this one is taking a toll on my body and i cannot wait to be done <laughs> As we entered the biggest mall that the, the U.S. has to offer, well. I felt a is. disturbing no, energy. <laughs> oh, God. I had somehow oh, forgotten that this margarita bill oh, was God. directly <laughs> across from the Rainforest Cafe. Oh, the two restaurants that have broken my soul and made me look like a fool sharing a space right next to each other. We headed inside to get this Another one fucking over with, and as Same I went chair, to order way. a water, Ted ordered us two five o'clock somewheres in a blender and an order of volcano nachos. The thought of drinking <laughs> one of these drinks just six hours oh, so after back. trying to He's recover so from yesterday's meal was sickening. And before I knew it, a what giant mound of nachos <laughs> arrived at the table. Oh, but somehow, God. next to my misery was... Ted. Ted. Enjoying himself to no a way. degree his, his for vibes the are first time. 
Wait, this is his first time being happy on the train. Yeah. <laughs> then it was time for our entree, <laughs> and I realized that in my attempt to order as much of the menu as possible, I had only a few chances now left to good. get a dish that I had been avoiding. One that sent shivers down my spine just hearing the name. Jimmy's <laughs> Jambalaya. <Jammin>. Jambalaya. <laughs> Fuck. As I went for a bite, what I is clearly this? burned my mouth right here. I burned the shit out of my mouth. It doesn't look hot when you look at the oh plate, but when I picked it up on a fork, look at the steam, my god. What is it Jimmy's meant to be? Is it a curry? Jambalaya. What is jambalaya? When you eat at a restaurant <laughs> 20 times in 20 days, everything from them starts to taste the same. And instead of joining me in my misery, Ted, yet again, was having a blast at the Mall of America. <laughs> oh my god. He's loving it. I love that this totes him even more. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Like, why are you happy? That's when, for the first time, the thought like crossed my mind. I actually, something... I might kill Ted. <laughs> After finishing our meal, I wonder if Ted has Ted more fun when he's on a roller coaster. That makes sense. Immediately, I get mixed I mean, him. Yeah, I think it makes him. I think it makes him happy. This is my prediction. My guess. I think it makes yeah. him happy to like make fun of um, like Eddie for being yeah. depressed or like kind of rub it in. Yeah. So he get, like it actually. Ex- <laughs> as soon as the vibes change, he's like lit up. He's like, it's go time. Super sweet cocktail. I bet he's like not even. <laughs> Even though they didn't let us He's film, so Ted insisted on going on the ride a second time right after we got <laughs> on. So nauseous and tired, I, I walked around. Totally and I think I'm. Who would you there be? I was again, I'm definitely Ted. Wasting definitely away Ted. in okay. Margaritaville. <laughs> Not chill like Jimmy. Was this the M&M? Yeah. Eddie. It's the green M&M. The green M&M. Why? It's just not like that. <laughs> Day 21, and thank God we only have one don't Margaritaville tell. Don't tell in Las Vegas, <laughs> Nevada. There's so another deep. one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, yeah. and it's a 10-hour drive. Oh, my God. When we arrived That's in Tulsa, far. we were shocked to find that this train? restaurant wasn't just in a casino. Yeah. Wait, did you see that X-Men billboard that was, was moving? Mar- Look, X-Men. That restaurant wasn't like just moving, in a casino. The casino was owned by Margaritaville. Ooh. Walking past the slot machines to get to the restaurant, I noticed that there were Jimmy Buffett quotes on the wall. But they were less about being peaceful and more about luck and winning in the casino. Is, like we got to the restaurant and this one was pretty big. Lucky it's for like me, the menu the and food quality <laughs> at this one was traffic, much better so than most Margaritaville's. Having this food this was good. actually pretty refreshing after a month of cheeseburgers in paradise. This but as we good, left yeah. dinner, I noticed how Margaritaville branded the machines in the Trains casino only were. Like and they had these Margaritaville <laughs> characters on it that I had never seen before. Where the fuck? Mr. Moneybags? Lucky Ducky? They made these Who the they hell made are sh- these people? Ted they and I made were on the final the stretch across the country, and all we had to do today was camp at Santa Rosa Lake in New, New Mexico. Mexico. On our way, I stopped by snacks at the York gas station when this ago? dog came yeah, out of nowhere and was just hanging out, out near me. Oklahoma. Whose dog is this? I'm in a gas station. Yeah. Anyways, I grabbed my snacks and then, oh, oh, Hi. hey. Hello. The owner said it was his dog. His name was Buddy and he was oh, very sweet. Buddy. We got to our buddy. campsite and it was beautiful. They are Ted camping. made some steaks on the grill and I made a little spread of meats and cheeses for us to snack on. Having a full day to enjoy ourselves and nature got me thinking. As we near the end of this road trip, I realized that maybe I was trying a little too hard to be Mm -hmm. like Jimmy Buffett. And on our way to Vegas, I questioned why I had strived to be a beloved, rich, and famous musician that gets to vacation all the time. I mean, what was I thinking? Mm. I don't need to be Jimmy Buffett. (laughs) I need to be very funny, very self aware. And to truly be myself, I need to face what I fear most. Something that has been haunting me for over a year of my life. And finally, I think I'm ready. Stand right there. Okay. Ted, we are headed to the final Margaritaville. But what do you say we make one pit stop first? Do you want to go to the Rainforest Cafe was, and yeah, get one yeah, drink? I, I was gonna, the I Las Vegas like Rainforest Cafe thinking. was just as I had remembered it. It had a Tracy tree, terrible. a cheetah, <laughs> elephants, monkeys, <laughs> and of course... Why do they look so lifeless and dull They're and inhuman? Like, what is going on? Thunder this storms. is terrible. Ted and I got two cheetah and Cheetah-rita? 
But to my oh, surprise, no. I liked being back. It was oh, comforting. No way. way. Not like being home, but sort of like what, when you, you pass your mean? old high school. What, what is going on here? Familiar, <laughs> but you never want to spend in. a full day there ever again. After our quick pit stop, Ted and I <laughs> said goodbye to the cafe and we're ready to close this whole thing out. One more. One more. One more. One more. We one walked more. just two one blocks more. down the strip Rapal. and finally arrived yeah. at the final Margaritaville. This one was the one best of the busiest oh, it is. and most Vegas. decorated Margaritavilles of the entire trip. And for the first no, 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 time, I truly no. felt it. No, 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 we no, ordered racist. two perfect racist. margaritas Drag, and a key racist. lime pie, a dessert to end our 24-day Margaritaville yeah. meal. Turns out I can experience true joy like Jimmy, but only when I'm done doing a thing that I have to do. <laughs> our pies arrived, and as the key lime hit That's my okay. mouth, it tasted like one thing. Mm. Limes, or, oh, sorry, victory. Yummy. And that was it. We had eaten we did it. every single Let's Jimmy go. Buffett's we Margaritaville did. in the U.S. and it. Canada. Finally, oh, I could go it. home. We were done. We are done. Again. Good job. And the only thing They're left to do, do again. was to say goodbye Definitely to the man that had helped me no. through this whole thing. Goodbye, Jimmy. Like goodbye, Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. Bye. Goodbye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Goodbye, Jimmy's dog. Oh. Goodbye, Jimmy. Goodbye, Jimmy's dog. I truly Jimmy's cannot Jimmy's believe that we did this a second <laughs> goodbye, time. Goodbye, Margarita And Bell. after celebrating our accomplishment that <laughs> night in Vegas, <laughs> Ted and I ended our journey looking out on the strip in the exact same spot we had just one year before. Our second and final road trip doing Vegas? something like this was now <laughs> over. And these two there journeys have done so oh, much for me. I mean, I I've been able go. to see so many beautiful locations across this country. I've been I'm able waiting to for the first one to come up. With people that I love <laughs> He's like, I've seen so many beautiful person, locations. Been able to shows a desert. And <laughs> learn <more about laughs> shows myself. another desert. Shows a big rock. Trips were about <laughs> something so like, much so more than all of those things. What it's all about at the buckies, end of the day is giving two giant Ethan, corporations a ton of my money. And knowing that I did that means that I wouldn't trade these trips for the world. Not even if my family was in danger and doing so would save them. So now, after just 45 days of our lives, Ted and I are the only two people on the planet that can say we've been to every rainforest cafe and Margaritaville in the US and Canada. Oh, okay. It's actually not that impressive. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, was this a giant Are waste you? of time? 45 yeah. days, that doesn't even count when I planned both trips or, or when we were editing our videos? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh! Excellent video. What an excellent video. How many views does it have though? That is 600 and that's that is low. actually rather low. That's much lower than I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, we gotta check Ted's. What's Ted? Ted Krasinski or whatever? Whoops. That's not it. The Ted. first one. Nemison. Ooh. Like owned. 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 This is like when it's I. This is like when. This is like when I tweet versus when Cardi tweets. <laughs> You know? I don't even know who is who in this scenario. Obviously, Cody's the bigger. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you were trying to throw shade on that. No, I'm <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. Look, his rainforest one got 6.1 million. That's okay. big. What did Eddie's? Don't. Doesn't matter. What did Eddie's doesn't rainforest matter, don't one look. get? Doesn't matter, and you don't even need to what, look. What? What? Let me go it to doesn't his. Doesn't matter, and you don't need to look. Seven what did his? Million. Seven million. Seven point seven million. Ooh, owned. Owned. Only owned by like a million. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, you ready to end the stream? Yeah. You ready to go get food? Yeah. Okay. All right. I hope you guys had fun. This is a nice stream. It's right. For your first guest I've ever had on the stream. Yeah. I guess outside of like invoice. Yeah. It's really cool. Which I was still probably the first one that went in. Yeah, you were, I think. Yep. Uh, uh, mm, doesn't. No, because I, I remember there was this one girl. <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny. I don't want to throw shit. I don't want to name names. But it was like this This one, like, she's on Twitter. Yeah. You know, Does she get, like, more. No, no, no. She's like, no, she's like a smaller kind. She's like an yeah. asshole. She, like, she, like, hates us. Oh. It's, her name starts with, like, D. Um, she hates white trans women, even though she's a white trans woman. It's her big thing. Does it right? Uh, you know? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. I do. Yeah. But anyway, she was like watching the stream 
and it was, it was really embar- it was a really embarrassing moment. I was talking about voice training on stream, mm-hmm. and I didn't know that it was her in chat. And I talked to her before, mm-hmm. and I heard her voice. And I'm gonna be honest with you, her voice, at least back then, might be better now. Oh, we get it. We get it. it yeah. Was ass. It. Okay. It was ass. But she was in chat like, oh my god, like, I'm so good at voice training. Like, I, like, bring me on, I'll talk to your chat, I'll explain all the voice training stuff to your chat. <laughs> and I didn't know who she was. And I just believed her. I took her at her word. Like, oh, okay, like, I bet this person, this person sounds like they know what they're talking about. I bet they're like, good. And then I like, brought her into the voice and then she <laughs> spoke. And I just like, I almost died from like the secondhand cringe. Like, <laughs> it's like someone being like, please, you go, can I come on your stream? I want to show people how I do my makeup. Like, you know, I want to give makeup advice and you bring them on. And it's like, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like horrible. It was the most cringeworthy thing ever. It was so embarrassing for me. You know, yeah. I don't care about how embarrassing it was for her. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we're going to do, we're going to do Jen. Someone mentioned Jen earlier, I think for the rating. Um, I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a like, rating on Twitch. It's like you just send your viewers over to someone else. Um, Jen moves. They rec- someone recommended. Oh. We read Jen moves. Chess. Chess. I said chess. Yeah, we're reading chess people. I want my chat to get more chess knowledge so that you can come back and you can teach me more chess tomorrow. Sorry, I, I, I was meant to learn openers today and I really didn't. Because mm-hmm. every time I played a game, I would play the game through and I would get too bogged down thinking about like the end game of it. Rather than just thinking about like, okay, I'm here to learn the opener. I need to just study the first 10 moves. Studying is hard. Maybe I really do need a coach. She's no sleep living. No sleep. When she's on 14 fucking hours of streaming. 4 to 25 games. Okay. Holy shit. She's been streaming for fucking 14 hours, dude. <laughs> That's fucked this. up. She deserves this. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, go say nice things. Yeah. Jen has not slept, apparently. Um... I can I can tell. Okay, she she she, she looks low on sleep. Give her some fucking energy. Okay, go be say nice things. Hype her up. Say mm-hmm. nice things. Let me check the pronouns. Actually, I don't see any. Okay, we're just assuming. Oh, okay. it's a Guinness World Records attempt. Oh. No freaking way. No way. All right, all right. Well, yeah. Go hype. Go go hype Jen up. Go hype Jen up. Okay. Go hype her. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate you guys. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow.